I wish this played. Zug Zug. Hey, Liz. Welcome. Hey, Brett. Hello. Zug Zug Dabu. Big same. That's the energy I want on my Thursday. Hey, welcome. Just in time. We're just starting up stream right here. Hey, welcome. Hope you had a good stream, Liz. And a uh, good GDQ and all that. Um... Whoa, we're playing Chrono Trigger on the DS over here. Oh. Oh. Um, I've never played Chrono Trigger before. This is my second stream of it. Uh, and no spoilers. We're having a good time. Warcraft 3 does not run well on modern PCs. Were you playing the original Warcraft 3? Didn't Blizzard delete that from time and space? When they did Reforged? Hey, Alec. What's up, dude? Marcanius, thank you. He played Chrono Trigger for the first time and I just got to the Future Zone? Alec, same. What? Same, Alec. How are you finding it so far? They did, but CDs are a thing. Yeah, Blizzard cannot stop me. <laughs> that's the most infuriating thing I think Blizzard has ever done, and that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi. Your physical CDs? Hell yeah. Rad. Original copies work still. They can't take that from us. Shoutouts to physical media. Shoutouts to physical media. I like buying a thing I can be like, that's on my shelf and that still works. Um, 
Hi. Thanks for tuning in. New hype love emotes. Is that a thing? No, I think those have been around. Thank you. Remember StarCraft? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back into Chrono Trigger. We we just got to the uh, the future, the distant future, the year two. I actually don't remember what year. If they say what year it is, it's a hot minute in the future. We met a robot named Robo. He taught us how to do the Robo Boogie. We're having a good time. I like these very quiet bleeps and bloops from Everhood. It's chill. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, hope you're hope you're all doing good. The distant future. Anyone that gets that reference. Good. Uh, those motes, though. Yeah, uh, speaking of emotes, um, Twitch did say today, hey, everyone, affiliate and partner, gets more animated emote slots. Like, a lot more. Like, I already had a bunch from when they added more last month. And I was like, I gotta get to make more. And they're like, here's a dozen more. Um, so, yeah, I think now they've made it parody, so you have the same number of animated emote slots as you do static emote slots. So... That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, it's a wild amount. Uh, so uh, I did time for more shaky. I did add um, an animated time to cry. The BTTV static one is still going. It's still I'm not. I'm not getting rid of that. But um, originally that I made that as a sticker for the Discord server. But I was like, heck, maybe it's got an extra, zhuzh, an extra little something. Looking at that animated tears. So if you're sub or you spend channel points, you get that animated cry. But yeah. Make some unoriginal emotes. We'd need bar point and bar wheeze. Well, except, well, Invisible Weezer is animated. A bar point one. The thing is, I, 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 I have been, every time I've had a new emote idea or like make a new version of an emote, I have to shuffle things around because there's a couple emotes I have that I know no, most people don't use, but I like them and I'm stubborn. I'll probably get rid of them and replace them at some point. But now it's like, oh, I have way too many animated slots. So, uh, yeah. I, I like Twitch doing that. So, oh, they're spinning. I headed these and immediately ran out of ideas. I know. I have at most five ideas, and they're like, come up with 20 more. And I'm like, uh, okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's a good problem to have, though. So, maybe animated emotes will be more of a priority for console TV. I hope. I hope they finally add support for animated emotes. Because I watched a lot of AGDQ on the PlayStation app, which, shout out to the PlayStation app crashing several times. <laughs> While I was watching GDQ. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, and, uh, yeah, but no, animated emotes don't work. They're, they're static on there. It's like, animated emotes are fun. So, all visits tier one emotes rhyme. We did it. A good Barbatar walk cycle, but we have, um, I forgot what it's called. Um, Bargo. From when we did Triforce Heroes. God, Everhood is a banger OST. I'm excited for Everhood, too. Anyway, let me get caught up on stuff so we can hop back into this game. Uh, we are in the distant future of the year 2000. Um, also, uh, Bath might be joining us today to hang out a bit. Um, I mentioned it last time as, like, a, throughout this playthrough. Uh, Bath may be joining on and off. Um, they played through the game on their stream a couple years ago. Uh, I ended up deciding last time, I was like, I don't think it's smart to have someone join me in a call during the first part of this game, I need to be paying attention both to understand the mechanics of the game and to have a base understanding of the plot and characters. Um, having someone that I'm hanging out with, I'd be I'd be paying more attention to them and be like, oh yeah, I'm mashing through text. Yeah, it's fine. And I'd be like, hey chat, how do you attack? So uh, I think it was the right call. But uh, yeah, Bath might be hanging out throughout the rest of the, uh, the playthrough, hopping in and out. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm excited to play more of this game. I'm having a good time so far. I, 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 I was talking to Bath about it when I got home. Uh, and I'm just, so far, I'm, like, delighted in, in two parts. One, there's a lot of very charming little sequences in this game so far. Um, the trial is probably a personal highlight. I think that's genius, and I, I can imagine that blowing people's minds on the Super Nintendo, being like, what? You're mad at me because I ate that man's lunch? Oh, no. Um, that's fun. But also, like, little sequences, like, you blow up the, the dragon robot, and then the Chancellor and the other guards like make a little human bridge that you walk across. There's like little things like that that are just like super charming. And also I'm playing through it and just every five seconds going, oh, that's where this came from. I'm j especially in light of Sea of Stars, which I adored and played a ton of last year. Um, but yeah, just not even outside of that, just like lots of other RPGs and other games I've played. I'm like, oh, so that's also from Chrono Trigger. Okay, I'm not even that far in the game, so yeah. It's, uh, it's been a fun time so far. So I'm excited to see more of it. Um, it's almost, I know. 
I know. But again, I, I, well, I, as I'm heading further into this, I'm still trying to keep my expectations in check. And I think that's the right approach. Uh, because so far, I'm just like, I'm hoping that it's all right and I have a fun time. I'm not like, this is the best game of all time. It's a masterpiece. I just don't play games that way. Just they're, they're living artifacts. Play them and have fun. So I'm excited to dive further into it. Um, but yeah, let's go get caught up on stuff so we can hop in. Um, but, 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 oh, holy shit, what is that, Reb? Onsta Scrungle. Jesus Christ, that Majima is going. Um, Seminole's the word. Follow things with inspiration. Oh, yeah. The Seminal Chrono. Have you met him? <laughs> Hands you a wiggling boy. That's very good. Um, now you have... I'm pleased to have met his acquaintance. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for all the things. Uh, speaking of things, in between streams, there were things. Uh, there were subs and resubs from Soren Rays, Chappy9, Optimist Prime, 42, Crytime All Time for their sixth month, Thunder Bunny streams for their 13th, who says, Help, Barry. I've fallen down the Final Fantasy 14 hole and I can't get out. Bar electrocuted. Oh, seven. I can't help you. I don't know who, only you can help you. Friends don't let friends get into the critically acclaimed MMO. Um, join us. I, listen, I did a stream of F14 and my friends were like, here's all the cool stuff in the game. And I was like, neat. It's not for me, but neat. <laughs> so if you want to watch me walking around, the best part of FF14 from my recollection is you can get a small otter pet who follows you around and he can have a little fishing rod and a little straw hat and he, and he can cast and he, and he just kind of walks around. So it is an incredible game for that point alone. Um, but yeah, just like me and Mono World. Yeah, that's fair. You can, in fact, get a tiny otter pet. He's good. Tiny guy clip lives in my brain rent free. The clip that lives in my brain rent free is when we all sat around and Dan was explaining the plot and lore of FF14. And then someone's pet uh, gobble or something just kept running back and forth directly in front of my view. And I'm like, hey, he just run around. It's silly. Um, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. The little guys. I do not have the commitment necessary for an MMO. I do have the commitment, but if I'm going to drop a couple dozen hours into a game, probably more like a couple hundred hours into a game, I want it to be a game that I, I see has an off ramp. Um, I'm I'm almost entirely over like live service games. A lot of just like MMOs are kind of the, the proto live service game. If you want to think about it in that context of like, this is a game that can become your life. And I'm, I'm like, there's too many. I've never played Chrono Trigger. There's so many games I've never played. And there's new cool games coming out like every fucking week. I just, I, 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 I can't, I can't let myself dedicate the time. I. I like hearing about it. I like hearing the cool things about it. I'm like, great. I'm happy for you. That's how I feel right now about Baldur's Gate 3. I'm like, I don't have time for that. And that has an off ramp. That's like, you're done. But everybody I know has played is like, yeah, I'm on my third playthrough. And I'm like, that's so much. I'm happy for you. But oh my God. I played a couple games last year that were pretty long. And even that was like, man, in the time that I played through like Spider-Man 2, I probably could have played a dozen other games that I liked, but I didn't dislike Spider-Man 2, but I was just kind of like, it's fine the whole time. Um, but anyway, um, third playthrough people also spoof plays only Fire Emblem 20 times a year. But people, yeah. And again, listen, you should like what you like. And, and I like what I like, but I, it's just, it's tied that how I feel about MMOs of like, if I got into it, I'd be like, it's time to do this every day forever. So have I finished FF7 twice yet? Yeah. I'm going through the second time and I'm, I'm going to, in every battle, I'm going to kill um, my other two party members and only attack with Kate Sith. He's going to be my only living party member as soon as I get him. Kate percent. It's a full-time job. It feels that way. I, it just, it feels like not just that game, but it feels like some games come out like Baldur's Gate 3. And it's like everyone is playing and talking about it. And I'm like, I don't, I could make the time for this. It just feels like. It feels like the ship has already sailed. It's wild. It's nuts. Anyway, what's up? Hey, what's up? There's some people who complain that 14 has not enough content. If that's how you feel, then I can't help you. Anyway, um, yeah, ba, ba, ba. yeah, da, da. um, use a game shark. Make your party members, Kate Smith. That's be great. Be good. The peak way to play FF7. Um, anonymous gifted us. Wait, hold on. I wasn't done. Uh, with, between streams, uh, 
Joshua resubbed Cobalt XP with 19 months. Said I never played Chrono Trigger, but it seems neat. Yeah, I'm having fun so far. And Frisky Dingus, thanks for 41 months. That's a lot of months. Um, it's pronounced Ket She. It's Gaelic. My bad. Thank you. Ket She. I will do my best to remember. I apologize in advance if and when I forgot. Ket She. Got it. Is there is there's gotta be re a reason why he's called Ket She? We'll get to that. Probably, maybe. Old habit. Mm-hmm. Evan 14, let's hit Kafka from six with a face in the face with a fish. Maybe I gotta boot it up. Maybe I check it out. Oh, very good. Thank you. How are they saying in games so how I say it? Yeah. Yeah, when I play I'm I'm planning on playing Rebirth, and I'm sure they'll they'll voice act it. I'll be like, alright. Except the problem is an FF remake. They they call it um they call it Mako Energy. And I'm like, should it be Mako? Or vice versa. I always, I forget now which one I say and then which one they said was the opposite. And I was like, that seems wrong to me. Quick double, Jax. What you got? What you got? Oh, oh, this is fucking red. Oh, I'm gonna point it over here. I say Mako. Like if you think about it in terms of hiragana. I said Mako, and they say Mako. Is that what it is? They say Mako energy? Oh, no, no, no. I remember more so than that. The one that bothered me was I played one of the games that I played that took me many hours to get through. I finished FF16 last year. This is rad, Jax. And um, uh, in FF16, they pronounce the little feathery friends that you can ride around on Chocobos. And I'm like... Eh. Chocobos? Chocobos. Not chocobos. Chocobos. Bridge too far. <laughs> Say, it bothered me every single time they said it. Chocolate the bows. Uh, yeah. In incorrect buzzer. Uh, I, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who how that blunder snuck through, but I hope someone gets fired. From <laughs> like, it was just it, like it's the minorest of minor details, but they're like, ah. Oh, my my trusty Chocobo friend, how are you? And I'm like, I don't trust you, Clive. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Why are you saying Chocobo? I forgot it's poorly announced in 14. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they made a chocolate. You know, I didn't get that far. I, I haven't played the DLC yet. Maybe maybe there's more lore. <laughs> Try to maintain a lot of NPC news and it's rough sometimes. Pronounce everything wrong. Yeah, it's good. I love the FF10 hero. Don't. I, I thought it was Titus. But I don't know. Is it Titus? Titus Andronicus? Chocobo was originally named after Choco Ball. The Japanese chocolate candy swallow saying Chocobo is still wrong. There's a reason some might think it isn't. But there's, I think there's other FF voiced games where they say Chocobos. So it's not even, I guess, within the world of 16. It's its own, it's own separate world. They just come. It's Titus! No, it's Titus. I don't care. I don't care. T Titus. Tea time for Titus. Uh, anyway, what, 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 are, what are we, um,. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Unclever Title. Thank you. Senator Serbon, thanks for the hammy. Did you know? You can express number 32 in binary like this, one with a bunch of zeros. So when I turned 32 yesterday, I went from 11111 to 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Now I need to wait until I turn 64 for my next binary digit. Congratulations on your new digit. Happy belated birthday, Senator. Thank you so much for the hammy. Hope you had a good day. Especially, Sun Herpets. You know, I said Yasunori Mitsuda composed for MR Party 1. That was actually a bitter memory for him. He was asked to give the game's music a jazzy feel. His music kept getting rejected. After a hundred rejections, he came to the devs to ask exactly what they wanted. They said they wanted big band jazz. He had an internal, are you fucking kidding me moment and nearly quit on the spot. Glad he stayed. The music they kept was great. A hundred rejections. That's a failure in communication after, dare I say it, four rejections? Even if it's just scratch tracks and not fully composed, finalized music tracks. If you submit a thing and over three times they're like, no, make it more blank. It's now on the client's end to be like, let me, there's a breakdown communication and it's on the, the client's end. That's infuriating. Mad them for that. How dare they? I mean, the music in Mario Party 1 is very memorable to me, but man, that's rough. Um... So true, 2020 is more distant every day. The distant future. Hi, Katie. You're gonna get Tekken 8? The story is bananas. No. I don't currently plan to. I I picked up Street Fighter 6 
because of the World Tour mode. I was like, this seems tailor-made for me as someone who hasn't played a fighting game since the 90s and is very bad at them. And I had a great time with uh, World Tour and FF6. Uh, FF6, what the hell? My brain. Uh, Street Fighter 6. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, apparently Tekken 8's good. I, I'm excited for the FGC. I'm in 2000. I'm Smarch. Happy Smarch. Street Fighter Yakuza edition. It, it, kinda, yeah, it was. World Tour was good. Uh, 2020 so long ago. The distant future. Pinnapack, thanks for 69 bits. Catching up on the VODs. Hope you're having fun enjoying the story. So far, so good. Smash Bros. 23 bits. Yeah, they added an update to F099. Added private lobbies and some new courses and stuff. Hopefully it's the Satella view tracks. Those are practically lost to time. That would be rad. I highly doubt it, but that would be rad. Liz, thanks again for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. MST Firebug, thanks for 64 months. Bar electrocuted. Mercanius, five gifted subs. To J. Valerie Yaxi692, Cheshire Gleam, Plushmer, Bobby Boing, and Lupins. Hope y'all enjoy the emotes. Hmm. We have we have a a, a, a brand spanking new bar time to cry. If you're not subbed, the old time to cry, which is static, ain't going nowhere. Um, and also a bar frog pog for best boy frog who has sadly left the party and will never see him again. Yeah, all the in case you didn't know, the all the um the character designs were done by Akira Toriyama, best known for Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, etc. Um also did the designs for Dragon Quest. He has a long history with Square and Enix and Square Enix. And I love it. It's great. Yeah, uh, Fiendish Auburn, thanks for seven months. Woo! Enki Mara, thanks for 100 bits. Emotes! More emotes! Too many. But hopefully I'll be able to knock a couple out every so often and gradually fill up at so many, so many emote slots. I'm just thinking about the, for streamers, for partnered streamers who have maxed out their emote slots because every there's thresholds where if, as you gain subscriber points, you unlock more emotes. The maximum is 60, which means that the biggest streamers on the platform now have like a, over 120 because you also get bonus if you use Twitch alerts. Like 120 emotes? C like clicking the emote picker and just having like a pay... It, that's just like, that's so... Like as a viewer, it'd be like, okay, I'm going to subscribe. Ah, like what? How do I even find ones I like in that? That's so many. So the fact that I don't have 60, I have like 30 something is like... That's already a lot, but... Damn. Flashbang. Unintelligible. Imagine. Imagine them. Why are you playing Chrono Trigger and didn't notify me directly you would? I Listen, you can click the bell. Or if you're on the Discord server, there's an app that pings when I go live. Hi, Killer Chair. I'm excited to play this game. Hey, visit your commission still open? Hey. Artists. Anim specifically animators. Uh, yeah. Tommy Cheese, thanks for 100 bits. I saw about the new revenue sharing with partners. Hope means good news for you. So it doesn't impact me directly, um, but I'm very, very excited for small streamers. Yeah, they announced that um, basically there was a unwritten 70-30 split that some people could have, and they then opened it up to say, now it's a thing we're officially acknowledging, but you have to hit certain thresholds over a se uh, three-month period. And now they're opening that up to affiliates and also introducing a lower 60-40 split, um, which is probably more attainable to more people. I'm like, great, good. It's something. So, I'm happy for it. Damn. Um, why'd you not write me a letter telling me you were alive? I know. Dear 3D underscore Bob, I regret to inform you by the, the by the time you receive this letter, the stream will be over. Stop. It's now a telegram. Stop. Where's the Katie command? I don't know. Because Twitch added native support for shoutouts. So I stopped making... Also, I there's too many Mubot commands. I had to clear some out. So I can just shout out people, or mods can shout out people. That's Katie. What did Katie say? Get Katie. Is Katie scamping in the chat? What the hell did she say? I just see them getting each other. Do not. I'm being normal. <laughs> normal. 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 Uh, dropped the normal. Got the gain the drop the norm ball. Zero test. Thanks for six months of Jerry Golden Key. Half a year. Smash Man, thanks for 100 bits. You know what I like about Akira Toyama's art style? It's very much based on manga anime art style sent in motion by Osamu Tezuka. It's got this really goofy, exaggerated look to it, especially when Toriyama draws gross monsters. In my mind, Tezuka and, and Toriyama have very distinct styles, but there's definitely a lineage you can trace there. For sure. Moon Wing, thanks for 100 bits. 
Alec, thanks for 14 months, Alec. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope everything's going well. Uh, uh, that mission 12 command wasn't my choice. No one, no one asked for mission 12. It simply arrived one day, and we can't delete it. Every time we delete it, it comes back stronger. Unclever tile, thanks for 420 bits. That's a lot. Thank you. Nice. Chrono Trigger is my first and favorite RPG. I've since this de decided begrudgingly that there are better RPGs, but this one remains a timeless classic. I'm excited to see you experience it for the first time. Thank you, Unclever. Out of curiosity, if you want to share what has supplanted it as your favorite, I'd be curious to hear. Leonilia, thanks for 22 months. Tick, tock, tick, pull my Chrono Trigger. Thanks. Smashman, thanks for 96 bits. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say mako, I say mako. Let's call the whole thing off. Garbage Nirvana, thanks for 69 bits. It's pronounced crybaby. Jekt shoots out of the room. Sin! Vox VT, thanks for 100 bits. Titus' name is never said in 10 because you can choose his name. One time it's said as Tidus is in Kingdom Hearts. You could say his canon pronunciation is Jimmy and be technically right. Disco Jimmy! Everhood ref. Titus' name is now Disco Jimmy in my heart. Uh, Ebbe, thanks for 100 bits. Moo. Moo Moo Farms. Be like, a lizard bird, thanks for 13 months. Thanks for the prime. And dude guy, thanks for seven months. Welcome back, thank you. Disco Jimmy, my boy. Once the combat, this is best RPG of all time. R, FF6, Panzer Dragoon Saga, Ogre Battle 64. Then Chrono Trigger's in the lead, damn. Disco Jimmy says, wah ha ha ha. Uh, one sec. Man. Bath wanted me to poke them when I was starting. See if they're free and want to hang for a bit. Been watching the Yakuza Zero VODs and what a time. Hope you do another Like a Dragon game sometime. I had a lot of fun playing through Yakuza Zero. In the same vein of what I was talking about before, I don't currently have plans to do another Yakuza game on stream. Um, I'm excited for everyone to yell about the new ones, um, but... The, the part of the reason I'm like, hey, let's stream Chrono Triggers. I'm like, I know this game isn't that long. I can get through the whole thing in like a handful of streams. Uh, and in that time, only eight or ten games will come out that I want to also stream in that time. Um, but yeah, if I played every Yakuza game when they came out on stream, by the time I was done with that Yakuza game on stream, another Yakuza game would be coming out. Uh, there's they're, they're, big, they're long, big, long games. I didn't. I scratched the surface of Zero. There were so many side stories I skipped. I, I, by the end, I was like, "All right, if there's any I need to see, tell me now, because I gotta finish this game." Oh yeah. Infinite wealth. Yeah, I'm excited for it. It looks neat. Probably the best piece of RPGs. It seems it's at a very fast clip so far. The fact that they get you up and running with a full party of three very early on is rad. A lot of other RPGs be like, you start with one guy, you start with just Chrono. And then maybe a couple hours in, you get a second person. They leave the party, come back to the party, and then like getting three is this big graduation point of now you have the, now you can start the game. And they're like, no, we're just people are hopping in and out of the party every plot beat, and it's neat. The shortest like a dragon game is the one that came out in November. It's so dense with the lore, I can barely keep up. Great game though. Yeah. Um. And also, I was gonna mention very quick. It's such a great condensed JRPG. Yeah, I'm having fun. And now you start with four people, and they all hate each other? I, I, I... FF9 might be the next classic Final Fantasy game that I, I play. Bath adores 9. Um, I watched them play a lot of it when they were playing through it a couple years ago. Um, and, uh, I've heard good things. But I don't know if I would stream that or not, in the same vein that, like, I didn't stream my full playthrough of 7. Um, but I've heard good things about 9. But, it's a great way to watch other people play games instead of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine is the love letter to the original games. Yeah, I love the aesthetic of Seven. It really the 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 fusion of the kind of industrial sci-fi kind of angle with the fantasy stuff is my jam a thousand percent. Growing up, I was always more of a sci-fi kid than a fantasy kid. I don't really care to put it in like a this versus this bucket, but it's like typically I find sci-fi stories half. They try to justify things in a way I find interesting. I don't like when it gets super caught up in the weeds of justifying every single thing, but then there's like the alternative of where fantasy gets extremely caught up in the weeds where it's like hard fantasy, like hard sci-fi, where it's like every single part of how, like that was me reading Wheel of Time where I was like, there are so many specific things about how magic works in this world. And for some people, that's gonna be amazing. For me, it's like, 
it's fine it's fine just get to what's interesting about that system um but yeah i i i i, I like a lot of sci-fi and like ff7's aesthetic is so rad to me what i've seen of nine seems fine maybe not as much my aesthetic but i'm i'm curious about it nonetheless uh clears a hunter hunter and then then says i don't even know definitely the sanderson's level of codified magic yeah, took a while. Um, the other thing I was going to mention real quick before, I think Bath is getting ready to hop in. I mean, I could start the game without them, and I will in a second, um, is uh, I continued... Uh, I started on stream, but I've, I've been playing a little bit more Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown off stream, last couple days, on and off. Uh, having a very good time with it. Um, I decided to not finish it on stream, uh, but I'm having a very good time with it. And I wanted to share two things. One, a thing I brought up during the stream that I discovered. I was like, I wish you could tab between the markers you can place on the map. You can. If you go to the map and then pull up the legend and scroll to the bottom, there's two categories, one for the markers you can put on the map and one for the screenshots you can take in-game. So that helps a lot. And for two, I had a very weird experience and I Googled it and was like, okay, I'm not crazy. One of the NPCs, a very minor, and let me finish before you get mad because it's more funny than infuriating because I'm not mad about it. It's just like, huh? Um, there's a very minor NPC in Prince of Persia of the Lost Crown who sounds and is, sounds like and is, a text-to-speech character. Um, and I was like, this character sounds weird. They're one of the little spirits that lives in a tree and talks to you. And I was like, this sounds weird. And I googled it, and there was an article where they're like, hey, we reached out to Ubisoft as well as the uh, company that handled the, the voice recording. And as far as we can gather, they forgot to record this character's voice. So it's a developer, like, prototype voice. Like, they, apparently they use text-to-speech just to get placeholder in to build out the game. And then they replace it with the official recordings. Everyone else is recorded by a human. It doesn't seem intentional. They're just like, it's coming in a future patch in, like, February or March. And I'm just like, what a crazy thing. What a very weird th I wonder how late in development they're like, hey, uh, we don't have time to actually record a new voice for this. It was just... It's only the English dub. That's even more fascinating. It just seems like a bizarre oversight, but I was like, this sounds like a weird voice. And sure enough, it was. Um, but yeah, I was like, don't get mad because some people are going to be like, ah, AI voices. And like, that's this isn't that. This is the equivalent of like, if there was a random magenta texture because they forgot to swap out a texture for the real thing or something. I don't know. It's like a weird dev room laying in the middle of the floor where it's like, someone should have cleaned this up. But games be complicated to make. Penguin Yay won. But yeah, I, I just wanted to share that because I'm like, that is hilarious. <laughs> like, And the game is very good. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. And I, I'm getting further into it and finding more of the Metroidvania power-up kind of things. And there's some there's some neat stuff in there. It's good times. So anyway, uh, Tombstone Saint. Thanks for 46 months in tier two. Excited for some Chrono Trigger. Really needed this right now. My guy. I hope you enjoy. I'm excited. Ray Brain Rot, thanks for 10 months. Glad to know this game started without me. It's it, the VOD of part one is on YouTube. Um, anyway, let's get into the video game, shall we? I didn't mean to have a long preamble, I swear. It just kind of happens sometimes where I end up having things. I'm like, I just want to get this out of my brain now because if I'm playing the game, like, wait, let me pause and talk about something unrelated for 10 minutes. Which I'll be, I think, more mad? I don't know. It sucks regardless. Thanks for the hydrate. You got it. You got to tune in for the podcast section of the stream. It's also my excuse if someone comes in five hours in a stream is like, "Hey, did you see the news?" I can be like, "Tell me later." <laughs> I, I don't. I try to try to stay roughly on target. So, we'll see. Anyway, I have so many cables. Shit. I welcome. Um, it's short. It's short. We're on. We're on target. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Do you hear the news? Too late. Let's hop back into the derelict factory with Chrono Robo and Marl because Luca is standing by a door. Whoa. Boop, bop, boop, beep, boop, bop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, bop. So, in case you've never seen this game before or you missed the last stream, we... There's a guy named Chrono. He ran to the Millennium Fair. He bumped into a girl named Luca, who's actually the prince. No, not Luca. Uh, Mar Marl, who's actually the princess. It's 2300, the distant future. Wow. Um, and uh, 
she, they're, they're a, a friend of ours, Luca, who's an inventor. Um, <laughs> okay, Bath is going to be another 20 or so. Bath booted up Terraria, and they're fishing. And they need time, <laughs> which is fine. Um, yeah, we'll do the sewers later. Remind me. Um, so, uh, uh, I, I, uh, we ran into Luca, who is an inventor friend of ours. She made a teleportation device. I'm going to stand inside where it's less flashing lights. Um, hmm. Bath's a real one for that. They sure are. Uh, so, uh, uh. There's a teleport machine, it worked for us. Uh, Luca has a pendant. I keep saying Luca. Marl had some kind of pendant that opened up a time portal vortex and slurped her into the past. Uh, we used the pendant to follow her into the past to 400 years earlier when the kingdom... Uh, is the kingdom called Guardia? The castle's called... I think the kingdom's called Guardia. Whatever. The kingdom is under siege from some uh, general guy. I forgot his name. Um, and things suck, and the queen had been kidnapped. But Marl looks like the queen because genetics. So they're like, oh, the queen's back. But in grabbing Marl, they stopped the search for the real queen, which caused the Back to the Future timeline paradox, where if they don't go and rescue the queen, then the queen and the king don't have babies, which means Marl isn't born, so she gets plucked from time in a very horrifying manner, might I say. Her whole speech of like, it hurts. I like, and she comes back and she's like, Is that what it's like to die? I'm like, Holy shit. She could have just been like, Whoa, I blinked and I was, wh what happened? But instead, she's like, No, I was fully conscious of the entire experience and it sucked. It feels like I'm dying. It was so rough. Uh, anyway, I'm sure that'll never happen again in this game. Um, so it's good. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we were able to, uh, head under the, under the cathedral rescue the real queen and the real chancellor and defeat some oogie boogie demon guy uh his name was yakra something with a y uh doesn't matter so we rescue the real queen and Marl's like yay i'm unfucked from time i'm back we go back to the present and they go hey you chrono you kidnapped the princess because you were the last one seen with her and she's like no stop and they're like into prison with you we're convicted of being a bad person because i ate a man's lunch um, and we're to be executed in three days time, but I busted out, bonked a bunch of guards in the head and snuck out and they chased us to a dead end in the forest, which had another time portal, which led to the future, the distant future of 2300 actually. Um, so we're here. Oh, also while we were in the past, we met up with a guy named Frog, who apparently is a regular guy who was cursed to be a frog. We don't really know. Um, and he's great. His name is Frog. And, uh, he left the party because he was like, I failed my queen. And he was sad about it. Uh, and we'll never see him again. Um, yeah, so in the future, we got to the future. We, uh, uh, it was, uh, the three of us, right? It was, it was Chrono, Luca, and Marl. Because Marl's like, I'm gonna go off and be my own person. Dad, to the king. Um, so, now in the future, we've learned that everything sucks here. Uh, they do have, um amazing uh, futuristic pods that heal your HP and MP, but they leave you hungry. Nice. So there's that. Thank you for the bits. Uh, and everything sucks because we learned from watching an old VHS tape that there was some kind of angry lava porcupine thing that emerged from the ground called Lavos in, in the future still, because everyone lived in these little glass dome pod cities. It emerged from the ground, blew up, Hedgehog of Doom, so it's the plot of Sonic... Sonic 06, uh, blew up and rained fire down on humanity and basically wiped out almost everyone. So all that's left are like some very sad people who they're like, oh boy, let's take a, our single bean and slice it into slices. Um, and we're like, hey, let's bring you hope. And they're like, hope? I forgot that word. Uh, we met a robot, named him Robo, fixed him up, and now we are using him to access this factory because we need to restart the power to a different facility so we can get to where I guess we're assuming a different time portal is going to be. I don't know if we know what our destination is. I think we're just like, we need to find another time gate in order to go back to our time. I don't remember if they know exactly where they're going. They're just like, we just got to keep moving until we find a portal, I guess. Um, I missed that. Can you repel that? Yeah, so we're a guy named Chrono. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's, it's fine. We gotta go back. We're doing it. And, uh, 
We're just a couple silly little guys. Thanks for the hydrate. Krona with no H. There's no H. Even though there would be room for it. In the, uh... Because it's six characters. The only used here is guarded. Right! But I don't know how they know that there's just gonna be another gate somewhere and how they know where to go to get to it. The computer said there was time distortion in the place you found Robo Doors locked. That, that's what I forgot. Thank you. That was last stream, yeah. That's the thing is, like, pacing-wise, a lot has happened and they've established a lot and we're kind of off to the races. I don't, I don't yet know. So far, our goal is just we want to go back to our time and have the Royal Guard not on our asses. That's the main plot. But I'm assuming the whole bit with Lavos is going to be important later. Uh, but yeah, we got a robot named Robo. And he's very good, and his theme music is not at all something else that you've heard before. Um, anyway. Yeah. And also, wah. Welcome back. But yeah, Bath might be joining once they're done fishing in Terraria to hang out. Keep me company. And maybe help me understand things that I'm stupid about. Override system. Security system, zero, zero. This is what happened when I came here last time. There's a little guy, Windslash. No, no, Robo! Also, the game soundtrack is incredible. Yay. Do 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 do. Learned Aura Beam Dual Tech. Aura Beam, isn't Aura my healing? The hell is Aura Beam? Uh, uh, uh. Aura Beam, restore a small of HP to all allies. Okay. So it's like, um, or a whirl, but it uses Robo instead of Chrono. I'll take it. It just means that Chrono can focus on doing damage. I prefer Aurora Beam. Aurora Beam me, Alice. Are you gonna come to life and attack me? Yes. <laughs> like, let's all stand in attack positions throughout the room. Just in case they come to life. Got it. Yep, yeah, first time playthrough, so no spoilers. Um, if you have things you want to advise me of or ask me about, uh, from a place of knowledge, if you've never seen the game before, fire away. If you've played the game before and you have things you know about, um, just go ahead and ask me, like, hey, can I tell you about a thing? Rather than just going ahead and being like, I need, I need to tell you, because this is not meant to be a perfect playthrough. Um, so, yeah. Left laboratory, right factory. Risk of death. Deactivation of factory conveyor belts forbidden. Stopping the belt will activate the security system, which could result in loss of life. So we're going to make the attack robots go to attack mode, and that's on you. All right. Enjoy watching me fuck up. Yeah. All games pro. I used to know this game, people have very strong opinions about this game, and that's fair. Uh, and people want people to have the best possible experience, which is fair. But I want to have my experience, which involves fucking up a lot. So... We're supposed to do stuff in the factory, so let me go to the... Let me go to the laboratory first. You're supposed to go back to 2018 and go to deal with the pirates in this house? No! There's a save already? This is early in the dungeon. And yeah, chat told me this was a more substantial dungeon than the ones earlier, or about the same as the bigger ones earlier. Oh, they're wiggling. Hi. Let's go. Take it to the Discord. Yeah, we have a Game Talk channel. Be mindful of spoilers in there as well, though. Um, Rocket Punt. That's not going to kill. I have to do Elemental. Oh, they're all dead. Chrono's very good. Laser Spin. Laser Spin? Supersonic Spin. I'm sorry. Is there is there a Robo Spin VTTV? Because what the hell? Dude is just made out of spins. I tried to pause and go to the menu. Um, laser spin. Attack enemies with laser. It has a little laser icon. Um, supersonic spin. Attack all enemies with laser. Uses Chrono and Robo. Cro Crobo OTP. Obtain shelter. It's just a shadow way. Hello. Hatch open. Am I go I, I I am genuinely asking if there's a side of this factory I should be doing first? Cause hello. 
Because I would assume I'm supposed to go to the... The factory side, but apparently I can just go into the laboratory. Maybe? Hmm. Huh. Guess we'll see. Do 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 Shelter. I hardly I hardly don't I'll try wind slash, that's a neat trick. Nice. Do 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 yeah, thanks for pinning that, weeb. People keep asking. If only we could make a pin that says, check the pinned message. These <laughs> people don't check the pins. Uh, yeah. These are, I'm... I should test something. Um, Because if I... There's supposed to be, like, goopy ghoulie guys that I can't use physical attacks on. I thought these were these guys. But maybe I can't. Oh, laser. Maybe I can attack these guys with physical attacks. E. Put the text on the stream, just sliding across the screen. Titanium vest. Ooh. Who can wear that? You can. 70. That's what he already has. Okay, Marl, I know it's a hit to your defense, but the maiden suit. Uh, uh, yeah, put the iron suit on him. Nice. Sweet. Put no spoil on stream. Mm hmm. Bum, bum. I did consider putting it in the stream tags. Hammer arm? That sounds like a thing for our robot friend. Uh. Tin arm. Hammer. Jump. Uh. Yeah, I thought about putting in the tags like no spoilers, uh, spoiler free playthrough, etc. Um. But then I remembered that there is a quotient of Twitch viewership that would search those tags deliberately to be like, let me spoil whatever they're playing. All systems down. Defense lasers deactivated. Oh, many guys. Also, people don't read tags. That's also true. What if I do a regular attack? Okay, it does do some damage. So these are different than the guys in the junkyard that I had to do elemental damage on. You guys can read? <laughs> Put check pin in the title? Not bad idea. Whoa! Ow! Uh. Yeah, punch him with your robot punch! Um. Do a spin! Whoa! Just what I needed! That was rad. Um. Rocket punch! Yeah, whoa! Nice! Uh. Wind slash! Ooh, ooh, that is a pretty good range on it, or, or rather, like, radius. I don't know if it's a line or, like, a cone, but... Sweet. Man, I also really, really like the combat taking place on this map. Really cannot be overstated. How nice it is that they're just like, hey, we fought. All right, I'm back to it. It just, man, you don't lose, like, hey, where was I? What was I doing? I was about to go here. Like I got, I've gone through many of our many an RPG just fine that has a separate battle screen. Most RPGs I've played have a separate battle screen, but man, it's just nice. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Then halt all momentum combat occurs. Yeah, I mean m momentum is halted in this. It's still even with ATB, it's still a turn-based RPG, but it just I don't know. It keeps you. You have the context. Of what you're doing. I thought maybe there was another level up. But now I see. Um, can I go down? Go down. It knows the magic sauce. It does. More things see a star get inspired by. Oh, yeah. Diff. Initially. But see a stars does... It's slightly different. Where... Okay. Just want to make sure that I couldn't go down from there. Um, sea of Stars does it inside the world map like this when you have combat, but they line everyone up. Um, not it's, it's sometimes like, oh, you know, there's two guys on this side and one guy on this side. It's not always a face-off, like a chess match. Um, but characters don't move. You can move them. And I'm also now seeing that that is also inspired by... 
this game because there's a bunch of attacks in Sea of Stars that's like, oh, this can hit people within a radius near them. So some characters have the ability to move other enemies around. So you be like, oh, I'll grab you, throw you into that one, does damage. Now they're bundled up. So you do like a combo attack on both of them. This game just goes, hey, as you're fighting, the enemies just kind of wander around. And it feels very silly in this game. Um, I don't dislike it at all. It's just when you're fighting a bunch of tiny little guys, it's just very endearing that they're just kind of like not super invested in the battle, it seems. They're just like, hey, what's over here? They're just kind of walking around. And then I blast them with a flamethrower. Plasma gun. That's probably for Luca. Would be my guess. Um, yeah. Man, the game's like, you brought you brought Luca with you, right? Right? You brought the one that is going to be most effective here? Zabi door lock system operational. Please enter passcode. B, is it the same password? Hold L and R and A. Oh. Different password. Prazuma. Um... I'm assuming I don't have what I need and need to explore the other side of the building. I don't know. I mean, the other password was hold L and R and hit A, and I tried that and it didn't work. I could try typing an admin password. Let's see how that goes. Luca's a nerd. We can do cool stuff with our talking Roomba. Let's check out the right half of the facility. But now I know I'm looking for a password, so that's something. I'm very glad it remembers which save slot I'm working on. Because I... If I save over that person's save, it's not a big deal. I just... Alright, I need to go up. It just feels like I shouldn't. Luca would like to know you... She found out. Is Manny's a password? Manny's gonna be a password. Alright, so, right... They give their back. I was gonna read the thing again. Hi. Check out Grandia for PS1. Great example of more dynamic battles. Nice. Whoa! Don't shock her! Don't- you can shock Chrono, that's fine. Yeah. I am- having looked into the PS1 port of Chrono Trigger, I am wary to- nice of him to run back to where he was before he did the attack. Um, I'm wary of loading times. PS1 was a very slow system. I'm trying to remember. Risk of death. Let's go. Legend of a Dragoon. I like a Dragoon. Um, uh, this is a whole thing, isn't it? Oh, man. Uh, oh. Huh? Am I? Oh, no. No, I don't. No. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello? Huh? Where am I? Excuse me. I'm hitting the A button. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, there's got to be a hidden chest or something in here. Okay. You need the right cardboard box? Mm-hmm. It'll get you where you need to go. Barrel! A barrel blocks your path. Is he a friendly barrel? Yes. Okay, it looks like we need to go to where... Or, or do we? Or do we? Ha-ha! Eh, eh, meh. Bandit's bow! Hey, there we go. Look, there's a thing for you here. Look at that. Look at that, Marl. I do really like the idea that we're in the distant future, the year 2300, and we're able to find upgrades for our gear that's, like, slightly better. And I know later we're going to be in the distant past, and we're going to get much better upgrades. Just looking forward to that. Uh, let's just not. Yeah. Yeah. It's a magic carpool. Yeah, well, it's, it's gonna be just like, oh, it's a rare forgotten mineral that we don't... Nope. I'm being trendy gamed against my will. Oh. Hi.
Are you my supervisor? It's a trendy game trap. I see that now. Whoa! Don't shoot my robo buddy! Boom. No, that's not enough. You are beefy, aren't you? Yeah. I made you a CPU out of a rock. Yeah, like, I need a, a, a mechanical arm that interfaces with my robot from the future. Unga bunga. Big stick, big rock. Your attack went up by 20 points. Oh. Can I get some, like, uh, mic ride in the chat? Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh, that is a different design from the other little guys. I see. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike Ride, uh, Cloud Stride, Ducktona. Any emotes you got that involve a guy just kind of slowly spinning. Speaking of spinning, the same with a laser spin. Whoa! -ho -ho! Yeah, Robo! He's got the moves! That was red. No. Oh. Zap! Boom! Get him. I love the art and the animations in this game. It's very charming. Punch him! Nice job, Robo! Yeah, Robo. Chrono level up. Robo level up. Everyone like that. All right, back to the slides. Conveyor belt Tona! Let's slide away. Uh, oh, more of them! Um, supersonic spin with a big laser. And, uh, uh, I'm being zapped a lot. Let's just wait for Aura World to come up. Or Beam. Whichever pops up. Awa? Awa. Awa, Awa. There you go. Just what I needed. Wait, I wanted to attack the little guys. Oof. Oh. Uh, uh. Him with another spin. Him with another spin. Spin on him! Woohoo! Nice. Oh my god, see you later. Yeah. Oh, that is a good attack. Should have done that from the start. Red. Some emotes in Fortnite make snakes smile, and it's as cursed as it sounds. I've seen a lot of stuff of Snake and Raiden in Fortnite, and most of it. Look at them stepping. Most of it makes me quite upset. Um, mostly because of their designs. There have been a lot of very good posts about Raiden, though. That have been very funny. Uh. What if I become one of the bugs? Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Just convince them I'm one of them. Oh, they didn't, they didn't believe it. They got me. Wind slash. Miss. Yeah. Hey, Flavier, thanks for three years. Welcome back. These are beefy boys, aren't they? Robo, stay strong, Robo. No, he's asleep. No, Robo. Miss. Uh. Get him. Don't sleep, Robo. You have a job to do. And your job is to be a receptacle for my trash. I haven't seen any trash cans in the factory, and I've been eating a lot of snacks on our way down. Just kind of slide wrappers in between the cracks of his metal plating. Nice. Obtain the panacea. We did it. Sleep mode activate. I know I was gonna say something about robots sleeping, but yeah, you got it. Um, oh, a mid potion. Is this a thing? Is this, that's a thing. Um, let's check this first. Robots and chests. What if I just sneak along the bottom of the screen in a way that doesn't activate them? Oop. Hey. 
and activate the machine. Against my better judgment. Crane control codes. Pattern 00XA, pattern 1BB. I'm gonna write this down. I don't know what this means. Pattern 00XA, pattern, pat, pattern 01BB. Favorite time period so far? Maybe the 400 years ago, but that has a lot to do with Frog's theme. Not even so much Frog the character. Frog's theme is the first thing I ever learned about Chrono Trigger. I knew nothing about the game, but I knew Frog's theme. Um, they're DV DVD logoing. Um, oh, bath is ready. Let's say a bath. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Hello? Hello? Oh! Hi, bear. The duck's in here, too. Is that what you- is that what you caught in Terraria? Studio audience applause and a duck? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello. How are you? Oh, look at the Chrono Trigger. I shared my screen with you. You won't be able to hear the game, though, unless you listen to stream. Oh, uh, no. Um, I got some robots doing a wiggle. Yeah, they sure are going around. I'm gonna fight him. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh. Version 3.0. Um, how you doing, Bath? I'm good, how are you? I'm in a factory fighting robots in the future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As you do, as you do. Chat was just asking me my favorite time period so far, and I said, I think it's the past because of Frog. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen all of them yet. There's plenty of time. Uh, 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 time. Mm-hmm. If they swap games, I think Ness and Chrono could finish each other's games slash quests. Mm. Well, I don't know enough about Chrono to know. Is he the kind of guy who would walk into a town and eat a burger out of the trash can? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Is that his? 100%. Is that his character? There's yeah. more time. More. I mean, time. we haven't seen Unga Bunga time yet. I love Unga Bunga time. It's we really we had a preview of that, not only in the opening cutscene, but also in the Millennium Fair. There was that jam mm -hmm. session, that drum circle happening off to the side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do a little aura beam. Mm -hmm. You can't aura beam outside of. Combat. Okay. Um, I you think need... you can cure, though. Yeah, I can do, use the regular heal, but you can't use yeah. the heal all. Which I guess makes that's sense. Why, that's why Marl's not the best character. That's why Rupo's the best character. Wow. Wow. I did <laughs> learn in playing FF7, I, mm -hmm. I got near the end of the game um, because you can do magic outside oh. of battle yeah. in FF7. <laughs> and I learned within the last couple hours of playing um, that you, if you press... If you go to, like, to cure someone and you have the option to cure all, like, you have an all material attached to them, you can hit right on the D-pad. And then it switches to all of them for the same MP. Yeah. And I didn't know that yeah. the entire game. Yeah. You poor thing. It's fine. I'm not yeah, upset, don't worry right? about it. No. It's fine. But yeah, we're here in the future. Uh, but yeah, yeah, well, that reminds me. Someone said earlier, uh, so last time people mentioned that there's a sewer dungeon that's optional. Um, I am interested in doing that. It sounds like it's worthwhile doing. So maybe we'll do that after the factory. Hey, Nick Pick. Hello. Oh. More robots! I just beat robots! Uh, I don't have any MP on Chrono. But that's fine. He doesn't need it. He needs to eat the sandwich. Robot friend. Yeah, we have robot friend. His name's Robo. Hello, hello. Welcome. You are in a robot making factory. There's always more robots. Yeah, I didn't think about it. But there are a bunch of robots on conveyor belts. That probably is what this is about, isn't it? Um, let me eat uh ether. Yeah, just crunch it. Just what is an ether? Is it like a uh orange juice? 
like a bottle of orange juice. Orange juice. To activate the crane. Oh, this is the. Okay. Wait for the tone and white flash and press any two of the buttons labeled with A, B, X, or Y one after the next. So how do I know which pattern I need to do? Yeah. Bum, bum, X, A? Is it a descending tone or like a monotone? Okay. Grab a barrel. Trendy game. Give me the Yoshi in the barrel. Now... It, is that it? Did I do it? Oh. Oh. So that... Okay, so I did XA first and I did... Oh, so they're just... Okay. So it goes bing bong and then you hit any combination. You either hit XA or BB and those are two different things it does. It's not a call and response. It's just what's your input and then it does a thing. I get you. Bing bong, fuck your life. That's the one. Okay, so I put two no, barrels. Oh, Bing but now bong. those barrels are out of the maze and go down. Oh, I get, I get, I understand with my brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't want to fight these guys again, but I probably should. Whoop. See ya. Now, do I remember which paths were blocked by those barrels? No. Thunderblade. Thunderblade. Ooh. That seems I good. I love the character portraits. Mm hmm The Toriyama so art makes me happy. Ultra the, the, high security door lock system code. Zabby. 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 Wait, Zabby. is that why the security Zabby. system is called Zabby? Maybe. Z-A-B-I-E. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe. Z Zabby. You don't know. So that's probably the password for the left side. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is saying your password a password. Yeah. Thank you for installing the Zabby security terminal interface. The most secure system in the data sphere. Mm -hmm. And so the password to continue the password is Zabby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it wasn't here. Uh... Uh, this, this way? This way? Non-random encounters. Not bum, random. Bum, bum, bum. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Come on. I don't know when they're out of the way. Okay, run! Go! We're good. You did it. Thank you. How do you? Thank you. Uh, How do you? Make it. Make it. Oh, no. I uh, hate this segment. <laughs> it's only going to be like a mid potion, but I want it. Mid potion. Damn it. I'm going to fight all these Skill dudes issue. again. Hey. Yep. Fast. What? I ask you to come on my stream. Is this you're I'm gonna... just saying. It. I'm just saying. It's what the game is telling you. Yeah. You know, my life is a skill issue. Stop you shooting. You can't see me, but I'm waving the chat. Oh, well, you could, you could I'm, bath and wave. I'm waving the chat. Uh. Hmm. Nice. He needs heals. It would hurt less if we play, but I, but that it hurts because it's real. I can't pause mm -hmm. it during the slide animation. I have to, mm -hmm. I have to go through these battles. Ugh. You're gonna do great. Thank you. Let me do a spin. You're getting all your XP in, which is excellent. Yeah. I feel excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I'm running through a robot with my new friends. Running through a robot. Running through a robot factory with my new friends. Yeah. We're having a great time. He can do a spin when he wants to, which is all the time, apparently. And we're just having a great time out here. Boom! Can you run from these battles? You know, I thought about it and realized I could probably use the experience. Listen, I don't mind being overleveled in a JRPG. It's one of the things I mind the least about. Like, there, there's some games like I, like a Dark Souls kind of game where being overleveled, I think, can sap some of the fun because you walk in and they're like, whoa, look at this cool boss. And you bop them, they're dead. 
Like you want yeah. you want it to be just enough of a struggle where you have to kind of learn their moves. And it's the, the back and forth, the interplay. Um, being over leveled in a Jer. I mean, I wasn't. I was maybe. A, I don't think I was over leveled. I was. I think decently leveled when I finished FF7. The biggest problem with it was that I um, uh, spin. The biggest problem was that I did the side quest that ended with me unlocking Knights of the Round, which is the yeah. delete boss button. It's fun though. When you it get that far fun. in the game and you get a delete button, it's, it's, I mean, it feels earned, but yeah, there are definitely times in JRPGs or RPGs where it feels unbalanced, but in these games, I, I feel like it's, it's a, it's, I don't know. It's fun to just get all of the bad stuff out of the way and then be like, this was worth it. I just, I like when an RPG has significant rewards. When That's it feels, what I mean. Is it makes you, yeah. it makes you feel significantly more powerful rather than like, oh, this is not fun anymore. You know, it still yeah. maintains that fun, I don't know, aspect of battle. Imagine being overleveled couldn't be me in Sekiro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sekiro, I think I got through at a pretty decent level. I don't remember I being overleveled. It. It's it looked really hard. good though. Good. Yeah. I don't think I got the scrunch face quite right. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Holy shit. There's frog. Frog. Hey, chat, look, it's Where? frog. Oh. 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 Why is the URL dot PNGI? What is a PNGI? What's a pingy? Pongy? What? What is that? It also works without Pongy? the I. Oh. Thank you, Killing. This is, this is great. Me one pingy. <laughs> I mean, one of the people that recommended I stream this said, please, for the love of God, do not name Frog Kermit. Mm -hmm. Which made me tempted. It'd be Kermit. Hey, Kermit. It'd be. Hey, Chrono. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Wind Slash. Oh, yeah, being overloaded. Yeah, no, the pr only problem I had with Knights of the Round is um, there were one or two bosses when I first got it. Where I was like, oh, this is a cool boss. I'm excited to see how they work. And then I hit Knights of the Round and they died. And I was like, oh. There was probably an interesting boss battle there, but not anymore. Yeah, it's, it's, when, yeah. it's when you unintentionally uh, one-shot them. I, I'd rather struggle for a bit and be like, all right, I just want it to be done. Let me hit the boss delete button. To be fair, you also skipped. I mean, skipped and yet not skipped, but you you didn't have the same experience of many children at the time that FF7 came out where you're grinding for like over a week to get the golden chocobo. Yep. I followed a you, guide you, and did it in like an hour. The guide had like a significant shortcut, which was nice, but you kind of get the gist of- It wasn't a shortcut. It was just they knew what the game was looking for. That's the thing is you- you Which you wouldn't know You understand normally. the grind to get there. And so you know that it's, you know, well worth it. <sighs> Feels earned. I want that chest. I just don't want to have to run through this yeah, gauntlet it. again. Yeah, do it. You got it. No, I don't. You're not going to want to backtrack through here, so you might as well get it now. I know. How do I get back over there? Use uh, your brain. I don't have a brain. Yeah, you do. You just don't have brain cell. Oh. Oh. You're right. Smooth brain. Yep. That's why I, I love JRPGs, because of my brain, which is very smooth. Sometimes they give you a little marble to roll around in your skull. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Oh, there must have been a guy. Was there a guy in there? There must There must have been. I don't know. Well, I'm going to be at a pretty decent level once this is all said and done. It'll be great. Look, this is good. Yeah? I'm glad. Yeah, I, I think I did the same thing in this section. I was just like, damn it. Maybe this is like a, a uh, uh, what's the word? A skill issue? <laughs> yeah. No, I was going to say like, maybe this is like a, like a thing all Chrono Trigger players must go through. This is a hill we all must climb. Dandori issue. Yeah. It's not Sisyphusian. It's not Dandori. Do I want some help just like emotionally? A rite of passage. That's what I was... Thank you. Sure. Maybe this is a rite of... Is this a rite of passage? Uh, uh... Spin. Oh, I should have saved the spin for the third one. Oh. 
Oh, no, it's a left of passage. Can't tell my right from my left, though. Uh, if you hold up your thumbs, your left hand makes an actually, L. Actually, okay, my, you know what's funny? I actually don't have a left and right issue. I have a west and east issue. Same. I frequently mix up west, west, but not left and right. Same. So sometimes I, have to I literally think... have to be like, okay, west is the left one or east is the right one. And I still fuck it up. It's, yep. it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's incredible how often I fuck it up. I don't fuck it up. But it's because I have to take a beat to think about it. Yeah. Which is the same thing. Oh no. Um, I always think of the word we. I do too, and then I still fuck it up. <laughs> that's I don't know the thing. What it is. West is the ocean one, east is the other ocean one. Yeah, there you go. That's so helpful. Thank Never you so much. Never eat soil and wean. That's what I do. I've, I have shorted to just go we, but the problem is that you can also go you if it was what? east west. Uh, northeast, southwest. Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat, Never eat... soil weenie? Yeah. Did I, is that what I heard? Yeah. Okay. Got a problem with that? No. Good. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Right. Okay. Shoot a Marl. If you had to choose between leaving Marl behind and leaving Luca behind, who would you leave behind, Bath? Oh, 100% Marl. 100%. <laughs> so you're like, oh, I, I didn't have... know you could have Marl in this part of the game. This is, this is I wild. Never, listen. Never seen Marl remember... in this location. I remembered that Robo can do offense and healing, and I never used Marl again. Like, end game, there was like a cutscene with Marl in it, and I was just like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> it, it, is, like, yeah, Robo, yeah, it is a Robo. fun tenet of the RPG genre when you have the full party during a cutscene, and you're like, wait, who the hell mm -hmm. are half of these people? Yeah. I yeah, like Robo the way was definitely the final party, because that guy is just amazing and incredible you can run no, no no you can ride it to the chest are you right there oh my god thank you you're welcome it was just an ether you're good at least don't, don't. at least it don't. wasn't a mid ether oh wait i want to keep go. going i don't okay. want to hit be a him guy. there might be a guy there's not there, there i'm good go. i'm good oh so you did it. jesus okay so now i can go to the left side and hit the zabby button Zebby. Zebby, Zebby. Bro was too slow for my taste. I benched him most of the game. He's definitely slow. But. Uh, he's no! Not. He's <laughs> just tried to He's doing his him. best. Do, 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 do. I'll just use a shelter. Wow, at I the, wish uh... I could hear the battle music right now. I. <laughs> I could maybe share my streaming software with you, Bath, and you could have a very, very tiny picture of the screen. As a stream preview, but then maybe Ooh. you'd hear the audio. Ooh. I could also share my desktop where you would also see I like it small. Pixels. And then, I like do, pixels. Do you, do you want to try that? Yeah. Let me see. Change. What if I? Uh. Is this a terrible time for you? It's perfect. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. All right. Now Bath is looking oh, at, yeah, a, a, at a raw capture of my desktop with these tiny windows from the capture software. Um, I'm going to use a shelter. Okay. Well, I, I don't... I mostly need MP. How many shelters do I have? Uh, uh, eight. And I have 13 ethers. Let's just pop some ethers. Uh, you eat one, and you eat one, and then you eat another one, and then you eat another one. All right, we're good. Just and chugging Sunny D's. Chugging Sunny D's with the boys. Get the. Get you the... ever on a hot day just chugged a bunch of Sunny D's? You're just like. <laughs> so I think Sunny D was the first yeah. time as a kid. Where mm -hmm. I was like, this is too sugary for me. Really? I, I love Sunny D. There's something about the like chemically sugary vibe so of Sunny D where it's... I was like, this doesn't taste like juice. This tastes like chemicals. It's like happy orange juice. My 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 my, my weakness was Capri Sun. Capri Sun's I could chug all uh, goddamn day. The biggest I problem with like Capri, Capri Sun that was that the straw only allows for one molecule to go out of the <laughs> pouch at a time. So you it would yeah. it was never quenching because it would take you half an hour to drink the pouch. 
and you'd be like, I'm done with soccer practice. I want to drink my Capri Sun. And you have to fucking squeeze the pouch just to fire yeah. this, like, pressure nozzle of flavor into the back of your throat. And you're like, mm -hmm. it's, is this what it's like to be a hamster? Like, sipping out, like, the tiny little droplet at a time? It was infuriating. Really bad, but they didn't give you very much, so you just end up shotgunning the whole damn thing in one go. Yeah, you just rip the pouch in half and then just... But Sunny D, they gave you like a, a good amount. Like it was like it was I feel good quenched now. But Again. Capri Sun or like Ecto Cooler, I'm like this is not enough. I really liked Ecto Cooler though. Like to me, that oh, was the preferable high C one. Was the Capri the, Sun. High C yeah. Ecto Cooler is uh, uh, that the, shit was fucking the yeah. vibe of a century. Absolutely. The defining drink of a millennium. That one I didn't mind that there was not much of it because I was like, it is delicious and I will grab two. So. I just realized I ran around this whole year when I just needed to take the elevator down again. It's okay. It's it's a little bit hard to visualize this area. Luckily, you have a map, but... I do have a map. All right. The Zabby password is Zabby. Zabby. Zabby door lock system operational. Enter passcode. You know what's fun about that is it, it makes a circle because X is north and A is east. You Zabby. What? It's just clockwise on the buttons. What? I'm in. What? I'm in. Oh. Um. This is ominous. What do I mm -hmm. maybe got to interact with? Oh. Yep. These good noises? Sure. Is it the power coming online? Robo will let you know. He's panicking. Emergency! The security system has gone haywire. We must escape immediately. Oh! Oh, time to go. Good music time. Yeah. Oh, oh. Robo, no! Hurry before it's too late. Thanks, Robo. Don't get crushed, please. I like you. Oh, he's okay. And he's dead. <laughs> boom. Whew. Sir, that's TOS. He's fine. Elevator's disabled. That explains why there's a ladder. Now you gotta find your way out the old-fashioned way. Good thing I remember how I got here. Uh. And this face goes so hard. Oh, that's. Oh no, Robo. Wait, these. These are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y. It's good to see nice. you again. Nice. Nice. What are you doing? R64Y, you are defective. You are not one of us. Pardon? I am malfunctioning? Why the sad music? <laughs> Because he's realizing. Affirmative. A defect. I am a defect. Have you forgotten our assigned task? All intruders must be eliminated. That was the reason for my creation. You disgrace our series. You must be destroyed. Oh! No! Oh, leave him alone! Robo, Chrono, they're tearing him apart! You're tearing them apart, Chrono! We're just what? Oh. Um. So, uh. Remember the fair? That was a fun time. Oh, he's fine. Please stop! Please! Ah. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't want to watch this. We should go. I feel uncomfy watching. They put up a barrier. Hey, don't bud. Hey, Marl. Oh no, no, they're fixing him. They're fixing no. him. He's fine now. Uh, my boy. Robo! My precious boy. Now we shall eliminate the intruders. You cocky boxes of bolts! You're not getting away with this! Good thing I restored MP and stuff. Um, 
Fuck yeah, battle music. Him with the old wind slash. Tried and tested. Don't say cocky. They have penises. Do 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 do. All oh, right, I can attack. Um. Hmm. Don't really have a lot of good combos with just her. That's why she's a bad character to bring in your party. <laughs> Man, if I had Luca, we could be blasting them up with some blast. I told you. I listen. I, told you. I was gonna bring Luca, and chat said, "Okay, Marl, back into the fridge," and I felt bad. So what you're saying is you succumbed to peer pressure. I felt guilty. Yes. She okay. is kind of dying a little bit. Yeah, she's kind of useless a little bit. Whoa. -ho. I think she probably needs a potion as well. Yep. There you go. Top her off. There you go. Okay. Well, they, are, they are aggressively targeting her for some reason. Yeah, they're, yeah, punch Chrono. Because she's there. weak. <laughs> uh, wind slash. She's trying her best, okay? Well, it's not very good. Yeah, that's fine. Bounce. Oh, wow, that. Ow. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. That's fun. Okay, you don't have to do it again. Ow. Uh. Ow -wee. Okay, yeah. all right. I might be dying That's here. That's not very good, Bath. Your attitude. Okay, well, I have my opinions and you have yours. You have your opinions and I have my opinions. And that's, and that's that. And your opinions are vicious. My potions are already not doing that's great. True. I need to use a mid potion. Mid, mid, mid for the mid character. There you go. I don't want to be mean tomorrow. She's all right. All right, there we go. Do do. I do like that she's sassy, but that's about it. Marl <laughs> hater. Damn it. Sorry, I'm correct. Thank you. Hey, question. Could I actually have stopped them beating up Robo and then fought this fight with Robo? Uh, that's a good question. Because I, I, I was just kind of doing a bit. Nope. Okay, thank uh, God. Chad says no. Yeah. <laughs> thank God. I was like, uh... I, they are just letting me walk around during this. Get him! Yeah! If you can't run about Robo. Oh, yeah. The weird part about Robo is his theme song is never gonna give you up. It really is. Marl leveled up. Yahoo! I do like her jump pose. Robo! It's, it's pretty good. I see him. He got stuck. <laughs> he's stuck. Like threw him, no. threw him into like a chute and he's just kind of like stuck in there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What should we do? He's in terrible shape. Chrono, let's take him back to Luca. Just dragging him. Yeah, I remember that. Help step Chrono, I'm stuck. Ew. <laughs> I'm too big Ew, for the shoot. Chrono and Marl? Ew. Can you fix me? Shh, don't try to talk. Why is my crotch sparking? <laughs> it's a feature. Are you trying to change the world? I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what do you want to do after I finish repairing you? What do I want to do? Yeah, I mean, you were stuck here all this time. There must be a lot of things you want to do, right? No one has ever asked me that before, Luca. Oh. What is do? Good is morning. Do -do? Here's his theme. Wait for it. Just a big fan of Rick Astley. A big fan. Good morning. Robo, thank goodness you're all right. Luca, you're incredible. Well, let's hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I've arrived at an answer to your question. I want to go with you. Really? You mean it? There's nothing left for me here. I want to help you. Together, we might be able to give the life on this planet a chance. 
But if we save the future, won't he not be built? And then he wouldn't be around to help us save the future? It's DBZ logic. That's Toriyama being like, no, no, shush. Toriyama shush. DBZ logic. Well, let's go. The gate's right through here. Whoa. Here we go. Well, well, well. I'm glad that that works on robots, because there is a chance that you could have just exploded them. What do they call that? Mode... Mode 7? I think that's what Mode 7. It? So Mode 7 is the one where they can uh, 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 apply transformations onto sprites. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's cool. It, it might, looks like Mode 7. It, it probably seven. isn't. It probably is. Where are we? If there's an effect on a Super Nintendo game that makes you go neat, it's probably Mode 7. Mm -hmm. Uh, where are we? The hell is that noise? Go check it out. Technically only on the SNES. True. DS did not have a... I've seen this before. I don't know where I've seen this before, but I've seen this, like, street lamp in a weird... honk shoe. Is this your first time here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Am I at question mark? The end of time? This is not where I'm supposed to get off the bus. Oh, this bucket of slop restored my HP and MP. Hey, quick question. Should I um, go back and do the sewer dungeon? Or should I? There's a sparklier, uh, but I can't don't... interact with it. I don't think you're at a point where you're locked into the next thing so if you want to go do it now i would just go talk to the old guy first also what is this what is this nothing you should really go, back. go talk to the old, right. go talk to the old guy hello talk oh. ah more drifters drifters where are we it's not a question of where my friend so much as when this is the end of time travelers lost in time's flow turn up here much like driftwood on a beach might I ask when you are from? We're from 1000 AD. I come from the year 2300 AD. I'm from the distant future, the year 2024. When four or more entities of varying origins enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time's flow pushes them to the point of least resistance. Yeah. There have been a number of folks turning up here unintended recently, like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? I'm but not Marl in the fridge. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> but not to worry, for all its desolation, it's well connected. There are roads here to any time you could ever wish to visit. Should you so desire, you can call upon your friends at any time, but you can never travel in groups of more than three. Time to put Marl in the fridge. So, that's interesting. So you put together your party here, mm -hmm. and then you go out to a period of time, and then you're trapped, you're trapped, you're stuck, you're locked in with that three. That's interesting. One of us must remain. Who will it be, Chrono? Hmm... Hmm. You know what you must do. I like how it's even showing me like, hey, look, there's no interactions between Marl and Luca. They don't have any duels together. But if I switch to these two, well, that's that's a little bit more in it. Hmm. Hmm. No, yep. well, they they don't have they don't have any duels, do they? Not yet. Bye, Marl. Bye, Marl. Don't you... leave me here for long, Chrono. Oh. Uh, well, okay. That is the way of things. Should you decide to switch party members? And she never came along the party ever again. <laughs> she might. She might. Eh. Eh. You can do so via the main menu whenever you wish. Oh, whenever I wish. <laughs> so I so I'm not the way I thought that it was. You can what? just do it. You can swap out your party whenever. Yeah. Oh. If you you're if you're here, if you're oh, here, then you can. You have yeah. to be here. Uh, yeah. How do we get back I mean, to our own time? 
We'll figure it out. You saw the pillars of light when you arrived, yes? Each connects this place to a different era. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press the ah button, you will return to the gate. But beware the gate connected to that bucket. Huh? That's the end of his... What about the bucket? What about the bucket? Take me with you. No. Nope. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where have I seen this before? This exact... Like... Gas lamp... It's a very in a, famous... In a, like, wrought like, iron fence Part of square. Chrono Trigger, so... Yeah. Maybe in a parody likely spinning you've, memes. Likely you've, you've seen, like... Yeah, likely you've seen, like, art of it or something. It's firmly sealed. What? 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 Hey! 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 Let me touch the bucket. Hey! Okay. Huh. Seen a lot of relaxing video game videos. Yeah, me. Yippee. I've put, seen streetlights out and about in the streets. Oh. Mm -hmm. Luke from the streets. I did get a better thing for her. Uh, yeah. And then, so, okay, I can go in here, party, swap them out. Okay, bye, old man. Um, where does this one go? Not bye, Marl. <laughs> Not bye. See, smell you later. Smell you later, chump. How does this, how does this work? You just press A. I'm pressing A. That one you might not be able to. None of them work. Maybe I press a different button. Can't leave yet. Do the oh, button. Maybe you have to talk to him again? Hey! You needn't be in such a rush. Before you go, have a look past the door behind me. I checked it, it said it was sealed. Do it again. What the? You have to talk to him again. Hmm. Yeah. What are you looking at? Me, I'm Specchio, the master of war. I watch all kinds of battles from here. Huh? The god of war. How do I look to you? Weak. I see. How I look depends on how strong you are. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. Damn. <laughs> how, how, why do I think if I said he looked strong, they'd say it's the opposite? If you're weak, I look strong. If I'm strong, you look weak. Like, like just like, no matter what you say, he's just like, wow, you suck. Ugh. Hmm? Oh, you've got it in you, don't you? That must be why the old guy let you through. See, a long, long time before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But the people abused their powers and ended up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't anyone left who could use magic. Well, except in fiends, of course. But you have it. That inner strength, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. That's where it flows from. There's four types of magic. Fire, water, light, and shadow. Not everyone's got the same type. You with the punk hairdo. You've got light. That girl with the goofy glasses. Her power is fire. What's with this big clunky thing? Sorry, buddy. Well, you... You aren't alive. You've got great inner strength for what it's worth. It's just... You aren't descended from the ancient magic users, so you're never gonna be able to cast spells. Your laser weapons and whatnot should suffice, though. They can inflict shadow damage. Kinda like shadow magic. So he's just a shadow type, so that's a... Alright. By the way, it's not like just Pokemon. magic. He's, pe he's a po He's dark robot type. Everything is made up of these four elements. All right, starting from the door, circle clockwise along the walls of my room three times and say, I want to use magic over and over in your head. What? Don't lose track now three times. Don't want you churning yourselves into butter. Do it. When he's magic, 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 when he's magic. I think you have to be touching the walls. No cheating! I've got my eye on you. Do it over. From the door, clockwise along the wall. You have to the touch wall. the walls. I'm oh. pretty sure. I want to use magic. 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 I want to use mag
Oh, he's magic. 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 Do one more. I was not touching the door. I don't want to touch the door, cause then I'll leave. I want to use magic. I want to use magic. I want to use magic. And then, then do I go to him? Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> you did it. Well done. Need like DK sixty four. Well done. Mm -hmm. Ipso facto Whoa. minimo magico. Banana. These are the magic words of Specchio. Do not steal them. Yep. <laughs> Chrono learned to use magic. What was I doing before then, if not magic? Uh, smooth moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Naturally. Luca learned to use magic. Oh, but then Robo... Robo cannot learn magic. <laughs> uh, that's good. So all fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Yeah. All right. We're gonna fight him. Uh, what? What is? Oh, well. Holy God! Holy hell! Lightning. Fire. He doesn't have magic, but he can rocket punch. He is going to two-shot me. His music's very charming, though. It's very Miss. good. You gotta use magic on him, I think. I Robo can't use magic. Doesn't have any shadow things or whatever? Any I lasers? Didn't, I didn't see a shadow laser. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He fell over like R2-D2. All lasers are shadow. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. Guess we should have had Marl. Yeah. Nope. Probably should have. Nope. I'm not even gonna heal. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw what I got at him. 170! Why is he so strong? I don't know. I don't know how much HP he has either. Uh, a lot. I'm probably dead. Yep. He he he. I win. You make any new friends, you bring them to see me, you hear? I like you guys. Do I need to bring Marl here for her to learn magic? Hey! What? What? Awesome. You do? Well, well, it seems I was right. People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers, you know. Yes, long, long ago. Yeah, well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing you seem to intend on doing, but why not first pay a visit back to your own era? Haste makes waste, as they say, and you'll find that even truer here. Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on Time's Road. Cool. Yeah, meh. She won't learn new techniques until she knows magic. Let's get her yeah, to learn magic. Yeah, it might be beneficial magic. to just, yeah, just do it now. All or right. Or you can wait until you get more party people or whatever. Party people. Um, uh, just... Get in there. This time you'll definitely win. <laughs> the girl with ponytail is the power of water. It's the fact of Minimo Magico. Okay, I don't have to run around in a circle again. Yeah. I was like, please don't make me. Yeah. We got him. Let's try it out. All right. The power of water. So she's a healer, but Robo can also heal. And she's water type, but Frog is also water type. So what's her niche? What role does she satisfy that no one else does? Uh, none. Nothing. That's unfortunate. Hey, Scaredy. Yeah. Princess? <laughs> she's princess? She's a cutie. Everyone in the cast is a cutie. Hope you had a good stream, Scaredy. We're in the end of time fighting a sheep with magic. She's JRPG girl, but then what about Luca? She's she's bombment. Bomb isn't. She can res. Oh, and, and Robo can't res. Her water is cooler because she's been in the fridge. <laughs> and frog's water is slimy frog water. Play more Dragon Ball card game while learning. Nice, scary. Hope it went well. 
Is it even possible to kill this guy? Or does he have like 99999 HP? I don't remember. I think it is possible, but it's tough. Doesn't really matter this oh. really though. Oh. You did it. Oh me, oh my. That was embarrassing. Hmm. Guess you uh, ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. Specchio's special refresher set. Obtained one magic capsule and five ethers. That's not bad. Five sunny D's. <laughs> five sunny D's. What flavor is Yummy. the magic capsule? Is that is that a Capri Sun? What can I say? I'm the yeah. master of war. You make any new friends, you bring them to see me. Here, I like you guys. Goodbye. See ya. Each time you beat him, when he looks different, you get new rewards. Oh, so is, he actually changes in appearance. That's fun. Maybe I'm ready, Chrono. Mm. Ba -ba -boo -ba -doo. Goodbye, Marl. <laughs> See ya. Um, See ya, stupid. Uh, should I give Chrono the magic capsule? Or should I... Who's going to be dealing more magic damage than him? Depends on your... I don't most, know. On which, which user is going to use the most magic. I don't know. Probably Frog when he gets back in the party. Okay. Just save it. Give it to Robo. But he can't do magic. He can do shadow damage with lasers. So I wouldn't he? rely on that. Can I wouldn't he? rely Just on that. Just save her later. I would wait. I'll wait, yeah. but I might forget I have that. Um, So he's got lightning. She's got fire. He's got nothing. Nothing has a little star next to it, so... Just save it. Just yeah. save it. He can learn Robo Tackle with 90 more TP. Robo Tackle's pretty good. So, Marl isn't in the party anymore. Does she still level up and gain TP or no? I... Uh, I think they do in this game. I think they ma They kind of level up with you. Like, they match, like, the... Kind of the average of your party. Okay. In FF7, anyone that's not in your active party gains half XP. Okay. She gets XP, but not TP. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. But I remember them being like, if you left them behind here, they weren't like super under leveled, and you're like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Like, they, they actually keep up. Mm -hmm. I'm okay but with not, them getting XP, not, like, but not TP. They're not like, you know, more powerful than Chrono or whatever. It would be nice if they got TP as well, even at a reduced rate, but because it'd be like, oh, let me grab them. So, so Chrono's going to learn Cleave soon. Deals double damage mm -hmm. to the enemy. Luca's going to learn Napalm? Yeah. Are we... Am I cool with that? Yeah. All right. She's cooking. Leave Chrono behind. Would that I could. I'm going to look at the bucket. That gate leads to 1999 AD. The day of Lavos. The distant future. If you wish to see the world destroyed before your very eyes, then by all means, go. But know that you yourselves may share the same fate. So you can go and see, it's it's kind of like in uh, Breath of the Wild. It's like you can go and see Ganon at any time. That's wild. So you want to beat the game yeah. now? Sure. Yeah, you can if you, but I mean, you might get your ass kicked, but they kind of give you the option to, to go whenever so, you want. So the distant, I would not. The dist I saved, it's fine. The distant future okay. is not the year 2000, it's the year 1999, where everyone lives in big bubble dome cities and everything's good. 1999? That's what he said. Oh, right. Lavos attacked in 1999. Right, 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 yeah. Just in time for the Willennium. This is kind of nuts. <laughs> you could just... Yeah. Hello, presumably final boss of the... This must be the day of... 1999 AD. Date confirmed. The time is 124. This is the precise moment. Or is it because of the Willennium? Could be because of one. This game was way out of time in some regards. I, yeah. Neat. AM or PM? Y2K came early. There he is. Hello. Hey, listen. I just learned how to use lightning spells. We got this. Oh, my. We got this. We Name fought Speccio. It's fine. Oh, he's cute. Lavos. Yeah. <laughs> Are we really going on? Fight. Oh, yeah. Main theme. Ours was a Ours short was fuse. A short <laughs> Holy shit. She just said, we're gonna die. Understood. Let us go. 
This is a bad idea. We don't have to do this now. Lavos enters attack mode. Oh, huh? What? How, why the robot from the bridge? That, that, is it like, oh yeah, I fought a robot once. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Who? Yeah, you, I mean, it's the final boss. It's I don't know what to tell you. Why am I able to walk around? Um, all right. Left hand part restores body. Punch him. Uh, rocket punch. Question mark. Fire on the left hand. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, attack the main body. 113. That's a lot of damage against Lavos. He only has like 25 HP, so. He's basically already dead. It's a short game. This might get a bit spoilery. The game is. I, how is it? The game is saying, do you want to do this? <laughs> so, yeah, why not? How is he not one shotting me? What is this? He's just a baby. Just a silly little guy? He's just a big old baby. Do I have to use physical attacks on this one? Yeah. Just beat the game, Firepad. Yeah, all right. What's he gonna do? Yeah, beat the just be a big old baby. Beat the He's just a big silly guy, Your Honor. He's not even doing that much damage. We got this. We got this. Punch him, Robo. Yeah, punch him. Right in the flappy bits. Right in the octopus beak mouth. Or squid beak mouth? Squids have the beak it's... mouth. Learn fire punch dual tech. Let's go. Lavos changes attack modes. Oh, so that was... Oh, I... So that's... So that's why he was so easy. Because he was, like, remember the... Remember the really easy robot you fought? Can I change my party? I actually can? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can change so your party So that's why you can walk this, around yeah. and be like, okay, let yeah. me, let me... Oh. Yeah. So if I, if I keep doing well, then I'll see bosses I haven't fought yet? Is that the, is that the situation? Um, I don't remember. I mean, because I didn't fight him at this point, but... That's wild. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to die anyway, but... This is fascinating. Um, let's let's go. Cool, uh, right? They're basically just like go whenever you want. Yeah. Hit him with fire. It's a boss rush. Not a spoiler. You figured it out. Yeah. Counter amplifier. Yep. That's how that boss worked. Neat. Hiya. Hiya. Zero. No oh, good. Uh oh. She's fine. She can take it. She's fine. No, no, don't. Yeah, you can zap him. He's fine. Chrono's got a lot of Capri Suns in his pockets. He's got nothing to worry about. Um, where's my... Um, oh, the, the, the group heal is only if you have Marl. So that's why she. it's nice to have both of them. Because you gain multiple group heals. I don't remember if he learns a group heal. I think he does, he but might. not not yet. All right, we go. Need more if you want healing. That's what potions are for. Famously useless Marl. <laughs> Two. He's counting down. Last time I blew him up before he finished counting. I don't think I'm gonna finish him in time. It's fine. Just keep zapping. Oh no no! When he counts down, he respawns the boys. That's what it is. Pod survived. Yeah, I remember. I remember now. I thought he did a big, big laser attack. Rayspawn and the boys. Me and the boys. Drinking some Sunny D. Me and me. Be leap. Be leap. Two hours in the second stream final boss. Yeah, let's go. We got this. Me and the boys respawning. Come on. Get him. Get him. Uh, rocket punch. Flamethrower. I don't know if that's good against a quote-unquote robot. Nope, it's not. Aww. 
Please tell me there's a speed run of Chrono Trigger that actually can defeat him here with some bullshit strats. Oh, that's a good question. Probably. Yeah, just attack him. Lightning is probably good against robots. Yeah, there you go. Breakdown. Breakdown now. Mm -mm -mm. Breaking it down. He changes attack modes. So is this going to be a guy I haven't seen? Yeah, that's a guy I haven't seen. That's just a cool guy in a cave. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Hey, Chad, who's that? I'm being spoiled. Chad. Hey, Chad, who's that? Chad, I don't know who that is. Um, and uh, uh, just eat some... I'm going to die, but I want to at least run through this for a minute. Quit spoiling the video game. Sorry. I didn't mean to spoil the streamer. I can ban Lothos. <laughs> I can ban Lothos. Hello. Punch him. Punch him. Wow. He's got higher defense now. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, bubbles. Ow. Okay, that's fine. You didn't one shot. We're good. I wonder if you get to keep your XP. I don't think you do if you die. I'm, no. Probably should die, go back to the save point. That's angry Joe. That's Joe. He's angry he stole his meat. Oh. Narrate Cyclone. Huh? Who? Ow. Who did? Um. Him with a spin. And fire. Water, too. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oof. Yep, that's rough. That's fine. Spin! All right, that's better damage. <laughs> now we're dead. Now we're dead. Oof. Oh, Robo's still st Robo's still alive! Punch oh, him, Robo! Robo. No. Give him a kiss! Punch him! Kick him in the face! Damn, I can't believe I'm not ready for the final boss. And by final boss, I mean the third boss in the game. Those are good noises. Mm hmm Good ending? End of the world. The end. It's the end of the world as we know it. Um, I happen to like volcanoes and raining fire and ashes from the sky. Truce! Direct impact on truce! Calm yourself. Give me a full status update. Whoa, now that's mode seven. Whoa. Now that's mode Whoa. seven. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Look at that. spin that, that sprite around. Of that JPEG here. Commander, permission to spin a sprite around? Permission granted. Pori, Choras, Medina. They've all been destroyed. Director, we've got incoming. Evacuate to the shelter dome. Director, sir, you must come with us. There's no time. Get moving. Yes, sir. Lavos. No, director. I cared about him. No, the director. He's my favorite guy. Whoa. All right. That is a very angry hedgehog. He's just a little guy. He was really hungry. In the end, the future refused to change. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then the near automata music starts playing. Yippee! Good game. Yippee! Future said no. 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 Despite everything, it's still Lavos. Hey, good thing that mm -hmm. didn't happen. Well, seems I was right. People lived long ago. All enjoyed powers, you know. Long ago. I thought I was going to say, oh, so it looks like I was right. You probably shouldn't fight Lavos yet. <laughs> Yippee. Go the arena of the ages beyond the flow of time. Is this one of the things new to the DS version? I don't remember. This is the DS thing. Oh. This is the enemy rush thing in the DS version. Uh, Ooh. Excuse me. Don't worry about it. I won't, but I do want to poke into it. What is this place? I like his moves. Oh, is this your first visit? No. Oh. Welcome to the Arena of the Ages. This Coliseum hosts battles between monsters from all across time. I'm the Stable Master. Come over here, will you? 
We we're like, yeah! You want to run down to the place? Yeah. There are the monsters. These are the monster stables. We raise them up strong here. Even monsters need training if they want to be tough. What do we train them for, you ask? Why, for fighting, of course. Then we set them against each other in the pit. It's all humane and above board, I promise. Wink. It's just like Pal World. You want to stage a fight? Oh, you talk to that guy over there in the armor. He's not wearing the armor for any reason other than to look tough. You don't fight him. You don't fight him. If you fight him, you're kicked out. You're banned. Yeah. That blue-faced fellow... He's very soft, and he gets his feelings hurt. He's very soft. That's hence the armor. It's like a carapace. Gotta give him a kiss on the cheek. He'll let you right through. That blue-faced fellow yeah. with the winsome smile, he's a merchant. He's definitely smiling. That's a good smile. There are a lot of specialized yeah. items that we use for training and battling beasts, and he deals in the tools of the trade. You'll want to talk to him later on. Well, that's the meat and bones of it. You'll catch on quick. Don't you worry. One more thing. This is important. Time flows differently here. Might call it a different dimension altogether. If you came from the end of time, that old man can probably keep things straight for you. But if you came from anywhere else, everything that happened here will be washed away the second you leave. Huh? So you're supposed to come here from the end of time. How can you get here else, Wens? If you don't want that to happen, you best save your progress over there before you go. Over there. Over there. Oh, but if you came from somewhere other than the end of time, we can't have you keeping records of this place, now can we? Tell you what, if you came here from somewhere else, I'll add a note of what happened here to the last record you made whenever and wherever that was. That would be more convenient for you anyway, wouldn't it? I'm confused. So just, just come here from the end of time. Come see me decide you like to try a hand at raising a monster of your own. Bye? He's got stops, flame claw, sea fang, dusk eye, luck swing, hawk talent, shield cloak, and feral wrath. No idea what any of this is. It's You're all monster there. tech, restores HP, unleashes shadow Damn. based tech, physical damage. Um, Doesn't have any gear. What are you boying? This should just say what returns the last save. That, that was a lot of words. Have you earned your monster's trust? If your monster don't trust you much, it probably won't use the items you give it in battle. You'll gain more trust the more your monster fights. Let it do some training and fight a few battles. You'll start to develop a better bond. They wanted it to be a little bit more like Dragon Quest. A little more Pokemon in here. Has your monster learned mm -hmm. any techs yet? Mine finally learned a fire tech. My dad told me the item your monster takes with it when you send it out to train affects what it learns. I gave mine a flame claw. That's nice, little girl. Do you know your monster's elemental affinity? You have to pay attention to that when it's dueling, you know. Monsters do more damage when they use techs that match their own affinities, but if they use a tech that matches their opponent's affinity, it won't be very effective. I'm learning so much. Just like Pokemon. This must be your first time. No, nope. this is the pit where monsters put their training to the test. Want to see how strong the one you've raised is? You can let it fight against one of our monsters in a prize match or set against an opponent's monster in an interdimensional battle via DS wireless communications. The future is Neat. now. Give me a monster. I'll give you one. Pick the one you want. Oh, shit. Ooh! Oh, what flavor do we want? That orange one's got fire, blue water, yellow light, purple shadow. They're all, they're just smidges now. Itsy bitsy monsters. Go on, take your pick. Which candy do we want? Could do a poll. Could. Blueberry, piss. Edge Lord Smidge. You you want the Edge Lord monster that harbors darkness in his soul? Shadow the Hedgehog. Grape is good. Yeah, let's go purple. That's a shadow smidge. Is that the one you want? Yeah. Take good care of it then. Raise it up tough. He's my little Riku. He looks like baby Grimace. Undo, 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 undo. I want the orange one. One more thing. Here's a little gift for you. Monster trainer starter kit. Stops flame cost. Blah, 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 blah. One of each. The items in the star kit are things you need while raising that monster. For instance, you'll need to give your monster an item to carry with it when you send it off for training. The one you give it will determine the outcome of its efforts. You can also pass items to your monster during duels in the pit. You know, help the critter out. If you run out, you can buy more from the merchant over there. Best to stock up in advance, though. 
I suppose I should explain a bit about training. If you decide to send your monster out for training, you have to choose an era. Sending it to different eras causes it to grow in different ways. You can only set it to time periods you've already visited. If you want your monster to progress in its training, you best progress with your quest. All right, let's take a look at how strong it is. He's so little. Toggle display of attributes. Oh, yeah. Look at him. By God. He is powerful. If you ever want to take a closer look at your monster's ability, send it off for some weird which I'm talking. Come talk to me. Hey, bud. What do you need? Uh, train the monster. Select an item and air to use for training. Give him, um, darkness. Will, will you give me a message when you're done with the monster stuff? Yeah, I'll be done with it in 10 seconds. I'm going to go fishing in Terraria. <laughs> okay. I'm, no, just, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll dip out for a bit, but message me if you need, if you need me to come by. Sure thing. Don't hurt yourself. Mm. No worries, Beth. I can poke Please you. make good developmental I'm products. literally planning on going back to the main. Well, I'm going to go to the sewers. So if you want me to wait till I'm done with the sewers or what? Uh, Gate. Just, just ping me when you get lonely. Make good. I'm always lonely. Make good developmental progress. No, you're not. I always enjoy your company. Thank you. I'm sending my uh, child off to war. Do you want me to just mute war. and stay in the call, or? If you want. Your little dog should return before for me to hop out. To check back. Uh, I mean, I'm literally, I'm done. I'm going back. Uh -huh. I sent my son off to mm -hmm. war. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean, if you want, I I don't want to keep you. I'm just going to try to head back to the sewers to do that now. Uh, Discord is just. I'd rather Discord be fishing. <laughs> Gone fishing. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, there bum, we go. Bum. I popped out the. So which one is each of these? Mystic Mountain. I'm just gonna pop out for a bit, but let me, but let me know. Yeah, sure okay. thing. Thanks for hanging. Okay, chat. Be good. Be good. Be beef. Who let that duck in here? Gone. Oh. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, I thought I couldn't do this until I unlock it, but can I? Well. We can just go to Dino Land. I thought we weren't supposed to be able to come here. And now I'm now I'm stuck. <laughs> now I can't go back. Oh! 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 Looks like I unlocked it. I didn't he explicitly say that you have to unlock a thing in order to warp there? Yeah, don't worry about it. But I was gonna. I was gonna go back to the future, actually. And go to the sewers. I'm not stuck, I can go back. He said you should, not you have to. Get him! These are some beefy dinosaurs. Zap. All time portals and the end of time are in pairs. No, but can I climb? I just fell out of the sky. How, can I go back up there? Why did I come here? Because I was like, wait, will they let me? And I didn't expect to be dropped out of the sky. Learn to fly. No future. No future. There's no beef in these dinosaurs. No, it's chicken. I like how they're jamming out, though. No, don't. Zap. They're dancing to the music. Try, I'll try a somersault. Punch him. Kaboom! Why don't I just, uh, blast them? Cook the chicken. Love me some Toriyama dinos, dinos, right? Got a horn, learn fire punch. All kinds of stuff. Okay, so if I go back... Is there, is there now a portal here? There's no portal here. There's the portal. Wait, do I have to jump into the portal? That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. This is so good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, I love that. Uh. Uh, right, one sec. Whoop, whoop. Go back! We're gonna go back later. I gotta go back to the future. Let me, let me eat some HP and MP. Eat, eat. Yeah. This little maneuver might break our ankles. It's also going to save us 65 million years. I want to go to the sewer. Go to Medina Village 1000 AD. Go to Protodome. So my only options right now are present day, future, and 65 million years ago. There's no option for, I don't know, a couple hundred years ago? Middle Ages? Where I sent my darkness child? Okay. Wait, I'm not back here. Where am I? Am I am I all the way back? Why am I not? Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about literally anything. Am I am I Yeah. No, okay, no, I am. Alright, no no no, we're good. We're good. I thought it put me all the way on the the west. See I had to think about it. All the way on the west part of the continent where I first came in. Do I have to do the bike race again? See, I'm trying to get to the middle area, right? Do I have to? Ra I guess I might have to race back. F zero time. Is it? Do hey, bud. I'll let you use that jet bike because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it and don't you dare chicken out, babe. Oops. I just meant to walk around the bike. Hey, Johnny. How's that jet bike potion? How do I... Can I... I'll let you use the jet bike. I would like to use the jet bike. This is spis... We're going! Zoom. Do I have to win this? Sir? Meow. I love this so much. Come on. I'm just gonna wait till the last second. Get in front of him. Boost! No! I boosted into his butt! Still won somehow, though. <laughs> Yay! Yay! You got boost power. I'm gaming out of my mind over here. You beat me? I don't get it. You ain't come challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. See you later, babe. Love that guy. There's a part of the mini map over here. There you go. I boosted into his butt. I did. And it was effective. So the sewers are... Is that this thing? Abandoned sewers. That seems to be the thing. Let me, let me save on the overworld outside first. Yes. So to my understanding, this is an optional mini dungeon. Or maybe a macro dungeon. I don't know how big it is. Um, but it's worth doing at this point. Can we check it out? Oh, hi. Oh. Look out! Sorry, his name is Lookout. Or he is the Lookout. Eek, outsiders! Better report to Crawley! Hmm. Safety safe for the win. A hundred percent. Zoras! Get him! Oh. What the fuck? He can do lightning attacks? Um. Nice. Okay, they're not too strong. Optional dungeon of a size. <laughs> it is a dungeon of known size. Not the bubble! Bubble, bubble, double dragon of zero! Chrono Trigger. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Robo increase. His robo increased three sizes that day. Uh huh. A lot of silly guys in here. How come they call it abandoned sewers? This is the most populated area in the future. There was a bridge here. I saw it, I swear, Ribbit. What? It got up and walked away, Ribbit? Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here at all, Ribbit. 
but it's true, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. It's frog. Is it clams? Oh. Um. Oh. What? Egg ooze. Let's hit the Don Drago first. Egg ooze. I don't care. For ow, ow! I'm getting assaulted by an egg. Ow. Thanks. Zap him. Just a couple of goopy eggs. Oh, Dan re-uploaded the animated nut. Good. Oh man, Dan has so many more animated emote slots now. Like everyone else. What a great gift to mankind we'll soon have. 600 money? I got egg oozed. How does it feel? It's slimy. Remember Edgar in the SNES version? That might be a later enemy. Edgar the egg. It's quite good. I'm being assaulted by an egg, Sonic. Look out, Tails. You're gonna crash. Whoa. Eh. Um, team? I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, it's just a staircase up to some frogs. Hi! What are you? No! <laughs> I've been betrayed by a cat! No! <laughs> no! Oh! The devs knew I would fall for it. And they were right. Oh, I just got played. Top 10 anime cat betrayals. Number 1 through 10. All that cat right now. No, 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 oof, punch him, punch the fish out of the water, um, how's fire against the water enemy, probably pretty good, probably pretty good, actually quite good, actually very good, nice, hmm, Ted Woolsey might appreciate it, <laughs> I mean, this is a retranslation of his original script. But I don't know how much has changed. Uh, let's, uh... Let's have some robo-healing. Wait, can I use her MP when she's not in my party? You cannot. That was gonna say, that's oh, that's busted. Restore most one HP to an ally. Yeah. Give me some cure beam. Nice. And, uh... Well, you're kinda fine. You're fine. Can you follow the cat? It's just gonna betray me again. Ooh, the cat left me a note. I'm sorry. The monsters made me do it. It was not my intention to be betray you. I will tell you a riddle. At the end of the riddle is a secret potion. There's a diary here. The final entry reads as follows. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken the guillotine any day of the week. Think I'll go out with a good loud scream. See all the soggy freaks like that. Oh. Okay. That's fun. This sucks. Black. Time to die. The end. Quiet place ripped off Carnage Fair. Everyone, everything did. Uh, goodies. I kicked the thing into another thing. What do you mean that was a trap too? I don't have any regrets. I don't have any regrets. Hit, hit him. Blast him. You spin there. It was a slight noise. I made a loud noise, and I don't regret it. It was fun. More fights, more XP. What's the issue? Ba -da -da -da. Am I supposed to walk here? Instead of run. Ooh, a cheese! Surely picking up cheese is quiet. Oh, the cheese alerted a rat to my presence.
Boom! The rat wants the cheese. Leon! Leon, I want the cheese, for Leon! Zap him. Nice. Thank you, Winslash. Winslash, you can stop the bit whatever you want. Thank you, though. I think you appreciate the bits. Oh, cheese ring. Cheese whiz, Leon! He did great work for only having like four weeks to translate. Is that seriously how much time you had for a whole ass JRPG? That is absurd. Uh, I want to heal up. Cure beam for Luca. Luca. <laughs> okay, that one got me. Okay, that one got me. You played me like a damn fiddle. The slightest noise will alert the enemies. Yep, I'll walk into that save point. Damn. Damn, I got got. That's really good. I didn't know that you... I don't know the, the, the swing noise was diegetic. I thought it was a UI noise. Damn. More time jamming after this, though. Not even mad. Nice, yeah. All right. Note to self. Be quiet. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting robots. Hello, eggs. Oh! Yeah, we can fight a couple eggs. Get him! You got done up! It dinged for reals. Diet G's nuts. Yeah. Get him! Pouch! Never lost a fight with an egg. Well, except for that one time. Dare I ask about the time you lost a fight to an egg? Dare I even ask? Uh... Is that... Just a dead end? Okay. Where them frogs go? On the mini-map, there's like a path right here. But that doesn't... Oh, it's the bottom of where our icon is. I see. Oh, that's very loud. Would that alert monsters to my pro uh, location? Eh. 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 Oh, now I'm over here. The frogs. Looks like you just have to press the switch and the bridge will extend across, Ribbit. So switch it on already, Ribbit. Ribbit! Can't reach it, Ribbit. And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit. Someone's coming! Let's scram, Ribbit! It's too timey. It is teamy timey. Cannot hit the switch. However, I am a big, tall chrono. And I doesn't afraid of anything. D d d was there a thing down there? No. I just need to loop my way around. Oh, goody. Rage band. Now, what on earth might that do? Grants 50% counter attack rate. Oh. Huh. Hmm. That could be nice. But I don't really want to swap out anyone's other accessories. But counter is good. I guess strength plus two. I was going to say, like, I really like having her accuracy up because accuracy affects damage dealt with a ranged weapon. And speed is really nice on Robo because he's slow. But he only tries for a bit. It's only a mild ding to my attack. It's all the rage. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got through a lot... Oh, oh well. I got through a lot of FF7 with the counter materia on Cloud, because they bop him, and he's just like, yeah! You're like, hey. Uh, there's three of them, and they're almost here. Watching through the sewers like they own the place, eh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. Yes, yes we will. He, he, he. Oh. What on earth is that? Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when we're done. Ga ha 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 ha. He 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 he. Har 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 har. Ha 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 ha. He 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 he. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll mash you to goo. Not unless I mash you first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Please stop. Please stop doing that. Um, rocket punch. Holy shit. He's down to one HP. Chrono. Chrono, hold on. I did just attack. It's oh no. I'm about to be mashed into goo. Please attack anyone other than Chrono. Holy hell, mid potion for Chrono. No! No! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Alright, it's fine. We got we got Athenian Waters. It's fine. How much does that heal up to full? 50 HP. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm actually scared now. Oh, he's dead. So he doesn't have a lot of HP, he just hits you very hard. I got a mid ether. Alright. Got him. Uh let me heal up a little bit. Cure beam chrono. Cure beam Luca. A gravity type of effect? I don't know what the hell that was. That was very fun that we walked up and being like, aha! We'll get them all! Oh, hi, hello. And then dead. This is a ladder there, but... Over here... Is a thunder blade. Isn't that what I already have? I have a thunder blade. So I have a second thunder blade. Two of them now. So I open up this shortcut back to the start. Oh, well. Dual wield them, if only. You couldn't have gone to early if you came before the factory. That's true. We made it. Eh, eh. Um. So. Is that the Mount Doom or whatever? It's so over, but we're so back. Death Peak! This looks bad. I did just save them. Obtain strength capsule. Yippee! <laughs> well, alright. Uh, I'll take it. Yoink. Give the strength... Ca oh, wait, sort these. Strength capsule to my strong boy. There you go. Death Peak. So, I don't have something that I need to actually stay up there, I assume. Keeper's Dome. Why is it... It just doesn't have enough juice? Hmm. Oh. Hey, do you work for the Monster Battle Dome? Are you this? I met your brother. He's chill. Check to see if it's plugged in. I mean, it has power. I think. Is this not? Hmm. Yeah, this is a first time playthrough. Boop, 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 beep, 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 beep. Hello. Are you guys just hanging out? Strange construct. Oh, wise one, I cannot wait to see what program code you will install in me next. Oh, now that's the sort of appreciation that makes all my work worthwhile. How's the current one? Seems a little better than before, anyhow. Huh? No! You mustn't go to Death Peak! Wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and... It has to be them, or the way is shut. Yes, yes. Say, have you seen my masterpieces, the Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both, you know. Fine works, wouldn't you say? Huh? Who? And he's got a door I can't. Okay. Well, the way is shut. It sure... Okay. Seems to be a dead end, then. All right. Back to the present day, then? Unless there's something else we should be doing here, but I don't think there is. Seems we come back here later. But we opened up the shortcuts here. So it'll be quick to go back. Cryptic old dude. You gotta have a cryptic old dude. Optional for now. 
So the main benefit is you come here on your first loop through before you race Johnny. And then you get a Thunderblade before the one you get 20 minutes later in the factory. I mean, early is good. But definitely not a game changer. It's not like, oh, this help this carries you for like hours before you get something better. It's like, yeah, you get it slightly earlier. That's all right. I remember a thing I was gonna say earlier though. Uh, when Bath was on the call. Can I just av avoid the cheese? Avoid it! I know! It pains me! It pains me. The cat! I wanna say hi to the cat! Stay strong! Um... Uh, the, the example that came to mind in terms of, like, it, like in this... Or I was talking about Final Fantasy VII getting Knights of the Round as a summon that just deletes everything you interact with. Um... I've played some RPGs where the upgrades don't feel as, uh, or the rewards for doing optional stuff isn't as substantial. And the example that I was going to bring up was Final Fantasy 16. Because one of the common rewards you get for doing stuff in that game are the accessories. And almost every accessory in Final Fantasy 16 is the most minuscule of upgrades, like almost comically so. Eat. Yeah, you're giant. Blonk him. Block his ass. Get him. Fine. Johnny. Boost. Boost. Whew. Barely. Got him. Maybe an endgame thing or two added in the DS port compared to this next version? Could be. Winning does that to Johnny's hair. Yeah. You beat me. Challenge me again. His hair is like that. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, in general, a lot of my complaints... I, I liked a fair amount of FF16. It didn't blow my mind or anything, but I don't regret playing it. Um, which is very low praise, indeed. Um, but I found that it was very lacking as an RPG. Uh, in terms of customizability and, and actually kind of tweaking your loadout. Oh, that's an Airtron. No, I can heal up at the time between time. Or some whatever it is. Yippee. Um. It was just a shame was for me. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Um. But one of the big issues was... You have an... Like... You have a weapon, you have an equipment slot, like armor, and then you have, an ex you have three accessories. And the problem was, most of the accessories I got, I would do, like... I did tons of optional stuff in that game waiting for the optional stuff to be worth it, either plot-wise or reward-wise, and it'd be like, oh, you got this accessory that reduces the cooldown of this ability by three seconds. And it's like... I should be able to equip stuff that changes the way the game works, that, that actually has significant ramifications to my gameplay. And I should be... My reward for doing long optional quests should be a thing that's like... Yeah, this this makes this one ability busted. Good job. And it just felt like they were like, we don't want you to be able to mash abilities on cooldown too quickly. And it was just like, I don't know. I ended up just equipping the accessories that are like more experience, more gill. Just like boring things that didn't impact the gameplay were just like less grind to get stuff. And it was just very underwhelming. Um, if it was like, hey, this cooldown is 10 seconds shorter, I'd be like, okay, maybe that now we're talking, but... It was like the most minuscule. That's some MMO bleed over shit. That's that's where I'm. It's stuff like that where I'm like, everyone, everyone's like, yay, Yoshi P is doing a mainline Final Fantasy. He's gonna save FF16, and it's like, I I think he made an MMO, a single player MMO in some regards. It's like the tiniest little incremental thing. It's like, no, in FF7 you do this long prolonged side quest, and they're like, hey, you got a summon that deletes most bosses. <laughs> like that is a significant thing if you choose to use it, but it's optional. But here's your reward. And 16 had a lot of, like, underwhelming, very underwhelming rewards. So, he was merely producer. Not as much influence as 60s people try to voice them. That's fair. He definitely was. Why are there gremlin children in my home? No, they're just vibing. I like the hidden downside using. I learned about that after I finished the game, and I, like that is, the final boss can become harder if you use if you use the broken summon, which is great. 
Uh, it, it just, you live in truce. This is Medina. Oh, I am in someone else's home. I'm sorry. The time warp is in the cupboard. That's good. I just wanted to confirm. Our home. Take me back. You're right. It does say Medina Village. Ruby Weapon also counters next round with Ultima. Yeah, I tried Ruby Weapon a couple times. And then I looked up a strategy. And the strategy was the most busted shit. Where they were like, you have to equip this Materia that lets you do two summons per turn. You use the first summon to make him fall asleep. And the second summon to do damage. And then you alternate those back and forth using um, Mimic. And if he wakes up and does damage, it breaks the Mimic chain. And then you're dead. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> this is not, this is not fun. Because otherwise he just deletes you. He just it, it murders everyone. Lazy show. Yeah. So I did not do the uh, ru ruby weapon or emerald weapon, I think. I didn't do a couple of the weapons. Damn. You have to go into the fight with two dead party members. Yes. Yeah, you have to enter the fight with two party members dead. Then you knock them out. And then you can revive your other party members to do damage. But if you have any other party members alive, he grabs them and they're dead. And you're like, okay. It's just Phoenix for free raise. Yeah, you can, but you have to just like spam abilities. And it's like, and then it takes an hour. I'm like, uh, I'm good. I'm good. I looked up what the rewards were and I was like, that's fine. Anyway. You folks came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing in here? Why is there magic in you? Magic using humans were supposed to have died out long ago. Who do you think you are, coming and going from someone else's wardrobe at all hours of night and day? Humans, I tell you. Medina's a village of fiends, founded by our ancestors when they lost their war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the townsfolk still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. We made it to the monster town. Population monsters. Hey, hold on a minute. There's an old, odd old human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the east. He may be able to help you out. Thanks a lot, but aren't fiends supposed to hate humans? Why are you being so helpful? It's been 400 years since man warred against fiend. There's no use living in the past. Of course, not many other fiends seem to agree with that. Thanks. Oh. It was shiny. Shiny fountain. Medina Square. That chanting's pretty creepy. What do you make of it? I got magic from dude, yes. Oh, great fiend lord. Oh, great fiend lord. Oh, great fiend lord. 400 years have passed since Magus, since Magus commanded the fiends and waged war against the humans. But if Lavos can be reawakened, there will be no more humans. Oh. It was the fiend lord Magus who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us. And once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. So we gotta go back in time and stop this this Magus from awakening Lavos with his great magic. Magus? 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 I don't want to call him Magus. I like the uh the like gargoyles little side shimmy. Magus? Devil Magus? Magnus? Magus? M Magus? It's like a mage. Magus. It was the Fiend Lord. Well, if I just call him Magus. And I tip my hat. Magus. A Mogus. Market. Hello. No stinking human's gonna talk to me. Hey, I said I have nothing to sell to humans. Get out of here. Please. Humans think they got a right to everything. Teach them a lesson, boss. We're fighting in the store? This is amazing. This game is very good. Holy hell. Get him. He missed. We are raising a ruckus inside of this store. Uh, get him. Get him. Store fight, store fight. This is now a robbery. Yeah, we're bad guys. Next to be saying Janendorf and Gerudo. I do say Gerudo, though. And Chat hates it. I've been trying to unlearn it. 
They beat you, boss. Monsters! Alright, I'll sell. <laughs> Alright, what are you buying? Uh, uh... Um... What does this say? Zanmato. Damage times 1.5 to magical beings and... Holy hell. 86? 80... 86? I mean, it is. I can't afford it. It's 65,000 money. I only have 16,000, but that's... That's re that's a hell of an upgrade. Radiant Helm also is 65,000. Is everything 65,000? Is there... Oh. And the potions are thousands of gold. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. He's got I didn't even look at him selling a potion for 2,380 gold. <laughs> I'm being slightly upcharged. Yeah, you think I'm gonna charge a human the going rate? This game is very good. <laughs> this game is very good. Oh, man. Uh, can I go over here? Yeah. Medina Inn. Oh, the inn. Am I gonna fight everyone in the inn? No room here for humans. Scat. I give up. Oh, now you're spoiling, you're spoiling my drink. My drink's spoiled, because you filthy humans ought to all go take a hike through that Heckran cave and get what's coming to them. <laughs> Heckran. Heck you. Got. Where I'm from, that's a severe insult. I plead. He's still talking to me. Don't know what's good for you, do you? Rattle him, boys. Spin it, boys. Ah, oh, he's spinning. He is, he is spinning it, boys. Ah. In fight, in fight. We are in, the f in the in. Boom. All right. How much for a night? Eck, help. Two hundred G for the night. Want me to put you up? No. It is tempting, though. I just wanted to fight some monsters, apparently. I'm the bad guy. Elder's house. Residence. The elder? Is this where I... Can oh. Ooh, that is very... Dra I know it's Toriyama, but that is just a very Dragon Quest guy. Speed capsule. That's for Robo. Even if I don't keep him in my party, that's for Robo. There you go, buddy. You get to be 1% faster. This work is brutal. This work is brutal. Blast that Ozzy the Eighth, always hiding behind his ancestral fame to boss us around. Yeah, Ozzy, is that you? I'm Ozzy the Eighth, the leader of this village. My great 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 granddad fought against the humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh, great Fiend Lord, why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago and you had the chance? Neat. Yeah, that's him. The great demon Lord Ozzy. Hello. A fearsome beast lives in the cave on the mountain to the east. Only magic can harm it. I doubt a human would be able to timid we would be able to make it though, not being able to use magic and all. Well, I better get back to tidying up before Ozzy if catches me. He he he. Try and catch me, Ozzy. Wee. Just running around. Magic. Keep that on the in the inventory. Okay, so there we go. There's the jam. Hmm. Melchior's cabin. And can I climb the mountain? I the heck. It's called Heckran. I thought he was saying it as like, oh, you, you head off to that gosh darn cave. It's called the Heckran cave. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, goody good. Alright. Uh, Melchior's cat. Well, what else is over here? Cave. Run! Run! It's a very shiny statue. And we have the forest runes. Oh. A mid ether. Oh. oh. Is this some kind of puzzle? Doom, 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 doom. This reminds me of a puzzle. The Coke Shaky Cave. 
If I make a video game, I'm putting a Coke Shakey Cave in there. And I will be sued by the Coca-Cola Corporation. I'll be, I'll, if you walk into the Coke Shaky Cave, it, it's like, Hey, thanks for entering the Coke Shaky Cave. Here is a GoFundMe link for my legal defense <laughs> for calling this cave the Coke Shaky Cave. Th I hope you have enjoyed your time here in the Coke Shaky Cave. Is this amount I can get into? No. You have to catch me first! And I shake a Coke and spray it on him. See ya, nerds! Yahoo! Oh, my 2024. I can't believe the Pokemon compi company issued a response. It's vague as hell. They're just like, in regards to recent video game releases, we're looking into it. But like, the fact that they even said anything is just wild. It's Melchior. Oh, you've come to see me. Well, by all means, have a look at my collection. Do you remember this guy? No. Was this the uh, the swords the swordsmith? I like to buy one. Who was this guy? Potion. He was at the fair. Which guy at the fair? Was he the was he the swordsmith? The guy I sold the I tried to yeah because I misunderstood how it worked. Um. Well, he's got a very fine blade for Chrono. Let's do that. Do 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 boop 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 uh, okay. And then sell the old sword. I can't sell the bronze sword. That's... That's important. Tin arm, don't need that. Pocket blaster, don't need that. Silver bow, don't need that. Thunder blade, don't need that. Oh, I have a second one. Don't need that either. Um, iron bow gun, don't need that. Nothing to sell. Iron suit. I might need a maiden suit. I'm selling it. I'm selling it! Uh, okay, so those are all good. That's good. Titanium vests. Just the one. Will suffice. You know, if I'm in a situation where I, I need two of them, we can... How much are they? I feel bad. They're 1200 I can afford it. <laughs> Just get one for Marl. I want the option to be like, be like alright, let's grab Marl and not worry about, oh, I gotta go find a store and buy stuff. I'd rather just have it ready to go. So. Sell the suits. Okay. Do you have anything else for me, old man? You do not. But I'm glad I visited you, old man. Should I buy some potions? Uh, I have eight mid potions. I have 16 regular potions. These are cheap. Get ten of those. Nine, nine, four of those. I'm being nice tomorrow. I'm not being nice that weapons are not meant for the taking of lives. They're meant for saving them. I'm not being nice tomorrow. I'm being not mean tomorrow. So. I, I, depends on how you feel about her. Stop calling me old man. Thanks, old man. It says, welcome to Melchior's house on my wall. Goodbye, old man. Alright. Up the Hecran Mountain. She want, I want to be comfy. Death to the enemies of fiend kind. How do you do? Name's Chrono. And hiya! Punch! Got him. Do 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 do. Should probably heal up, huh? If I'm entering a area with enemies in it. Um, cure beam. Cure the chrono. Yeah, it would be a fair amount of menuing. But I could on the world... Actually, I need... I do kind of want to check. Can you swap out your party on the world map? You can. Okay. The way that it was phrased... Something about the way it was phrased made it seem like you have to be in the end of time to swap out your party. I'm like, that seems awful. Um, so you could go to the world map, swap out... Swap Marl in, use her to heal everyone because she has a separate MP pool, and then swap her back out into the fridge. And then effectively have free heals because I would assume she gets her MP recharged at like a inn and the recharge stations and stuff. But that would just be a fair amount of menuing to do. You can swap her here. It does have it lit up, doesn't it? Huh. Huh. Best end of time only. 
No, it was it was the old man's that's lying when he was describing about swapping the party members. Treating Marl as a potion. Yeah. Ye yeah. Ether. An ether. It's just a vase. Why is there battle me? Oh, it's a vase full of octopi. What a delightful occurrence for me. Hit the bottle. But not like that. Oh, that is strong. Um, Do a spin, buddy. Do a spin. You swap whenever you want to be training travels party four. I thought it was like, you can swap your party members here. It's fine. Pot of greed allows me to draw three octopi. I'm glad he can spin because God damn, Robo's good. God damn, he's just the best. Um, nothing here. Whenever I look at the map and it's like there's a chunk of the map missing, I'm just like, eh. I love having the map, though. Do not get me wrong. Hey, Ma, get top me off real quick. Coke shaky. Hmm. There's nothing. Oh! There were, like, big old Hercules beetle guys. Rhino beetle guys? Whatever kind of guys those is. Hit him with fire! And you punch him. That works. Yo, JD, how you doing? We've returned to the present day of the year 1000. We are no longer in the future. I should just update stream tile every time I time hop. Uh, time warp. So that's an exit. Let's do the time warp again. Mid ether. It is just such a great feeling to be walking around in a place that looks like this and not have to worry about random battles. Like, this is one thing. Um, do a spin. Give us a spin. Um, yeah, it's not gonna... Oh, it did kill him. Nice. We haven't, not, we haven't had a time heist, per se. But I'm sure there's time. Time. Hmm. So even though his rocket punch is still just a rock, rocket punch. Um. And with that, rocket punch does way more damage. Because it's a tech. It's still a physical hit, though. I don't know why I would do that much more damage, but... Mm. But yeah, it's nice not having to worry about random battles. Um, even though I was interrupted by a scripted fight. But that's still different than, like, I walked five steps. Boosh, and everything goes into battle mode. I definitely prefer this. Um, so we need to be in the water to climb that stair. Let's check this path. Kind of the time it's a little moral situation. Kidnapping is a kind of heist. I don't like the sentence, kidnapping is a type of heist. But I can't refute what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, they got good faces. Oh, from the side, too. What are you? Boundillo! Get the boundillos. Get them. Oh, with the counter. Nice. Okay. We're keeping counter until the end of the game. That's a lie. I'm probably going to replace it at some point, but it's very good. Love a counter in a turn-based RPG. Yeah, we fought... Well, they weren't this shade of... Orple. Light Orple before. It's like a reddish... Reddish purple. They are little green balls before. But now they're, they're just very good. Huh. Bats! Do 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 do. Ah, ah, ah. I like when the enemies are doing their little side to side and it feels like they're jamming out to the music. Okay, alright. Note to self. Do better damage. Um Can I do a spin? Spin with a laser? Toyo and Mosa put just the right amount of detail in the designs. Oh yeah. A lot of his monster designs are pretty simple. 
but they just got a vibe to them. My entire experience playing through Dragon Quest Builders 2, which was my first interaction with a lot of classic uh, uh, Dragon Quest designs, Magic Scarf. Uh, it was just, oh my god, look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. And then later finding, like, NES or Famicom sprites of all these guys. And being like, oh, look at them. Uh, what did I get? What did I obtain in that magic scarf? Magic plus two. Yeah. I bet it is. Hmm. How am I doing on HP? E not super. Not super duper. Which means I could... I could grab my potion. My potion dealer. Hey there. Hey, how you doing, Marl? Wow, it's so great to be with the party again. I know, Marl. How have you been? Oh my god, the adventures I've had are non-existent because I've been waiting to be added back to the party. That's nice, Marl. Anyway, see you later. No. Bye, Marl. It was good to see Marl for a bit, though. Yeah. You can't handle our strongest potions. I'll take our weakest potions. Those are fine. Be nice to Marl. I didn't say that. I just said I don't want to be mean to her. I'll just be not nice. Oh! More orb! Marl's precious. She's great. It just is unfortunate that all of her abilities can basically be done by someone else, except for group heal. Uh, I don't think we need to use... Yeah, we can just punch him. We can just punch him. And zap him. Why would you be mean or nice to a potion? It's just a potion. Unless that potion was a, a jet bike potion. Because then we'd be talking. Hey! Hey! Quit it! Get him, Chrono! Get him, Chrono! You don't need Peach because the Mallow can also heal, though. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really use Peach a lot in my RPG. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Oh, more bits. We kept them all behind the jetpack potion. Mario RPG. RPG. I did watch the newest trailer they just dropped for that new Peach game that's coming out in a few months. It was a trailer. Rocket punch to the bird! It's not a bird, Chrono, it's a bat. It's a bird! Punch him! It didn't do a lot of damage. Got him. He's not dead! Got him. Got him. Huh. It looks charming. It looks charming. I, 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 I'll probably wait till I start seeing more like review kind of content to decide if I want to check it out or not. Because it looks charming as hell, but also looks simple in a way that I might not find engaging. There's simple in a way that's like, hell yeah. And there's simple in a way that's like, eh, I like having maybe a little bit more going on. But it looks very cute. Oh. Any part configuration is correct. Yeah. In this game. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, oh, if you don't have this character, you are screwed. So that's nice. Um, hit him with a spin, buddy. Hit him with a spin. Cover style is too simple to enjoy for me. It's understandable. Playing it in multiplayer was a good time. Single player, I can understand it being on the simpler end. Kirby rides a fine line, for sure. Depends on the curb. Well, he was very close to dead. Nice. I know, I felt like we were past that as a society, Flavir. Making a game for Peach that's like a girl game. Um, yeah, there's a, this isn't a very, uh, I'm not going to remember this is here. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, now we're in the welder. All right. So there's a thing that I opened that already. We're good. There's one there. Chat will remind you. Hey chat, where was that one chest that I, I wanted to find once we could open those chests? And Chad will be like, you're talking to me? Who? What are you? Huh? 
It was here. There. It was there. Over there. Right there. Thought enemies were going to spawn in. We're good. This one heck ran, heck ran cave in the castle back over there. Shout out to the Kirby Air Ride. <laughs> I have never played Kirby Air Ride. Uh, uh, I don't think a shelter is necessary. Well, if we're about to run into a boss, then maybe. If there's a save point before a door, I'm nervous about it. I could buy more shelters. Let's use a shelter. I'm not going to save, though, in case this was a waste of a shelter. But then if I die, then I wouldn't... Then I would need the shelter. It's fine. Hello? Death to the enemies of fiend kind! Oh, this is the guy I... I was spoiled. Chat spoiled this for me. Remember, chat? Remember, chat, when you spoiled me on the boss? And I was like, no, chat, I don't want to see that. And you were like, ha, ha, ha. We spoiled the streamer. We went out of our way. Oh, that, okay. Have to use magic attack on him. Wow, so Robo's not a really good party member for this fight, huh? Ah. You lack the fuel. I'm doing my best. Uh, what about... How do we feel about a laser? If only we had Marl. Yeah, if I die, I can swap out tomorrow. Okay, so spinning does, does more damage. Go ahead, try and attack. See what it gets you. All right. Ow, 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 I'm being attacked, ow. Oh, there's water too. Uh-oh. E Oof, okay. All right, we're okay. Coming in with some heals, Chrono. Nope, never mind, he's dead. R.I.P. Chrono. And then I just lose my turn because he wasn't around to heal? That's unfortunate. Um... Counter-attack stance disengaged. Oh, so that was the thing that he was... I see. So she's about to die. Eat a mid-potion, Luca. This is where writing off a whole character. I didn't want to write her off. It just so happened it was funny to do so. Cure yourself. Oh my god. This is a little spicy of a guy. Um, Athenian water. Cure beam on Chrono. So I'm assuming when his big claw is in front, that's when he's in counter mode. Luca gets a mid. I guess he heals 200. I don't need to use it. Okay, now get him. Blast him. Um,. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Robo should be doing. Just punch him. There you go. Good work. Cyclone? Man. How's the gaming? We're, we're fighting a really neat little lizard man. Godz Godzilla Jr. Caught in a cyclone. Son in a cyclone. Heal yourself. Problem is if he enters into counterattack mode while I already have things queued up. Yeah! 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 He's fine. Robo's a beefy boy. Try and attack, see what it gets you. I see now. I get I get it. Um cure yourself, Robo. Eat the potion. And then you can what? Counterattack stance disengaged. Blast them! Blast them! Hit him with a spin! Is he the heck ran? That would be a twist if he was the old man. Ow. 
Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, hit him with the counter. That'll teach him a lesson. Oh, God, I hope I don't counter while he's in defense mode. Yay. 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 Oh, he's not dead. If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when he first brought forth Lavos, the world would belong to us fiends now. Who was that? So, Magus created Lavos in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavos destroys the planet. If we use the gate at the fairgrounds... Dot, dot, dot. I see. So, I... Because I, I can't get there from the end of time. That's how they get you. So, I go back to the fairgrounds to go back to the middle... This seems like a bad idea. But I'm not one to say no to jumping into a slide. Oh, uh, now we're over here. Coast of Vortex. So you can go back in if you stand right here. Is there any marker there? Robo, move. No, you just have to... All right. Lucas House. Let's save. Between the two little trees. Yeah, it just, I don't know. Seems like I could have a slight. What? Chrono, what? Are you upset? Use your words. What's going on, buddy? Why is he, why is he panicking? Chrono! Chrono! Why is he doing that? World small. He wants uppies. He cer certainly does. Um, the. But uh, we can sleep at the inn real quick. Magus tips war. Mm. Hello. Logic's ten gold. Crow, no. Yippee. I guess that's why every inn has exactly three beds, because you can only have three people in your party. Which I knew, I just thought it was like a lot of RPGs of everyone's together. I mean, I guess that's also what's happening here. You just are like, uh, out of hammer space, this person's also here now. Don't think about it too much. Hmm. Hmm. Birdie. Sorry, Ma. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> hey, Ma, I found a big robot. There's a town down here. Bore. Hello. Barry hates games, only plays them to get new emotes. This is his sole motivation. Yeah. I thought snail shop. I thought that was obvious. Some monsters can coexist with humans. Take that piano player, for instance. He is tickling those ivories. Four centuries ago. Koigi. Thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Welcome back. I worked with youth and showed a colleague the moments from your trombone champ while we played Crab Rave, and now we're buying it for the kids to play. The kids deserve trombone champ. That's awesome, Koigi. Welcome back. Thank you. Four centuries ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to revive the great forest that once flourished to the north. It's a sad tale. Ah. Oh. I'm glad nothing of note happened between 400 years ago and now. So there's a lot of stuff about exactly 400 years ago. It's a crab influence on the children. Good. Everyone's off to that festival. Bunch of lazy sots. Burp. I'm the piano man. What do you want me to play? Play me a sad one! I'm having a good time so far, guys. Uh, 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 play me a happy one. How is he doing that on the piano?
He's just that good. Damn. I got some spice jerky. I've been saving it for a special occasion. I might let some go for some 9,900 gold. No thanks. I figured. Damn. Oh, I hope it, I was hoping it would keep playing on the world map for no reason. The ferry. I want to ride the ferry. I take the ferry every chance I get. These are paid plants of the ferry office. It's just the, the ferryman's wife and daughter who hang out in the ferry office all day like, oh man, the ferry. Oh, I'd ride that every day if I could. Well, my ticket's 10G. To where? To what? To where? Where are you? T where are you? Where would you take me? You can't just be like, oh, I, there's nothing south of here. Will we go east? I don't know. Paradise. It's just gonna sink us in the middle of the ocean. The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. I hate my dad more than anyone in the whole world. They're slipping away and then there's that. Uh, yeah. Dad loves money more than he loves me. Hey, Pops, what's your problem? Gahaha, ha. I run this town and I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with it all. I'll give you 10 gold if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. Okay. Damn, Chrono is good at that. That was great. Here you go, 10 gold. Don't spend it all in one place. Wow. Dude, your dad's awesome. Why are you mad at him? He's, he's great. Maybe he'd love you more if you spun in a circle and clucked like a chicken. Just saying. Meet him in the middle. They got swords on the wall? Damn, this guy's cool. Everybody says daddy's great. That's not true, is it? Damn. Damn. This family's tragic. They got two of these! Chat, remember when I'm like, hey, where's the house with two chests in it? Be like, the mayor's house. And I'll be like, which mayor's house? And he'll be like, that one. I'll be like, I don't know what that means. So I look forward to that being our future. Pore. And I'll be like, cool. Where's Pore? And you'll be like, on the southern continent. I'll be like, where? How do I get there? Who said that? Where am I? Is it supper time already? Back to the... Oh, we gotta go talk to Ma. We gotta talk to Mother. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Here I am with my friend Robo. He's a robot from the future. And he can spin a lot and fire some lasers. Hi, right, welcome in and have a... Chrono, you really saved my neck. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you. Who, um... Oh, from the prison. Hi, Fritz. Was I ever in a tight spot? I'd gone off on a buying trip thinking I'd show my dad I didn't need him anymore. That was all well and good, but then some soldiers showed up at the inn where I was staying to arrest a gang of thieves and mistook me for one of the criminals. They wouldn't listen to a word I said. They were going to execute me just like that. So, phew, I owe you one. We're in your debt. Thank you ever so much. Don't tell my dad I gave you these. Ten mid ethers. Hey! Dad! Was that the sound of ten mid ethers exchanging hands? For free? You're not shirking off, are you? I, I mean, uh, of course not. No, of course not. Well, all right then. Chrono, I appreciate what you did. <laughs> now, Chrono, down to business. Please, won't you buy something? He was like, thanks. Goodbye. I, uh, uh, do I get like a discount? Saved, saved your life discount? Nothing available. Mm. I'm gonna buy a couple shelters. Two of them. Maybe a, um, uh, um, uh, maybe like another two mid posh. Couple, uh, regular posh. Alright, bye. Oh. Yeah, just committing crimes. By the way, it wasn't a mistake. I was running with that gang of criminals. And they were correct to want me executed for my many, many crimes. So thanks for busting me out of there. I'm off to commit more crimes now. Goodbye. Eh. Chrono House. Chrono's Trigger.
I see. This is a cat. Correct, Robo. What do you think? He's quite formidable, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He'll get you. Be careful. Very good. Processing data. Processing data! Chrono! Hi. Oh, Chrono, you had me so worried. They said you were to be executed. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ma. Don't worry your mother like that. Yeah, don't be such a worry work, Ma. So, th there was it, those rumors were false? You're not? No, no, that was true. I was to be executed by the crown, Ma, but I escaped and traveled through time. So now I'm double wanted because they captured me and convicted me and then I escaped. Anyway, I'm gonna go show the robot in my room. Hey, Robos, this is my room. This is my little stuffed guy. Makes a little sad noise. I see. Your room is very charming. Thank you, Robo. Processing. Where is Cat? There is Cat. Want something cute? Yeah, what's up? Need a permit? Sleep with friend and Robo. <laughs> Just in one bed. Let's get the hell out of here. You can talk to mom again. Oh. Go back. His house isn't upstairs. I know. Hey, ma. Hey, ma. Hi. Luca, you haven't been coming by much lately. I've been busy with my research. Well, don't push yourself too hard and say hello to your parents for me, won't you? Goodness, is this one of Luca's inventions? Greetings, madam. I am Robo. Chrono is my friend. My, how polite you are. A bit strange looking, but well enough, be well enough behaved. Chrono, you can learn a thing or two from him. Damn. He got me. Hello, Chrono. Hello, Chrono. Chrono, hello. Oh! Yeah! Wish the cat could become a party member. I could name him Cat. Good party member. She reacts to each party member. That's great. Hello. There's a race underway. You can guess the winner. Princess snuck out of the castle again. Can I go back to the castle? I don't want to. Boy, they just chased me back into the woods. Be like, hey! Ha! Have you heard of Dark Cloud? Where that happens? I have heard of Dark Cloud. I didn't know that happens in it. Show my mom a new potion. Look at this potion! She's running around. Merchants want to survive all of the restock. Ho oh, ho, nothing like a good fare. Have you heard the gosh? Yes. Never you mind. Am I still wanting this timeline? Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Could... Don't remember. We're just gonna continue with the main... Plot. He thinks. Because this might mean getting Frog back in our party! Haskett gets turned to a girl who joins your party and it's just kind of like, hey, alright, sure. Oh. Oh. So I've- uh, oh, so that's how- oh, so- oh. Lean square with- oh, I get it. I- oh, hey, Marl. How you doing, Marl? Good to see you, Marl. You comfy? You got snacks? No and no. All right, see you later, Marl. Bye. Yeah, I don't want a cat who turns into a person to join the party. I just want a re regular-ass cat that you can give its commands and it just kind of sits there. Come see whenever you have the need. Bye. Um, so where, which one? So is that this one that I unlocked? The Truce Canyon 600 AD. Chrono Cross has a dog? I'm now interested in playing Chrono Cross. We're back to the past. Yeah. Love it back here. Oh, no! Persona 3 is a dog? A dog? Fancy star is Meow? I'm sorry, their name is M-Y-A-U Meow? I didn't need to fight these guys. I could have ran past. But I guess we're here now. Chrono Cross has a skeleton, an alien, and a rock store dates a mermaid. How come in two chat messages my interest in Chrono Cross went from 0 to 100? 
Robo tackle. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Beep beep bop boop beep. Boop beep beep boop bop. Boop 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 beep boop beep. I'm okay. Uh, what? So we're back here because we're trying to stop Magus from. Should I go to the castle? I'm not clear on where I should go. No, I don't want to. I just inhaled a little bit of spit, as one does. Um, I'll take another shelter. Thanks. That's really nice. We gotta go be at Magussi, but I don't know where he is. So I need to learn where he is. Persona 4 is a bear, we don't talk about that. Halt, who goes there? Oh, it's you again. We have a robot now and we don't have Marl. Which is quite fun. Lord Chrono, the great hero, has appeared from the very pages of legend. He arrived not long ago and then left to meet the king. Hero of legend? His majesty is recuperating in bed. Who? Who did? When did? Who? Such... Such as? Our king fought bravely against the Fiend Lord's troops, leading charge after charge. Had he not received word of the hero's arrival, he may well have fought to his death. I'm so ashamed I gave that boy the boot, thinking him no more than some peasant brat. How was I to know he was the legendary hero? Even still, he forgave me. Compassion to rival courage, a hero indeed. Queen Lean will collapse if she does not get some rest. Sir Cyrus must have sent that boy to us. Who? Who did... Oh, Chrono, have I grown too old for all this? With Sir Cyrus nowhere to be found, all our hope rests on the shoulder of that boy who bears the hero's badge. Wait, that's the... The hero just has a badge that says I'm the hero? He has gone to the southern continent now to search for the sword that can slay Magus. All right. I now know what I must... Do. So, man, I don't know where to go. You must go to the south. Got it. This is my game. Chrono, it's you. I did see the meme uh, based off of the, the Twitch plays Ace Attorney. Where they're like, I'm here to, this is my badge for presenting the attorney's badge. Here's my, my, my card for presenting the attorney's badge 85 billion times. I did it. Please slay Magus. I'm trying to do that, but I have to find him first. Now the shout out. Magus and Larva. Lavos Larva. Yeah, kinda. Hey, they fixed the bridge. You could take this song and replace it with Peter Griffin sound clips. I'm just saying you could. I'm not saying you should or that'd be a good idea, but you could do that. Would that our strength were enough to best the Fiend Lord's army, but alas, our only hope lies with the hero. Is it the hero from Dragon Quest? Like, actually? Damn! I die low every time Mr. Brace says Magus. Well, I was saying Magus, or what was I saying? Magus? I was saying Magus, and chat was like, that. don't say Magus! So I made it worse. How you doing, Dan? Dan, I saw uh, the clip you posted. I don't want to watch it on stream because it's horrifying, but Dan was playing uh, Scorn, right? Was the one, and and had just an amazing fucking bit. Ten out of ten notes. Thank you. Magus, 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 Magus. Just the Dan. Dan's great. Here's the time machine to check next month's highlights. I have good Peter Griffin news. Hi, Matt. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of people on the screen. Um, uh, Scorn has a lot of goopy goop on the screen, and Dan had a very, Dan had a very fun bit with a. Globby guy. Um, our provisions are depleted. Have the supplies not arrived from the castle? We'll starve at this rate. We've no more foodstuffs. Hup, hup. We sent our orders, finest knights, to march on the enemy in, in order to ensure the hero's safe passage. I thought those stories of the hero who had come bearing the badge no more than bedtime tales. But now he's come, and there's little to do but trust in him. It appears our men and the Fiend Lords are locked in battle upon the bridge. May we emerge victorious. Could the hero alone truly have the power to defeat an army of fiends? Now this I'd like to see. Now this... Now this I'd like... 
I would love to see this battle. Now that, now that's a battle I would like to see. May I please see the, a battle on a bridge? Is it big? A big bridge? A battle on a big bridge? In a square game? Um, hey, what am I missing? They said go south and they're like, oh my God, they're fighting on the bridge and I can't get the, I can't. Do I have to go back and get like the king's permission or something? Or to get the foodstuffs? Do I need to get the foodstuffs? Where's the foodstuffs? Permission to believe the supplies not arrived from the castle. Let's go back to the castle. Stewie. Just a couple of stuffs. Just a few stuffs. Good. I will just do that. I mean, a free shelter is a free shelter. That's two more shelters. It really is. Hmm. Don't remember the fight on this big bridge? I'm working on it. Hey, you guys know where the, the, the food stuffs is? Maybe that's in here. Commander's gone to Zenon Bridge. The wounded from the battle there are resting down below. That's a very good sprite. <laughs> just, just to have them like... The food supplies are being rationed on the front lines. There will soon be none left. The fleet lords brought three fleets from generals in the field of battle. They say the hero has come. <sighs> Beg pardons, my lord. The beds are all taken. I'm a lord? Come on now. Your king is wounded too, but he's not giving up. Eh. Even the commander himself has gone to the front lines to fight. Erg. 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 Literally is oof. Oof.png. He has not. He does? When did he? How did he? Hello? Lord Chrono, the great hero, has arrived. Where's the foodstuffs? Who's got the foodstuffs? Queen Lee has been as much the best land on the land day. Where the hell are the foodstuffs? From the cat. From the cat. Who's got. Where's the foodstuffs? Hello? We're telling you. You skipped some stuff. I skipped some stuff? Did I just run past the foodstuffs? May I shook the fridge. Marl? Where's the stuff? Marl. I'm going into battle and I need all of the foodstuffs. Um, where would foodstuffs be prepared in a castle? The only room in the castle I haven't been in. There's a room to the right. Did you know there's a room over here? The master of kitchens has his hands full trying to get food to the front lines while making sure the king keeps up his strength. Did you guys know there's a wing of the castle over here? Holy hell. They just patched this in. Damn. Look at all this. When the devs have time to do this? Whoa. Whoa. We must help the king maintain his stamina. We must hurry with the provisions for Zenon Bridge as well. Is this food fit for the king? Master of Kitchens. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty? Helm serves him right, thinking you men with swords only ones protecting this kingdom. Enough of that. Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? Your grown men act like it. Mind your own business. What do you know of it anyway, Nimrim? You guys got any any foodstuffs? Time's wasting. Um, come on now, time is wasting. But he may act like as the caro master is always worried about the commander. Men are such fools, right? This two are really looking for a way to make up, though neither will admit it. Do I have to go back to the front lines now? What it? What do you mean time's wasting? I don't. I need the foodstuffs. What am I missing? He has his hands full. He sure does. Wait! Hi. Yeah. Pant. Wheeze. Short. Take this for the troops. 
Spiced jerky. Wow, one spiced Sound. jerky. Thank you for the bits. And this is for you. Yeah. Strength capsule. Oh. Bye. When you see that fool brother of mine, tell me you'd better come back alive. I'm going to eat that capsule. Hop. Hop. Delicious. Talk to a guy six times, walk away. By the way, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another free shelter, though. What's what's another free shelter? Yum. Delicious. He needs soup. They need spice jerky soup. For the battle on the big bridge. Final Fantasy V bridge. Hello. Oh. Ugh, so hungry. Seems here uh, mere men haven't the strength to stop these fiends. Where you no more food stops. The hero reached the far bank, but our men suffered heavy losses in the crossing. The fiend lord has sent in reinforcements. It's too dangerous to allow you through. Lord Chrono, what word? Give him the food. Here. Food! He's brought us food! It was my brother. He saved us all. Um. Lord Chrono, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Sorry, that was my Game Boy. What's happened? Magus's troops have launched their attack. Our defenses will not hold. You are the Knights of Garia. Defend the honor of our order and drive the enemy back whence it came. But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. It must not break. Very well, my lord. So, uh... Can I just, uh... As you can see, Lord Chrono, it's all my men can do to hold the line. Might you lend your blade to our battle as well? You have my most profound gratitude. The Fiend Lord's troops are positioned just beyond the bridge. Take this with you, and keep you safe. A golden helm. Does that mean I'm commander now? That seems like a hell of a thing to just give to a random guy who showed up. Oh, yeah. Nice. The power of friendship and foodstuffs. Eric. Ooh, they just got a couple cool skeletons. Oh, he's dead. No, don't. No, you better not flicker. You bet. No! I'm Ozzy, one of Lord Magus's three generals. And to his enemies, I grant death. Go, my children. Take them to their graves. Rattle them, boys. Um. Lightning. Laser spin. Haha, lightning doesn't work. Lightning works on bones? Lasers don't work on bones. See? Las bones are healed by lasers. Everyone learns that in school, you pitiful fool. Haha. -ha. Ah, yes. Good. Calcium is a metal, technically. Ow. He's wiggling! Um. Hiya! No, not wind! No! Ozzy's in a pickle. <laughs> this is what it said for like two frames. Hmm. Stronger than I thought. Bye. Get back here. You guys good? You... They're not talking. Why are you shaking your head? No. No, he's fine. He's pretty quick when it comes to running away. You want to see a battle kitty party member, right? I didn't say I didn't want to see that. Barry's Chrono Bath as Luca and a cat because it'd be cool to have a cat party member. Look at that cat! It's a very Toriyama cat, too. This is so good, Jax. Thank you. Oh, is in a pickle. Turtle power. It seems I misjudged you the first time, but I won't do that twice. No! Rise from your grave. No! Slay them all. Uh-oh. Now I'm in a pickle. Oh, no! Um... 
Hit him with a robo tackle. And then and then hit him with the robo boogie. Whoa. Yeah, I hit with the okay, it did like no damage, but it looked cool. Nice. Thank you, Wind Slash. God damn it. How's fire on skeletons? How do we feel about that? Yeah, fire's on fire's good on skeletons. Because I was listening to Everhood earlier, and that's partially because of the Dan clip I was talking about earlier. What? We're fighting Ozzy? Oh. He took zero damage earlier, though. Okay, now he takes damage. He's in a pickle. All right. <laughs> you just punch him once. Great. Um, this reminds me of the one skeleton character in Everhood whose audio clip for when he talks is just a loud scream where he's like, ah, 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 ah. just love it so much. Drat! Yeah, you better run. Um... Where's my potion? There she is. Hello, potion lady. I'm in need of a potion. Thank you. Oh, uh, just what I needed. Comments when he's just shared a bunch of dragons. Dragons dogma pawn quotes. Oh. Hard to tell if it's a bit. No, it's good. Oh, I don't know how- I don't know about that, but... Listen! I thought Marl was a neat character when I met her, and she was like, Hi, I'm the healer! Who has a ranged attack! And my element is water! And I'm like, Luca is ranged. Robo can also heal. Frog is water. She doesn't have a niche. Her niche is I can heal all. In terms of a actual combat prowess. I have yet to see how she's stands out, which is unfortunate. Rob Zombie, that's the one. I made it across the bridge. She's three characters in one, you mean? It's roll back. The plight of the white mage. I don't know, but that's it. This time you're finished. I mean it. Yeah, I could use her more. I could swap her out and level her up a bit and see what what else she gets. Sore loser, aren't you? Map, 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 map. Oh, there's that's a that's a bone trousel if ever I've seen one. He just stacked three skeletons. Oh no! What is that? Go, Zombor! Crush Lord Magus's enemies! Zombor? He came up with a cool name for it too! Oh shit! Lightning. Skeletons are still weak to lightning though. Everybody knows that. Hit him with the uh fire punch? Rocket punch? Probably won't do a lot. Probably won't do a lot. Him and the pelvis. Oh, it did good damage. I don't like him walking towards me. Gra. He only did 28 damage. That's fine. Zombies need flesh, but skeletons don't have. That is the main... Death, death, death. Don't like that. Don't like that! Whoa. I wish I had Marl on my team right now. Youch. Blow up his pelvis. Come on. Death by Snoo Snoo. Get him. Pachow. From downtown. Death, death, death. Oh, she is very dead. Yep. Oh. Blow up his pelvis, though. He can fly. He didn't need the pelvis. Uh-oh. 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 Mid. Mid for Robo. Mid for Chrono. Everyone's good. Everyone's alive. I blew up his pants. Grab. Um. Yeah, no, he's no. Nah, fuck it. Keep everyone topped off, Robo. Fire. Pew. I want a pole. Would you rather turn into a skeleton, ghost, or zombie when you die? Hmm. I'll get to that in a bit if Ahmad doesn't get to it first. Rocket punch him in his big skeleton face. That lightning heals him now? He learned. <laughs> Goddamn Ozzy learned my tricks. Uh. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Hit him with the uh, cure beam. You heal yourself, Robo. Thank you, Weeb. Nice. Thank you, Winslash. What? That all? 
What did I use that healed them? Was that fire? I looked away at an inopportune moment. Am I... Is his head weak to... Is his head weak to physical and his pants are weak to elemental? Maybe that's the situation. We do love a JRPG boss. Where they're like, hope you have a well-rounded party, nerd. And I'm like, joke's on you, I always have a guy who has a big dumb sword at the ready. Tom Bottom have different weaknesses, just like real life. Come on. Him with the cure beam for Chrono. No, stop grabbing Chrono. Stop it. Um. There you go, bud. Good as new. Get in there. Slap him. Yeah, zap him. Everybody get punching. MP Buster? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, but he's dead. <laughs> Huh? Did that kill him? How did he how did he have a move if he was dead? That was just a fuck you on the way out to steal some MP. What? A death rattle. His final attack steals MP? That's a weak sauce final attack. Okay. Sure. Huh. Save complete. I do the one last move is he's dying. Usually that's a move that does a bunch of damage. 81% of chat said they'd rather turn into a ghost. 70% skeleton, 2% zombie. Not a lot of people want to be a zombie. You know, that's fair. I can understand it. The market. If you kill it first, it hurt the fight against the pants. Oh. I see. If you hit, if you kill the head first, he steals MP, and then when you're fighting the legs, you're down MP. That makes sense. But because I killed the legs first, because you always go for the legs first. Usually it means they can't stomp around as much. But the legs were just like, all right, bye. The heroes come at last. I suppose it's only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. Welcome. What can I do you for? Uh, I don't know. What can you do me for? What can I do you for? Stock up on mini posh. I mean mid posh. That's all you got? Yeah. Zombies are messier skeletons. My thanks. Ma'am, can I talk to you, ma'am? Madam, ma'am? Can I talk to you? Can you bring your hitbox over here? Nope. Yeah. Skeletons are the funniest. That's true. Ghosts are the silliest. Skeletons are the funniest. And zombies are the... The goopiest. It's locked. What? But they had a shiny. Mother says I'm not to play outside because it's dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored. Is it true his majesty suffered injury? What will become of us in our kingdom now? Dear me, is that Naga Bromide you're hiding there? Won't you do an old man a favor and trade it to me? I'll give you something good in exchange. I don't need your rubbish. Hmm, very well, suit yourself. Where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. I forgot that I had that in my inventory. They see the Fiend Lord's a master of the arcane magic of old. The cantrips of his fiends are nothing compared to what he wields. Bromide? Do I want to give him the bromide? Is he going to do that again or did I lose my one and only opportunity? I guess I lost my one and only opportunity to give it to him. After like four time travels. Yeah. Well... Hopefully he doesn't have a good reward. I'm keeping that till the end of the game. It's, Lavos is weak against it. I could le I could load my save if it is worth it. Okay, I talk to him again. It was when I walked away from him that triggered that. Oh, you got the, the, the monster porn. Why, well, I'd, I'd love to take a look at that, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's Naughty Magazine. Want to hear something interesting? No. So be it. I'll tell someone else. I'd say load the save. Can I even... Can I even quit? I think I just have to reload the DS. Why do I... Why, why... How come so many RPGs include giving old men porn? Why? Don't ever tell that guy a secret. Jeez. Do I know it was? Yeah! It's worth it for a potential funny. 
Because Japan. It's an MP capsule. Is that funny? Magic capsule. Toriyama thing? Yeah. They love their monster goals. Yeah. Do I want a magic capsule? Is there anything else I can use the Naga porn on? I have no idea if it's funny. Yeah. No. LR start select. Stop reset. You're right. That is a thing. I don't think so. Keep the porn. <laughs> I already hit reset. Do we want... That is a sentence. Do we want to give the old man the porn or do we want to keep it till the end of the game? We have to decide, chat. The hero appears. <laughs> Does he even show up in my inventory? It does not show up in my inventory. So the game just tracks it, but I don't actually have it... ...as a thing. The game just knows. That makes me feel more uncomfy than if it was in my key items list. Okay. Do I have to... ...talk to him? And then walk away? What triggers it? What? Is it... Is it you have to interact with his locked dresser? Is that it? There it is. That's really weird. But you just hang out for a while and then he's like, Oh! Is that monster lady porn you're hiding there? I can smell it. Won't you do an old man a favor and trade it to me? I'll give you something good in exchange. Truly, you mean it? Yahoo! What a glorious day! Now then, just wait right there. No need to get impatient. It's unlocked. Feel free to take what's inside, and I'll be taking this bromide. Hee hee. Team Magic Capsule. Don't tell Granny. Hee hee. My very own sweet Naga pet. Ugh. Blech. Gah. All right, man. All right. Uh, he gave me drugs in exchange for porn. This game's good. They say the Fiend Lord's a master of the arcade magic of old. The cantrips are nothing compared to what he wields. Where could Sir Cyrus be? Time heisted away from him. <laughs> Load it back up. My god. I locked my magic castle in his dress that he traded for. I know, it's bad. The item I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. I stole that from Sea of Stars. Here's some money to cover your expenses. You'll have the rest when you've retrieved it. I'm counting on you, Toma. Worry not. They do not call me a legendary explorer without reason. I will not disappoint. Hmm. I'll be waiting. Good news. Well then, now that the business is settled, I think I'll go down for a drink for the... I'll go down a drink for the road. Let the old guy have his porn, chat. Dan is team. Let the old guy have his porn. I'm a bit busy. Let's talk later. Mm hmm this house belongs to Dorino's village elder. My, that is unusual garb you wear. Are you outlanders? Did you come fleeing Magus' fiends too? Magus could range three fearsome generals, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. Best stay away from the lot of them. There's not a drop of humanity to be found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. Magus' keep sits on an island to the east. The sheer cliffs surrounding it make it inaccessible. It's said that only the ancient sword, the Masamune, can slay the Fiend Lord, and only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. Huh. With the rainbow show, we could make prismatic armor to guard against magic. Ozzy, Flea, and Slash, bassist mentioned. I didn't even think about that. Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. I did, I literally, that just went in one ear out the other. I didn't even think about it. Because people were like, oh, Ozzy? Like Ozzy Osbourne? I was like, yeah, chat. Yeah, like Ozzy Osbourne. And then they're like, also oh, flee and slash. And I'm like, oh. Okay, that is what they're doing. I worry I may have misplaced my trust in that young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? The hero's here to save us. He's strong and he'll stop all the bad monsters. Yippee. With Rainbow <laughs> Shell, I can trade them to nice. a guy in an underwater city for goodies. Very good little goodies. Here the bits. Those names, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash are 100% thanks to the OG localization team. And they kept that 
for the uh, the retranslation for the DS version. That's great. That's really good that they didn't. I, that makes me happy that they retranslated the game to maybe fix some issues that may or may not have existed, but kept some of the oddities from the original of the English release. So, what do we have here? Fiona's Villa. Another thing in the woods. All right. Hey. Now that's a time heist. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together, so I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. Well, I think they survived for a couple hundred years, so that's cool. Good going, Fiona. You're a time heist. I'm a what? Eh. Okay. Eh. Can't seem to get... Okay, nothing there. Okay, so there's a wood. And there's the town. Another couple of towns here. Oh, this is Porre. So this is what became the fiend towns in the future? I think. Maybe. 20G, pay in advance. Come again soon. I won't steal a lady's chest. Did she have chests in her house that I could steal? Nope, no. Different town. That's Medina. You're right. You're so right, Chad. She does have chests. I just thought those were like a shelf because they were stacked. Uh, hey, ma'am, I'm the hero of legend. Yoink. Oh, I'm mid ether. Yoink. I'm mid ether. All right, thanks, ma'am. Great chest ahead. That's where the shitty dad bear was. Right. Thank you. I'll we'll try to keep him straight. Heroic burglary. Yeah, I'm the hero. Listen, the game has made it very clear to me that there's consequences to my actions. I should be careful about who I steal from. A strange monster came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lean and this and Masamune that. Sure was an ugly frog, man. Heh <laughs> Where did he go? Where? Grab him. Where did he go? I cannot believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village. Have you heard the latest? No. Well, then let me be the one to tell you the legendary hero is from our own village. Thanks. I can't believe that naughty little urchin, Tata, is the legendary hero. Sir? Oh, me, I'm just Blair Witching in the corner. Have you heard about the Magic Cave? The one east of the Denda Denodoro Mountains? I saw a sheer rock wall there, parked like a castle gate, and then a host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave Magus and his cronies to their own devices, no less than you want trouble. Trouble. I have not seen little Tata lately. I wonder where he's gone off to. Suppose I should count my blessings. Things are a lot quieter without that brat around causing trouble. Should I go back to the inn and find out what the one guy wanted to... Was it the market? I don't think I've been... I don't think I went to the market. Hey, Bumblebrew. What was the other place? The guy was like, do you want to know a secret? And I was like, no. No, I don't. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. Is he okay? It's so heavy. Is he... Is he alright? That was startling. He's fine. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. <laughs> I, I like, didn't even have a chance to comprehend it because I was like, ooh, a shiny! And I ran over there to grab it. It's shaky from Professor... I know. <laughs> God damn it. Didn't boost his strength enough. I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. Not not any water you're buying. He's just like... Listen, man. Listen, kid. A Porian beret for the ladies. This one's for the... A golden suit. Ooh. 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 Oh, maybe, maybe everyone gets one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chat, you're fine. You're fine, chat. Oh, you guys are fine. Uh, 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 golden suit. Golden suit. Golden suit. Golden suit. Golden suit. For the ladies, a Porian Bray. Should I get one for- I'm gonna get one for Marl. I might put her back in my party, legitimately. Because I kinda wanna level her up and see what else she's got. Um... Eh, Boring Beret for you, as well. 
Alright, good. I like to dress up the potion for fun. Yeah. Um, so... Gotta keep the bronze sword. Gotta keep it. You never know. When you might run into a frog who's like, If only I had a sword! Gold armor seems like a bad idea. But it's gonna look great. Almost as good as this card right here. Hello! I'm fine! Ah! He's dead. Yeah, Okay, uh, to the wood. To the wood, and by to the wood, I mean over here. What's this? The Elder's House. I'm going to be Tata's bride one day. Whee! Into the fire! Whee! I only had, if only I had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal I could make. Remember that guy who was like, I got spiced jerky, but it's a little pricey, and I was like, I'm good. I don't even remember what town that was, or what time zone that was. Was that in the present day? I don't even remember. The boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. I have not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them, the contents are yours. They have fun, like the reverse of that guard oblivion clip. The guy who hops and goes, ha! Yeah. Near the village. This town in the present. Damn it. A place known as the Magic Cave lies east of the, from the Denodora Mountains. That place will send chills down a grown man's spine. But a baby? Nothing. They can take it. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first I thought it was for a fake, but it's the genuine article. He truly is the hero of legend. I suspect he's combing the Denodora Mountains to the north even now, searching for the sword the legends speak of. So, so should I go to the... Is that, is that mountain through the wood that's right here? Or what? Eh. Hit boxes. Because there's this thing here. There's woods. And it leads north to a big old mountain. So, methinks, yeah. Methinks that's where we go. Gone woman? Couldn't care less. Not even remotely phased. Overly sized novelty comb. Private property, no trespassing ribbit. He wrote ribbit on the sign. You didn't happen to see a frog crawling through here, did you? Looks like you, but he's green. Cool little guy with a sword. Maybe I should have rested at the inn. I realized I'm not. In fact, I have zero MP from that battle. Blashed him. The frog we're looking for wears pants. Oh! Oh no! Robo! Oh, it's Frog's family? Oh, no. Ah, I just came back from getting the groceries and- Oh, no! This is a beefy little guy. There he goes. Mmm, frog beef. Great. mid posh. Whoa, whoa! I just wanted the mid posh. Okay. Fight the fang tooths. This frog is a pantsless perfect, clearly. Yeah, they're fully sentient frogmen. They just don't like wearing pants. Get them! I was in a Zoom meeting. I didn't need pants. Get them! Robo level up. All right. Goodbye. So rest up at the inn, which is over um, there. Right, where I- this is 20? Wasn't it cheaper in the other town? Well, it's 20. It's fine. Very well. Spiced frog jerky. Yeah, that could work. That could work in a pinch. I am well rested, boop ba beep Good job, Robo. You're welcome. What? Thank you. Huh? Eat. Ooh. Alright. Now into the wood. Hope those frogs are fine. Look, they're fine. Yeah. Well, uh, hi. Get him. Uh, Chrono is not in an opportune position. Get him with a spin. 
Him with a spin, Robo. Go back to Fiend Town. It was only 200 at the end. Only 200. I know. What a steal. Stop getting all drippy on Robo. Spin it, boys. Man. Stop it. Uh, yeah. No! You stay back from him. No! It's fine. Slash! Nice! There you go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, there you go. The coloring on laser spin looks off. I'm misremembering it. I mean, it could be the DS version changes the look of it. Uh, let me check... Everyone's texts. So he's gonna learn Cleave in 34. She is on her way to learning Napalm. He is on his way to Heal Beam. I was, I was like, oh, I could grab Marl and put her back in the party because she's, she's got those group heals. And Robo's like, group heals, you say? You want group heals? Just give me more TP and I can do that too. She's going to learn a better heal, though. Oh, she does have ice. I was like, my biggest problem with Marl right now is that she doesn't have a lot of uh, offensive capabilities. But I'm also running into a lot of stuff that Robo's not well suited for. She gets haste? Robo, take a fiver. Roger. I mean Robo. I mean Robo, Roger. I got a shelter. A shelter in the wood? A shelter in the wood? It's long as the game is designed to so switch the party around. Yeah, maybe. Especially considering that you can swap out the party even in a dungeon. I don't know if this counts as a dungeon, but it seems quite generous that I can swap out the party here. She gets haste in like 10 hours, but she gets haste in infinity hours if I never use her. Also, I'm definitely the kind of RPG player where if you give me an MP way to heal, like I have a mage that can cast heal, I will do that until the day I die and never spend a single potion healing. So I do like having a healer in my party. Because it feels like I can rest at an inn. Or I can... What if I need those potions later? You know? Uh... I'm sorry, these are called edible frogs. I only just now noticed that. What if I need them? The potions that, by the time I think about using them, heal me 5% of my total HP. Yeah, potions are so... I mean, in this game, potions are 10G a pop, so I'm not as worried about it. In some RPGs, potions are a significant investment to stock up on. Oh, he stole HP from his friend. Don't do that. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Zap! Boom! Marl by yourself is met. Marl's duels are pretty stellar. That's cool. Marl, level up. I'll just keep around for a bit. Hello? Ha? Huh? What? Huh? Who? What? Who's there? Ooh. Ah, Chrono! What brings you here? It's the boy! Sorry, we're all back in the fridge. I <laughs> got a new party member! Come to practice your sword play? Oh shit, oh shit. His team's not playing, though. What? His Majesty wounded? Hmm. I see. Frog's theme. Wav, where are you? There's not I can do. Pray forgive me, but I'd like to be alone. Can I steal your stuff first? You still want to be left alone? I am no hero. There's not I can do to help. Wait, what if he is the real hero and he dropped his hero badge and then the kid found it? That could have happened. Are you, do you still want to be alone? I gave you five minutes. I am no hero. There's not I can do to help. 
Well. I'm, I'm sorry, he can't... I, I, you know, I thought he would rejoin the part. Oh! Oh. I'm sorry, is he just hanging out? Let me fight the frogs. What was... Why was... Rare enemy. That's a rare... Is he gone? He's already gone. I can't just go behind the bush he's clearly standing behind and fight him. That's not how that works. At least it's easy to just walk in and out of that load zone until he shows up, if that's how it works. He's in hammer space. He gives a load of tech points. I want tech points. Yeah. He can randomly reappear. Yeah, I thought he would hang out, so I didn't run into him immediately. Boom! Like a metric buttload. How rare is he? Hello? Like, if I do this and then back out... Kind of like a cactuar. Oh. Oh. Time to do this for an hour. Oh. Oh, I goofed it up, didn't it? Tonberry energy. Hey, Chrono. Now I feel bad. Because I ran right up to him and was like, Sir? And then I ran off. Bungled it. Straight up bungled it. Well, I'll give it 15 or 20 more tries and then we'll move on. I didn't know he was rare. I thought he was the thing that spawned because I was leaving from Frog's room. Instead of heading north through that area the first time. Should have pounced. Yeah, and then <laughs> except the chances are Chad be like, no, don't fight him. He's a friend. You have to leave him on the screen. And then he gives you a very rare upgrade that is like, well, oh, man, I'm just, you just sometimes devs of RPGs like to throw in shit that makes no sense. And it's great. Grind it out. It's not worth it. Insert Adam Sandler dot gif. All right, I'm leaving. Whoa. Wait, there he is. Oh, stop that, you bad boy. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Who? What? Huh? I talked to him twice and he still didn't. Get into a fight while he's on screen? I didn't know that yet. There was... What? <laughs> I finally got him to respawn, but oh, you didn't... You didn't know. Streamer didn't know. You have to bump a different enemy while he's present. That is stupid. And I'm mad. Well, now I extra don't care. If I seize him, I seize him. I've been afflicted with the status as bad and boy, and they stay on my character forever. He spawns at the bottom of the, of the map and runs to the top. Wild. Anyway, goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. G goodbye. No. I... Can you not avoid that guy? I guess you can't avoid that one. All right, just blast him. I wish I had Robo. He could do a big spin and take them all out at once. At least the snakes hate the frogs, so that's cool. Um, Antipode Bomb. Hit enemies in a circle of fire and ice. That's neat. I want to try that. A song of ice and fire, you say? Oh, so it's circle around the enemy you hit. That makes sense. Seems quite strong, unless they absorb fire or ice. Um. Well, sucks that Frog doesn't want to join us, but eh, what are you going to do? Walk away and hope there's a cutscene where he's like, I need to go with you, I've changed my mind. Nope. He didn't. Well, time to spend 20 more gold. Hello. Yep. Thank you. 
Hmm. Martin Lucas duels are good. Yeah. So about that jerky, is... Don't... Hey, champ, is the jerky required? Is the jerky required to proceed in the video game? No. It's a side quest. Okay, thank God. <laughs> You're a jerky. I'm a wolf. Is this the is this the mountain? Oh, that's the mountain to the north. Okay. That makes sense. It does have a good thing. But not required. Is it worth doing fuck it, we'll do it now. How long could it possibly take to warp back to the future and get a jerky and come back? How long could it take? I wish we didn't have to run through all this, though. It would be nice if there was a more convenient warp here, but... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I learned it was pronounced Antibody, but apparently Antipode is also a kid. Antibody? Really? And pay nine grand for it. Yeah, it's not it's not cheap. Pretty sure I have the money for it though. How much gold do I have? Uh I have twenty-five thousand. Eh, I have enough. Do it later. No. Doing it now. Um right, still right. And the jerky thing isn't worth doing right now. Too late! It won't pay off till much later. Yeah, but I'm setting it in the motion now. And from now on, if anyone in this game says, Hey, you want a thing? I'll say yes immediately and just be like, Yep. We're doing... No. This one. This one? No. This one. Lean. Is that the fastest way? This might be the fastest way. This is the DS version of Chrono Trigger, hence the two screens. I'm playing it with a DS down here. Ha! Ha! Do you want a thing? No. I don't like things. That's why I don't play video games. Give me jerky! Chat's hungry! Yeah, da -da -dee. Antibody means the opposite point on a sphere, I think. Oh. Didn't he ever do Great Ace Attorney? Never say never, but I, I have no plans at the moment. Is it the market? Who had the... Who had the... Who had the goddamn... Was in the inn? Who the hell had jerky? Mayor's Manor. Who has the jerk? The bar or the inn. It was like the tavern, right? The snail shop. Snail shop, yeah. Snails! Yo, buddy! Play that song again! The one that goes... I got some spice jerky. Gimme. Now there's a customer with good taste. Here you go! Bye bye. This is gonna be so worth it, and if it's not worth it, I'm gonna specifically blame chat. His chat was like, you, got, you have to do it right this second. And not a, I didn't see a single message that said otherwise. Not a single person that said it's not worth it or do it later. So because of that, we're doing it right now. Your Honor, I was just fucking chilling. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't currently have plans to do Greatest Attorney or the Apollo Trilogy. I may someday, if I'm like, I desperately need more Shutakumi in my life. I'm not ruling it out. I just, my goal was to play Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. And in doing so, I wanted to play the, I decided to do the Ace Attorney Trilogy. I had a good time doing it. I'm not saying never say never. But. Give my throat a chance to heal. The streams are a lot of talking. Someone said to save? I can save when I'm back on the map. Is there a chance of a soft lock or something? Yeah. I'll be locked in. You always do more shoots than me. You're not wrong. Save before. You can mess up this side quest. So we're going into Dark Souls now? 
Dark Souls quest design my beloved. I never looked up a bunch of the Elden Ring side quests I messed up. It unlocks Dark Souls. Ooh. You walk too far, Slayer is dead. <laughs> it's like, there were so many characters I met in my Elden Ring playthrough, where I was like, oh man, this person seems neat. What's going And like, it's like, they're dead. <laughs> you just show up later, and there's just a pile of bones, and you're like, uh, what did I do that made them die? All right. I was given no information. Or, or my other favorite, which is like, all right, I have to go now. Find me where I go to. And sometimes they even say a location, and you'd be like, what was that again? And then they'll re only repeat their final line of dialogue when you talk to them again. And it's like, all right, just find them in, you know, a gigantic fucking map where you could literally be in the same room as them and maybe miss them because they're standing in a corner and not well lit. It's like... But I didn't want to use a guide in my first playthrough. If I ever do another Elden Ring playthrough, which I might, it might be fun to do a different build. Um, I do, I hope once I get a better PC, I would love to do a um, a seamless multi multiplayer with peeps like Dan Jones. This is the wrong place. Who wanted the... Who wanted the... Is that what the left arrows are for? <laughs> Over here? Who wanted the jerky? I already forgot. Ooh. I think it'd be fun. I had a lot of fun watching Dan and Gam running around with that mod. Um, Tata's house. The mayor's wife. So it was the mayor's house. That's the elder's house. Is this the... That's not spice jerky you're carrying. My you part with this for 10,000 gold. Stonks, chat. Little does she know, I bought this jerky for 9,900. Or should I say take it for free? Oh. Yes, or, okay, I'm genuinely asking chat. Is there, should I say take it for free? I feel like the game might want me to be like free. Oh, no stonks. No, no stonks today. Truly, oh thank you. I thought kindness and sharing gone from this world altogether. I'll teach my children from your example. There are greater things in life than money. Did we just fix the timeline? Is that dad not a shitty dad anymore? Do we have to go back to the Do we have to go back to the future now? I best start cooking. We have to go back. I don't know if we need to run all the way back there right now. Timeline restored later. Question is, what do I do now? Uh, you just undid Majima's taxes. Good. Um, is it safe to save? So if you if you sell it for ten thousand, is that like thanks, and then you're done because now the future, present timeline is the same? I did a George McFly. Safe to save. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, chat. I appreciate the like. Hey, you can mess this up. Advance notice. So thank you. Just have to buy more jerky. Oh. That's a very expensive mistake to make. Hello? Better not ring those bells. I'm gonna open this. Oh, 300 gold! That's almost enough for a jerky. And... Oh! Never mind. Fixing kids with the power of jerky. I like these guys. Ow! I don't like- never mind, they only hit for four. I'm cool with them again. That is nice that they don't lock you out of it forever. That if you say, yeah, take the money. Ding-a-ling! Oh, there you go. Does that mean... It would take a really, really, really long time. But you could time heist infinite money. You buy the jerky for 9,900, go to the past, sell for 10,000, you made 100 G profit. Do it again. Spend 9,900, sell for 10,000, now you're up 200. You could do that forever. That one battle gave you 360. Yeah, but I had to work for that. Free money. It would take a very long time because you have to run all the way through to the north, and then all the way back to the fair, and then all the way down to the southern. But hey, free money. Ah! 
This drum sample kind of sounds like the end credits of Mario 64. Before it's like, bum, bum, ba da, bum. Cleave, napalm, fire sword, ice sword. Just learned a lot of things. Hello? This is a terrible place. You'd best run away while you can. Uh, more of them. He's got a hammer. Chrono, blast him. Uh, fire. He can just probably shoot him with a crossbow. Not doing a lot of damage. Well, never mind. Fire was very effective, it seems. That can happen? I blasted him with fire and it set his hammer on fire and he threw it away. What the fuck is this? This was on the Super Nintendo. What on earth? Wood burns? Breath of the Wild, eat your heart out. This game's good. <laughs> He's sleeping. A mirage hand. Like a mage hand? Did I mention this game's good? Yeah. Um, mage, mage hand. Oh, is that a thing for you? Mirage hand. Yeah, that is a very minor upgrade, but it's an upgrade. We take those. Nice. Nice. I said neat and nice, and it came out nice. Um, I think I'm stuck down here. Got to go back up the ladder. Cool. Some other area game into a proposal to his girlfriend. That's charming as hell. Did the girlfriend have to play through all of Chrono Trigger up to this point? Because that, that's... All right. I made you a thing. Sits down. Waits for eight hours. <laughs> Any minute now. Athenian water. Nice. Yeah. That person was Matt Part. Matt Mortport. Mortport Gormthory. I think she did, but she was also famously a fan of this game. Didn't I do that? I made my own game. And by own game, I mean I made a text adventure. Ether. Damn my typos. Mortport. Hi. Is that a belly button? Oh. This reminds me of a sound that plays in Stardew Valley sometimes. It's like a low rumbly noise that Stardew Valley likes to do on, on occasion. Yeepy. All right. Oh, no. No. Hey. Darn it. Darn it, you. Hit him with the lightning. Freelancer. Hit him with the fire. Burn away the torch. And by, and by the torch, I mean the axe. I mean the hammer. Did it not? Oh, it did. I was going to say, I don't know if that's a guaranteed thing to happen or like a chance to happen. That's just rad that that's even possible. That's not really a thing you ever see in even modern JRPGs or any RPG. Where like, he can just, you could burn his weapon away. And he's like, well, throwing that away. It helps, too, that in this game, there's a sprite for him without it that's introduced first. And, like, they had to make unique art. Although, maybe maybe they worked backwards from the idea. I don't know. It's cool. Ow. Uh, get him. Luca is carrying hard now with her fighter abilities. Wait. Blast him. Wait, does Flamethrower use less MP? It might. By the way, this game kind of does that. But when I say RPG in that context, I was thinking more of like a turn-based... This style. Like, Breath of the Wild Tears Kingdom are adventure, action, RPG, open-world things. And also, those games are nuts. But fair play. This is a busy hint about burning their hammers. I forgot where he is. That's also cool. That if you don't discover it. I'm super hyped that I found that on my own. But I like that the game also clues you in if you don't just... Hi. Okay. Well. I'm just walking through the woods, sir. Are you good? You seem to have a little bit of aggression you need to get out of your system. Let's fight. I'll let him keep his hammer. This time. Oh, he has very high defense. 
So maybe... Maybe we do burn it. Or I zap him! Go on, zap him! Ha! All the people of the planet, give me your power. Wow, that did nothing. Um... Hit him with the ice! So fire is two, flamethrower is one. Never mind, he's dead. My free potion is using MP. Yeah, good! Good! That's good! I do want to heal a schmidge, though. Virkrik. Virkrik, like... Uh, you could have some... And you could have some... And you could have some. Yeah! I like that so far the spells and stuff you're doing don't use a ton of MP either. I know we're still pretty early in the game, but... Another one of my minor pet peeves, it's not a big deal, but a minor pet peeve is in a lot of RPGs where the, the, the numbers stop meaning anything. I talked about it a lot when I was playing through Paper Mario, because I think Paper Mario does a great job where by the end of the game you have like 50 or 60 HP. If a guy hits you for 12 damage, you're like, oh man, ow! A lot of RPGs are like, this guy hit you for 506,232 damage. You're like, okay, that's fine. It just, it, it's com like completely bonkers. Nice spin. Um, but yeah, I like that not only are the numbers reasonable so far, but also that the MP is like, yeah, I have 40 or 38 MP on all my guys, and the spells are like 2 MP to cast. So you can use them a lot. Which is great. Give me a percentage. Yeah, I don't mind a percentage. I like number go up better than percentage, but I prefer percentage to I have 6 million HP. Um, this guy, that's the bit. 9999 HP. Did I do good? Yeah. He's just spinning. In the DS version, even the slashes colors are different. That's neat. I only played the SNES version like a billion times, never touched the other versions. Ooh. Yeah, I have, this is my first time playthrough, so any changes from the original are going over my head, but. You want to hang out? Okay. Five damage is devastating or late game F14 where you can do tens of thousands of damage. He's dead. Ah, I am slain. Uh, oh no. Get him. Boom. One-shotting enemies is very satisfying in a game like this. Zap. He should be dead. No, he's not. What, does he have like one HP left? Buddy. This guy in a nutshell. Thank you, big ball. So I was amusing and cranked to do 11 with all the numbers. Did I just hear a bonk and a monster yell? Did someone just... Golden Helm. Who gets the gold? Who has the weakest situation? Women can't wear helms? Women can't wear helms. Don't know if you knew that. Women can wear berets, but not helms. It mats their hair up, you know? It's just kind of like... It's not... You good? He's fine. Can I figure out which is the actual way forward? No. mid ether. That was the way forward. All right. Nobody likes helmet hair. Just ask Luca, who's, you know... Not wearing a helmet. Let the women wear helms! Helms deep. Uh, fire! Yeah! Boom! Weirdly, their defense plummets if you destroy their hammer. I guess the idea is they're blocking your attacks with their big hammer. That's fair. Same, man. S no! Hey! <laughs> Damn it! Son of a... Yeah, freelancer. Nope. Get him. And then get you. The helm is known from Marl's Ponytail, and Luca already technically has a helmet, I guess. Yeah, but she could upgrade her helmet. There's plenty of silly RPGs where it's like, this guy's design has glasses, and he gets better glasses from a chest in a dungeon. And you're like, oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Damn it! 
There's stuff down to the south. I'm gonna find him again. Oh, right, he's just sleepy. Yay. Mid potion. Worth it. Please don't show up again and throw a rock at his head. All right. Whoa, someone got hit. His vision got worse than the dungeon. There's a rainbow! Graphics! What? Hey! Hey! Who's throwing stuff? I'm enjoying a rainbow! Stop it! Uh, who needs heals? Eh, we're fine. Hey, stop it! Cut it out. Uh... Is there a way across? I guess we... Yeah, it's fine. Stop it! Can I, can I throw something at him? If that hits you, it does damage. Good! That is a fun fact. Okay. No, no. It's fine. Hit the... Hit the freelancer. That's fine. Hit the... There you go. Nice. I also like when a crit is very visibly like, You did good! That's like a two slash and has a different sound. Ah! Yeah. Some art in making scripted fights feel random. They've done a decent job shaking it up so far, where there's lots of times where you see a group of enemies, and you're like, all right, that's a fight. And then usually it's like, there's two guys hanging out, and then two more drop in, and you're like, uh-oh, but... Yeah. They've, they've mixed it up in a couple ways, where you have these situations where there's nothing, but then guys show up. Boom. And... Nope. Come on. Zap him. Zap him, Luca! Good job. Yeah. Six hundred gold. There's a lot of chests in this forest that just have money in them, which I'm not mad about. It's just a little odd. Not something you see in every forest. I was just walking in a circle. Why'd that make them mad? Oh. Uh, I'm okay. Ladies, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, ladies. Ninja Sister, I said money forest. Money does grow on trees. We good? Huh? I was gonna heal. But this is fine. Uh... Maybe, maybe I can do a, uh... Never mind. I don't have a group heal. Um... This is fine. This is fine. Let me just murder him. Worry about... Doing healing after the battle. It specifically needs to be Marl and Robo together that have the group heals. Or Robo and someone else. No. What is this just why are we doing this? Or a world is a group heal? Did I just skip over it? Ow. Triple battle. It's right there. Oh, it's with Chrono. It needs to be Chrono's turn. There we go. Um. Yeah, blast both of them. Why not? If they line up, they line up. Chronospin. That's that was the working title for the game. Mo I hope I have to do this every time I pass through here. If I need to go through here again, hopefully I don't need to go through here again. <laughs> Just how about that? Ow! Ow! I. The, it's a very good battle theme. I there's there. I played a lot of RPGs that have good battle themes. In fact, almost every RPG I've ever played has just a banger of a tune for the main battle theme. This one has a vibe to it. 
that's just it's just so good it's it's it gets you into it the drum and the bass have like a very good bouncy energy to them but like the twinkling sparkly bits and like the pads that are being hit just gives it this like mystical vibe going on with throughout it like it's just so good and like the choir pad in there too man it's just good right he still has a thing i'm just mashing attack what if we flame ow don't do it. yeah mitsuda is just on another level Crunchyroll is good actually i don't know if it's a hot take y'all coming in here hot in 2024 but uh seems pretty good luca leveled up are we done are we done jesus that was a bunch um yeah i'm going into battle and i need my potion to have a potion good as new bump bump it didn't fill in my mini map for that segment though there we go filled it in next is the game's 30th anniversary that can't be right this game's from the 90s that wasn't 30 years ago hey 300 g neat hello you just throwing stuff? It also, you know, the battle theme also does something great, which is that the intro doesn't get old either. You get a moment of jamming out before the main theme hits. A lot of battle themes just immediately, hey, quit it. I know I could attack her to knock her out of it, but it's not worth it. We're good. Yeah. Nice. Is that belt chicken the big boss of this thing? Ah, man. Whoa, whoa. So note to self, ah. don't do that. 90s was only 10 years ago and I'm only 12, definitely. Uh, not for sure, not almost 30. Yeah. Um, are there any goodies down here? No. No, good. Back to the start. Yeah, but there's a thing down here. So, joke's on you. I got a new accessory I might not equip. Uh, boost max HP by 25%. Now, that's not so bad. Um, hmm. Hmm. How much am I even using enemy HP? I'm not really. 25% flat, yeah. So it scales as you go. Make my healer buff. Hmm. Shut up, chat with your almost dirty. Yeah, signed a... 34-year-old. Swing. For century upgrades, my beloved. Yeah, right? When it's like, oh, boost your max HP by 20. It's like, yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? Am I going the right way? Where am I? Where am I? I have a map, and it still is just like, huh? I feel like a babby now. A wee bab. I've been almost 30 for six years. <laughs> Ugh. Almost 30 in, I'll be almost 30 in a couple weeks. In the sense that I'll be 31. Almost 30 going backwards. Uh, is, is this... Here? This is where the guy was... No, I do need to go this way. They're gonna make me fight this guy again, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'm getting XP from it. Just smile. I'm getting XP from fighting them again. Is this better than random battles still? You betcha. Is it annoying? Yeah. Do I have to do the cliff again? We have to do, uh, yeah. The cliff. Probably. No encounter is wasted. Uh, no time is wasted if you spend it. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. All right, we're good. Everything's fine. This fight is nothing. I don't want to do the fight of the three fights back to back. So slow. 
get them. Want to feel old? Kingdom Hearts 3 is five years old now. This month, yeah. Fuck. How many years was it between Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2? Just out of curiosity. Mid potion. Yay. COVID eight years. It, it, COVID just, yeah. At least two. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, yeah. Nice form, dude. Quiet, you'll ruin our ambush. Sorry. Nice form, dude. Quiet. I'll just, I'll just be on my way then. Burn me. Oh no, an ambush. It looks like on the map there's another path I can take if I'm careful to not fall down the waterfalls. Which, for all I know, it might have a mid ether. And I'm using those constantly. So. Kaboom! Wait from two was 13 years. The wait from one to two. Three or four years, I think. Yeah. I just wanted to think if it's been longer between Kingdom Hearts 3 and now than it was between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Because that felt like a long time back in the day. Uh, it feels wrong. Yeah, correct. There you go. 13 is a big number lore-wise. 13! Eh, 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 eh. Uh, no! Oh! It was okay, actually. A silver stud! My favorite Marvel villain. Uh, what, what is, is that accessory? Reduces MP consumption by 50%? What the fuck? I'm not equipping that because all my MP is like one or two MP, all my spells, but that seems busted for a magic caster. If I get one later, that's like straight up constant magic. Best type of accessory in RPGs. That's that's what I was talking about with like Final Fantasy 16. Is 16 is just like, oh, you got a new accessory. It does plus one second cooldown. Like, boring. Give me a real thing where you equip and you're like, wow, that breaks the game. I can play into character strengths in a meaningful way. Quietly inhaling whenever we pass to the cliff again. I know. What's how you doing, Will? This game is hardly over a year past. Oh god, this game is almost 30. That's how the conversation started. Thanks, Squeaks. I feel vindicated. The younger people in chat are upset. <laughs> the good news, chat, for anyone that's upset about Kingdom Hearts being uh, five years old, Kingdom Hearts 3 being five years old, is um, it's not that it gets worse. It's not, it's not that it gets better, because it gets worse, but um, that'll happen with alarming frequency the older you get. And you just got to get used to it. Of being told, oh, that thing that you remember? It's this many years ago. In a way that you're like, eh, that's not a big deal. And then someone hits you with like the, this was longer from this time to this time. You're like, oh no. It's weird. Sometimes that you're like, yeah, that makes sense. That feels like that long ago. And sometimes you're like, holy shit, no. That cannot be. You missed! Zap. Got him. I think the ones that always get me the most are the the genre of time between this period and blank is the same amount of time between this time period and blank. Oh my god, Solaire. Um, I can't think of any good example right now, but it's like the shit of like, oh, time between the moon landing and Cleopatra. Cleop I actually said Cleopatra. I was like, don't say Cleopatra. Yeah, time between the moon landing and Cleopatra is the same as the time between the Chrono Trigger and now. Um... You know, something like that. Mountains are so nice. They are. He's a good guy. This is such a nice view. Mountains are so nice. You really aren't going to leave me alone, huh? Here, take this. Oh. Well, we got a raid message. Mountains are nice. Can you get a little Cleopatra? No. Just imagine it in your brain. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. If that 70 show equivalent came out today, it would be said in 2002. That's one that I heard about recently, like last year. That one fucked me up. <laughs> that, that, because it's not like, oh, if that 70 show came out today, it'd be said in the 80s. You're like, yeah, no, that makes sense. So like, 
It'd be in 2002, and it's like, oh no, oh, I'm turning into dust, dust in the wind. They did a, a that's 90s show, yeah. But I'm like, I'm okay with the 90s being retro and old. Because, like, growing up in the 90s, a lot of the technology was analog. A lot of the ways of life don't exist. Like, growing up, reading gaming magazines. Like, magazines aren't much of a thing anymore. Um, not so much internet presence. If there was internet, it was Web 1.0. Like, there's a lot that's different. But then I think about the 2000s, I'm like... Two th that's when we had, like, smartphones. Later. I mean, not 2002, but in that decade. That's closer to, to modern technology. That can't be retro. That's not allowed. What's this big old divot? No, anyway, uh, am I good on stuff? I should maybe. We are surprisingly good on MP and HP. I mean, we're fine. I'll just top off Chrono with some healing. I miss Frog. I hope he comes back from his sad hole. Getting a bunch of capsules that I'm like, I should use those. He's on the other side, you. Ow. Oh, we fell off the. Oh. No, coming back. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. They didn't wake up. Played me like a damn fiddle. Ow. Get him, Cro. Yeah! Now that's a counterattack. Hell yeah, just delete an enemy for free. My car that I learned to drive in when I was newish is older than my high school students. Yeah. Yeah. Speed him, Chrono. The game plays on its own mechanics, too. Mm hmm. Shaking it up. Thanks for the bits. Ancient Egypt had Egyptologists studying ancient Egypt. Sharks are older than Polaris, the North Star, we think. Polaris Star to Magicka is actually three stars. Polaris is three stars? Hey? Her? What? What? You better run. Um. Oh, I'm he- Oh, I'm here. Do I want to fall down this waterfall and climb all the way back up? Polaris is three stars, 72 on Metacritic. Well, I don't- my Eastern 16 and I have to try to be a cool aunt and relate to the youths. Yeah. When they're a little kid, it's just like, hey, you're small and I can just kind of show you that I'm interested in things you're talking about and we're cool. Once they're a teenager, it's like, oh, you're just a person and you're judging me for being lame. Oops. 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 I have no idea what happened. It'd be funny if he screws you over. I, yeah. Don't, know, do it. Your choice. Yeah, go for it. Only way to find out. No. Use Riz in front of her. Make her die inside. Yeah. Yeah. It. it, it, it I think it is the the job of us olden people to use the lexicon of the youth deliberately to make them uncomfortable. It's a time honored tradition, and I intend to uphold it. Pars is two stars in a binary orbit that also are in a binary orbit with a third star. And we aren't exactly sure how old the stars are. So they're circling each other, and then this unit is then circling a, another star like that. You got like a little spinny guy going around another spinny guy. That's kind of fun. Gravity's neat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump. You can't jump, actually. It was a ruse. Got you, chat. Ha, uh, Lamau. Ominous cave. <gasps> Hello, child. What are you do? Hello? Hi. Are you pickpocketing me? What are you doing? I'm the wind! Whoosh! No, I do wind damage. What are you talking about? Hmm. Oh. Hey, don't go up there. Is that Masamune, the Sword of Legend? Did you come to take it? The Masamune, I mean. Uh, well, technically no, but if it's here, I might as well try. Yeah, sure. I thought so. Wait just a second, all right? Oh, big brother, where are you, Masa? Is his brother the swat? What is it, Mune? Huh? The sword is two kids? Not again! 
So, thought you'd make a name for yourself as hero by grabbing the Masamune, did you? What a buffoon! I'm not gonna get called a buffoon by two little kids that might be older than thousands of years old. I'm not gonna be called a buffoon by a couple of kids, right chat? Right twitch.com chat? Nah, no, call me a buffoon. Say Riz, never. BRB Googling Masamune. Buffoon. Turns out I did jump. Oh, I did. No, I wouldn't know. Uh, humans are all the same, aren't they? It's how you use the sword that's important. Not just that you have the strongest one. You gonna make me fight to prove myself? You can't even understand something as simple as that. Guess that proves you're human. What should we do? The usual. Test them. Might as well give them the chance to entertain us for a while. All right, here we go. Whoosh. I might have to, Will. Oh, they're jamming! They're hip? No! Oh, no. Oh! Whoa! Oh, they did an X slash on my being. Um. Ice Sword. Strike with Enchanted Blade. That seems like a cool thing I can do. Bomb enemies in a circle. They're not close enough! Attack with fire. 512 damage. Nice. No! Leave her be. The enemy is doing duels. Oh, they're just hitting everyone in turn, ain't they? Ain't they? I love their little dance! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, Lucas Bean! Please say miss. No! Um... I can't attack her. Uh, that's fine. Or a whirl. Give us a whirl. No! Alright, th there's a difference between... There's a status where she just attacks on her own. There's a status where she can attack us. And I have to attack her to break her out of that. But I didn't see an option to attack her. So I don't think it's that one? I don't know. Yeah, he's got the moves! He's giving me, like, a Jar Jam vibes. My favorite emo that I've ever made. Kicking him little feet out. Humans or something. Oh, he's dead. Not really giving me time to read his speech when it just immediately ends. Wait, huh? Wait, huh? Wait, huh? I only took out one of them. That was good enough? Hey, Masa, these ones are pretty tough. No one's lasted this long since Cyrus. What should we do? They're powerless apart. Oh, so you just take on one of these. Good thing I focused one the way that you always should do in an RPG. They share HP. We fight them for real, of course. Oh. Uh oh. All right, this is it. No more games. With Masa's bravery and Mune's brains. Akira Toriyama said, What if we made him do a fusion dance? And Square was like, No, we can't. And he's like, Let them fuse. We're unstoppable! Oh, oh god. Some of those sprites were horrifying. Oh no, the music's different. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, he's just appro approaching me. Deal double damage. And with fire. Masa and Mune. I gotta turn up the music. He's jamming. No, don't just walk around and... Oh! Chop! Ow. Um... Do that. Might as well try a napalm. That's a neat trick. Uh... Might as well... You up Chrono. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Thanks for the heals! Please don't die. Storing whirlwind energy. Yeah. Uh. Hit him with the an an antipode bum. Blast him. Zap him. Icy hot. Ooh, the icy hot does good damage. Which is not surprising, but it's pretty good. Okay. 
Al. Sir, Al. He's pogging. He really is. He really is. Uh, can I do this again? Yeah! Uh-oh. Ow. Ooch, ow. I'm hurting in a bad way. I see how does a shadow element? How does that make sense? Please die? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, she's so dead. Yeah. Rip. Um. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. My bones! Eat your potions, Chrono. Eat your potions, Luca. Uh, him with ice! Ouch. Oof, ouch. Uh, I'm out of... Okay, that's fine. Do that. Oh, I should really have Marl heal. Oops. Blast him! Marl might be dead. More like he might be dead. Nope, he's not dead. <laughs> I really... Yeah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Holy shit. Um... No! 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 Fuck. Okay. This is fine. Um... He doesn't know. Is he invincible or something? Is there a trick? Have some water. She's fine. Please heal. Marl. Yeah! God damn it! There's an in-game hint I might have missed. I, I definitely missed it if there was a hint. Shit. I thought I was doing okay for a bit, and then he just bodied me. Damn it! Just attack him. Just... Do Marl and Luca earn XP? He was a hit away that whole time. Sure was. Spent a lot of time just healing. So what was the hint? <laughs> Is there a better way to do that? They beat us, Masa! That was fun! Do you think they'll fix us? Yeah, give me the hint. Will they find our proper owner? Chrono's Wind Slash can interrupt the Whirlwind Energy attack. Why well, was that MP? I could have popped an ether. I I could have used me. <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to hit him with. I got Cleave as my most recent thing, so I was like, I'll use that. He said he wants to be the wind. I guess that's a hint. I just thought it meant that the Masamune Sword had like a strong wind element or something. And begin to win. Well, it worked. Yes, it'll be all right. Well, that's good to know. Thanks. He said whoosh. That's the hint. <laughs> okay. Oh. Shiny sword. Don't eat it, Chrono. What? Huh? What? Huh? So this is the Masamune. It looks like it's been broken for ages. No cheese, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I... you know... I was hoping he was almost dead. I hit him for a lot of damage. Obtain the broken Masamune. The wind. Allow me. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. A talking sword. What is this? Skyward sword? <laughs> Bath is free again. 
and sent me um sent me this it's like a cat at a doorbell so that's good Open up. Hello. Oh. Oh. Is this because I beat the boss? Or is it because you... Is it, is it because... Is it because you're here now? It's Bath's entrance music. Yeah, it just plays automatically. Who let that duck in here? I don't know. Hi, hey, Beth. How was fishing hey. in Terraria? <laughs> what? How was fishing in Terraria? It was good. Oh, good. Mm. I fought a guy and got the Masamune, the Blade of Legend, nice. foretold to be wielded by the hero, but it's broken. That's okay. It'll work out. And yeah, I let Marl out of the fridge. Damn it. Why'd you do that? She came in clutch. I have no regrets. All right. So now what? I have a broken... Maybe I should show that to Frog? Mm-hmm. Um... I don't remember what Frog said exactly. Or who I need to show Blast this broken me. sword to. Was there a blacksmith somewhere? Be like, hey, check it out. No, you can't touch it. You can't... No, don't. you can't... You can't... It's mine. You can't... Let's just run over to Frog. I can get to him without fighting a single dude. Hiya. Hello. I am no hero. There's not I can do to help. Well, it was worth a shot. Do you know another person you could maybe show it to? Um, I mean, there are people in town who are like, oh, the hero. He went onto the mountain to look for the sword. And I went to the mountain and I found the sword, but I didn't see the guy. Didn't see the kid they're talking about. Hmm. There was Melchior in 1000 AD. Oh, that makes a lot of sense to show it to Melchior. I missed the blue guy twice. It's true. There's a blue guy in the wood near Frog. Apparently he's a rare guy uh, that gives you a lot of um, TP if you beat him. Uh, I vaguely remember that. And I saw him and I was like, what's that? And he ran into the bushes and I got him a second time after chat mm -hmm. told me it was rare spawn. And I talked to him and he was just like, Oh, you're a bad boy. And then he ran off, and Chad was like, Oh, you have to trigger a fight against someone else while he's on screen. And I didn't know, oh. I didn't know that. All oh, right, yeah. That's kind of annoying. There's definitely parts of this game where I'm like, Yep, it's a JRPG from the 90s. <laughs> yeah. There's I like mean, they just, they're doing their best. Yeah. But there's so much stuff in this thing. It's just very charming. I Don't like go guys. to Melchior. These guys are very Dragon Quests. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can go talk to the people in Medina or whatever. Pore? I don't remember what town is which. Oh, I get them mixed up, too. I don't know any of the towns. Surely someone in the town would be like, I know what you're talking. Wow, that's the sword. I know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, these towns all blend together in my brain. Yeah. Well, they they kind of look, you know. There's the inn, the market. I don't think there's anyone at the market who cares. There's this guy. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. <laughs> He's dead. Want to scare with me? Yeah, we're, just, we're figuring it out together. Um, I don't know. Tata's house. Maybe Tata's house. My own son, the legendary hero. Seems I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero, I like the ring of it. Forgive me. Truth be told, I plucked this badge from the floor of the tavern. Some besotted froggish fellow dropped it as he stumbled out. So that was taught that we saw run around the mountain. That makes sense. I thought to sell it, see? But then everyone started calling me the hero when they saw it. And well, I didn't know what to do, but go along with it. Also, I called it. Fucking called it. You but it's did. too much for me, this hero business. I've had enough. You can have this badge. Oh! Thank you. It's my shonen protagonist badge. What was I thinking? I knew it'd turn out to be something like this. I ought to seen it sooner. 
You're no son of mine. Letting myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure both of our feet stay on the ground for his dear departed mum's sake. Oh, he's just good. completely d pivoting on a 180. Yeah. The second his son's like, I don't want to be a hero. He's like, oh, no. I am shocked. I he never wanted to be a hero. I'm, I never said otherwise. Because he was just like, I, I'm the father of the hero. That sounds good to me. And he's like, I'm not the hero. Take the badge. And he's like, I'll take care of you, my boy. Like, oh, pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised. Worry not. He's my grandson. He won't let a little thing like this spell the end of his great deeds. He told me already his next goal is to become the legendary Sea Captain Bluebeard. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Legendary Bluebeard from the legendary show Our Flag Means Death? Bluebeard from the legendary show One Piece! Oh, you're right. Is there a, is there a, is there a Bluebeard in One Piece? There probably is. Probably. Is there, is there an There's everything probably beard? a beard with every color of the rainbow. Is there a beard beard? Is there a beard squad where ev everyone just has a different colored beard and you're like, wow, that this sounds is really like cool. Oh, there he is. He scampered off into the bushes before I could do anything. Damn it. This game sucks. This game's bad. Hey, frog. Do you want to rejoin my party? Frog, frog, frog. You've returned that, that badge. I see. So you met the lad, but there's not a thing I can do against the fiend lord. To fight him would require the legendary Masamune, which is... <coughs> no, it matters little. Even had I the blade, I have no right to wield it. Please, leave me be. I don't want to leave you be. You're so cute. Is this his toilet? Did he just... just a little guy. Did he just poop in the corner? It's shiny because he peed on it. A broken sword hilt. This is part of the Masamune. It's engraved with archaic letters. I think I can make it out. Let's see. Thank you for coming with me to medieval times. It's a memento of an age long past. Melchior? Melchior, that guy from Medina Village? What does this mean, Chrono? Gee, I don't know. No. Maybe use your pocket brush. Maybe I could sell it to him. Hey, Melchior, I got something for you. There are none alive. Gonna cost you. There are none alive who could mend the Masamune. But perhaps in the distant future, hundreds of years from now, we there may come a man who may create the magical blade. Nice. I don't think you can avoid this fight on the way out. Hey Milk, you're one my oval team? Be sure hey, to... Melchior, you like Sunny D? I got some Sunny D How about you, Sunny kid? D's nuts? Uh, <laughs> stop. So while you were gone, we ran around a bunch. Cool. Um, we went through the sewers. Mm-hmm. And then we went back to the present. Mm-hmm. And then we ran around a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, found a guy, talked to another guy. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um... We, we introduced Robo to our mom, and she was like, that's mm -hmm. a fun robot. I killed the guy. I might have killed the guy. Uh, then we went back to the medieval ages and fought one of the three generals of the Fiend Lord's army. Okay. Who looked like an Akira Toriyama monster guy. Mm hmm His name was uh, Ozzy. Mm hmm The other ones were Slash and Oh, Flea. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then we made our way here. They're like, oh, there's a legendary hero. He's got the hero's badge. Mm -hmm. And he needs the legendary sword, so we got the sword. Yep. And that's what we done. Now I just gotta put two and two together. I gotta fix the sword and get Frog back into my goddamn party. I like that all this time I've been refusing to uh, sell my bronze sword that only Frog can equip. And he's gonna get a legendary blade <laughs> to replace it. Sometimes it's useful to hang on to old equipment. In Never JRPGs, because it's like, oh, later on, it'll, like, it turns into this all-powerful thing or whatever. So, sometimes it's good to hang on to it. It's for sentimental purposes. I don't remember in this game if that's the case, but if I had to wager, probably. Yeah. Forgot Frogs to get out of the party for so long. It's been a minute. The fact that he leaves and you go through all the stuff in the future, including getting Robo... Racing against Johnny back and forth, running around the sewers. There's a lot of stuff in the future. Then you come back to the present day. Then you go back to the past. And then you have to get...
pretty far into this whole segment to presumably get Frog back. I did sell a lot of old gear, but I've kept Frog's sword. But once he's back in the party, I can sell that shit. It is nice that I can also get a free heal here. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Robo. How you doing? Put him back in, coach. Maybe later. Put him back in, so coach, Luca, please. So Luca and Marl have a team-up ability where uh, mm -hmm. Luca blasts him with fire and Marl blasts him with ice, and it did a ton of damage against that boss. Is it called the Goyles? It is called Girls' Night. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then they kiss. You, I was going to say, do you think they're roommates? And, and they were roommates. Okay. That's good. Does that make it okay? Mode 7. What? Is that, does that make it okay? It's called Girl Dinner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> Girl Dinner. Mm -hmm. Ha! There was only one bet. Hey, Kyo Star! Welcome! I keep stream. hearing this in the Ocarina sound font because this appears in my um, Ocarina of Time randomizer seeds a lot as mm -hmm. custom music. Uh, isn't this Melchior over here? I think this is Melchior. I think that's so. Luca's house. Where no. the fuck is I think Melchior? maybe he's he might be south. Is he on the southern know. island? Is he that one dot on my map down there? I don't know. It was Monster Village. I have to go to Monster Village. Oh, I don't know where the fuck that is. Hope you join Chronos a favor, mine. Thank you. I'm having a good time so far. Uh, I got it. It'll be faster to warp back, I think. I could take... Well, unless... Can I just hop into the whirlpool? Will nice. that take me back? Because this is how I got back over here from Monster Village. Oh, it's just going to put... I don't want to go... Yeah. Nah. Yeah, no, whatever. Yeah, no, you can't. I can't go back. Um. Now you got to go. You could get something from Luca's mom. Since she can't leave the house. Oh. How do... Where do... Where am I? You're here. I don't... Right here. It's empty. Right there. Um... Yeah. Uh, right... Right... Right Wait, there. this is actually the way I wanted to go. Right there. Yay! There you and go. That's See? Melchior's cabin. There it is. Hey, bud. Oh, you're back again. Come to see my... Cle the sword. It's the Masamune. How did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? Yes. Best song. Yes. I'm cranking. That is a very long story. But that is the story you came to hear, is it not? Of Don't course. See <laughs> Tell us about the Masamune. Can you reforge it? I could. Were it possible for us to get our hands on some of the Dreamstone from which the sword was made? Dreamstone? Where can we get that? Record scratch. It's nowhere to be found anymore. It was a glittering red stone once valued even more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago. Longer even than you could imagine. Well, oh, it's gone. No more quarters Aww. of time. <laughs> it's, the... <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Just in time for the song. Quarters in Time is my favorite song that I've heard before from Chrono Trigger. And that's saying something. Very good. Because this song is... So what? Just find the, the Dream Shard? That's the only well, time it plays. <laughs> gee, I wonder if there's a way where we could go to the long, long ago. Uh-huh. I doubt you'll ever find any. If you, if you should, I'd be more than happy to repair the muscle and keep it with you until then. Would you like to buy anything? Do you have anything new? No. No. Oh. Okay, uh, nothing. Before? It's like the, the 70s? The 20s? Do we have to go to 65 the million years ago? Yes. That's a long time ago. Mm hmm. Probably is faster to just go back to the house. The 1990s. Um, which was it? Which was it? Residence? Yep. Let me just hop into your closet real quick. Whoop! Wee! I love that it's inside their cabinet like that. It's mm -hmm. so good. The before time. I love how some of the monsters are friendly too. You're like, aww. Yeah, and others are like, you're gonna have to fight me to spend the night in the, in the inn. By the way, that'll yeah. be a billion money. 
Yeah. You're like, mm, I don't Wait, like it. Let me... Might as well save first. I don't know where the hell the save points are here. In the past! Are we ready to go back to Unga Bunga times chat? I am. Let's go. Old guy's the thing to say? Does he? Hell yeah, let's go! What? Oh. Those things, they're all green and scaly. What are those? They're dinosaurs. They're like little dinosaur guys. Oh, we have to fight. I don't want to fight them. Look at them. Reptile. This is like one of the runners in the race. Mm hmm. Um. Hit them all with napalm. No, oh, I could throw napalm on them, couldn't I? Um. Give him a spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit him with a spin. Napalm to the kids. Yeah, well, you know. I showed up out of a portal in the sky and we're fighting now. Uh, the, 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 She's taking a nap. She's napping. She's just like me, for real. Mm hmm. Luca's doing good work out here. Uh, I'll just. She's resting. Yeah. Hey! Wake up! He's like, wake the fuck up! Uh, there's only one kid left, but. Get him. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Got him. I got a pedal. Marl learned cure. Ooh. More of them! Can she cure her own smooth brain? Mm, don't think so. There's no cure for that. We're outnumbered! What should we do, Chrono? Yes! 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 It's mommy time! <laughs> <laughs> mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mom, mommy, sorry. Mommy, Stop sorry. It. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Oh uh, my mommy, God. sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy? Mom? Mom! Mom! Mom. It's my mom. <laughs> I'm glad you're here for that cutscene. Whoa, <laughs> she did a spin! Whoa! I don't think I've seen that cutscene. Goodness, she's tough. Who is that? It's mommy. Oh, she's running all fours. They're coming our way. <laughs> no, 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 okay, all right. Uh, what did Reb say? Get him. Reb said, "Bash you the best." Right back at you. That's true. That's based on a true story. <laughs> um, what? I'm sad I didn't What's see that right cutscene right? before. But you're, you should be glad you've seen it now. Yeah, it's true. History in the making. Unga bunga gia female himbo muscle mommy. Mm -hmm. Is she a female himbo? She's just mommy. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. I'll be the judge of that. All right. Uh, give him a spin. Yeah. Oh, that should hit the guy on the right. Boo. Kaboom. God, I love these sprites so much. I like how much they just wiggle them around. <laughs> Like yeah, they, they have, like to wiggle they them have a lot of frames of animation, but also sometimes they just wiggle. It's effective. It works really well. It does. It's very charming. Oh my god, she's yeah. Sonic. Oh, what do you want? Eck. Oh, oh, Chrono! Uh, uh. Mommy. You strong. What name? Chrono name. Good name. Me name. Me. Mommy. She forgot. Mommy. Ayla. 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 Ayla Mal. Ayla is probably correct, actually. Ayla, Ayla. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> Rename her mommy. Mommy. Ayla. Ayla's fine. I'm fine with keeping yeah, it vanilla. Fine. Name her frog. Yeah, I can name her frog. If frog will rejoin <laughs> the party, I'll make my own damn frog. Her name is literally Forgore. 
Yeah, I can name her. I don't know. I name her LOL. L. Name her Toad. Isla. Chavez pronunciation is Elra. Like Ella. Oh, you said no, it's E I. I thought it was E L. I. So Isla. Oh, A. Ayla. Ayla. Oh. Ayla. Oh. Name her Launch. Who's Launch? Akira Toriyama. He forgot. Me, Isla. He did forgot. Isla, Ayla. I'm probably just gonna bounce around. Isla mm -hmm. likes strong men, so Isla like Chrono. Get away from her, Chrono! <laughs> Looks like somebody's got a new friend. You strong too. Isla like strong person. Man, woman, both like. He's gay. Spaced. He's gay. Oh dear. I, I don't, I mean, I'm not. Chrono, where from? How can we explain? We're from way after the day after tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> you funny. Isla like funny person. It's no use. You come village, talk and eat, dance, drink, fun! Yes! We'd love to go, but we're looking for some dream stone right now. No! Stone? Stone everywhere! Here, there, village! I'll give you many, many stone! Yes! Ayoka village this way! Follow Ayla! Yes! It's true that in past times- Oh, there she goes. In past times, people ran around on all fours. Like a rabid animal. It's efficient. It is peak efficient. Good feedback. We love by representation in video games. Vaguely gesture. In gestured. the olden times, they were all pansexual. What happened to us? What happened to us, humanity? I got a berserker ring. I got. Good. Oop, oop. I was here for the best part. It seems. I'm glad you came back for this. Boost. Oh, okay. So I got. I already had one of these. Yeah, no. But I can turn everyone other than Chrono into a robot. So that's fun. I already fought these guys. They're beefy. Oh, spinning. Never mind. We're fighting everyone now. I screwed up. Uh. That's right. Um. And with a spin. Spin it, boys. Uh. Do that. And just, just blast them. Humanity was in pan purgatory. Pangatory. Get him, Chrono! Come on. Come on. There you go. Hit the little guy! Yeah, he's little and he's spinning! Ow! He's doing his best. He's doing his death. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Killing him brings me closer to Isla. Okay. That makes it okay, right? Oh, it's there's... for mommy. Yeah, it is. It's all for mommy. It's for, for mommy. Um... I'm gonna get a sweater. I'll be right back. Get a sweater! It's chilly. Good. It's gonna be warm again soon. And I'm mad about it. We have a little minor heat wave coming to LA. I'm like, we can't have one week of winter. We gotta go right back to summer. Just like home. Oh, Robo. You guys good? Oh, they're good. Ooh! Are dinosaurs weak to lightning? I can't cast Meteor. They are weak to lightning. How about ice? Him with an ice age. Yeah. I think most things are weak to lightning. I'm not weak to lightning. Oh wait, no I am. I'm super weak to lightning. I think most elemental attacks are very strong against me. Oh, this is lovely. I don't want to interrupt that. They're having a nice time. I can resist lightning once. Ooh! I can't believe this game ripped off Earthbound.
They're only gonna play the piano in a million years. Leave them be. Uh, okay. Thing here I can't access yet. I gotta get a lay of the land. Okay, really? You're gonna not give me like a pixel so I can go around in a loop? I gotta go all the way back. All right. Okay. Upcoming segment is quite long. Gotcha. Then maybe it's a good spot to wrap up. Can uh, can hang out in the village though. Oh, oh hell yeah! Forest Love this. maze. So that leads to that. Ooh, lava. Um, I totally, f I totally forgot, but I think it was like last summer. Um, we got the like bento banana hoodie from Ari, and I just unearthed it from the closet, and I was like, "Ooh, this is comfy." It's, it's a very, very good hoodie. It's very very comfy. Hut. Very so far, I went ooh yeah. and saw Robo went ooh and saw Ellen and Bath and Bath went ooh. Yeah, every every party member in this game is ooh. Yep. You rep. They were all made for me. You reptite friend, I beat you up. No. Uh, drink happy water, drink feel good. Oh, yeah. Yes. HP and MP restored. Yeah. We're good. Reptite scales cold blood, hard to beat. That's true. I, I'm i pretty sure it. I named uh, Isla mom in my playthrough. Yeah. I bet yeah. you did. Yeah, I sure did. You wear funny skins. You want to see pretty stone? Redstone Chief has. Oh. Oh, Chief cool. Hut North of Village. Oh, these are very helpful oh. NPCs in here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to save. So we don't have to do all that mess again. The Rare Red Rock. Rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare. Hello. Ma'am. Good, Chrono come. Night soon. Finish ready for party. Chrono this way. Listen, Isla, we make new friend. Strong man, Chrono. Chrono friend, Luca, Marl. Ooga. That's not how they talk. They just, that's how they feel when they see Isla. Now, dance Babonga. Me? Babonga. Me? Obonga. I wish you had stream up so you could see my face, Ben. I see your face. Okay. So you know I feel. Mm, yeah, but, you know. Does chat like Isla's Babongas? Ooh. Oh, Babonga. Oh, Babonga. Oh, should I or shouldn't I? You should. Um, the answer is always you should. Hell yeah, she's breaking it down! Yeah! Come Break on, Chrono, down. let's have fun! Woo! Can I dance, like, in the opening? Oh, I can't! Oh, man. Chrono, eat, drink, dance, sing! I don't know the words. Ooga booga ooga booga. <laughs> Good music we want passed down many, many generations. You guys are Ooh. thinking ahead. Good music! They got boingo on the brain. I'm gonna pour my tea, I'll be back. Okay. You not Ioka person. Why Isla give party? Strange. Ooga booga, manga meeple, dance with wind people. Meeples are from the past. Dance with mountain people. Sing, sing, dance all night long. Isn't it wonderful? I'll dance too. Break it down, yeah! Oh shit. Marl's busting a move. Good music. Mug people dance with the wind people, dance with the mountain people. Dance with people. All the people. We dance with people. All the good people. Marl slaps her ass, it's really good. Does she, huh? She's jamming. She's got the moves. Oh, she does. Oh, she does. There's like, yeah, there's a sprite where she's like doing a little thing to the side. Me? Obonga. Chrono, try drink this only special time drink. Not Good not drink. Not Name not Skull Smash. Next day, Skull feel like Smash. Ooh. 
game is rated E10 plus for animated blood, mild fantasy violence, suggestive themes, and use of alcohol. It says it on the box. Mm -hmm. They're not even hiding it. Ioka mm -hmm. Village fight Reptite. Leader name Azala. Azala, very smart. All in Ioka Village fight. No fight person, go Laruba Village. Always run from Reptite, always hide. Not nowhere village. Azala wants to destroy Ioka, Laruba, both. But Isla no lose. Only when Isla dead, stop fight. No more talk that. Today meet Chrono. Good day. Eat, drink, dance, sing. I got, I got all the lore. Also, you, you sure when did. you stepped away, you missed Marl just breaking it down around the fire. Just breaking it down. This is great. Let's dance. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, button stop. Yeah. I'm nodding. Get into it. Wow, Chrono, where'd you learn that move? Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite Battle Pass. Yeah. Spin in place. Oh man, if they got Chrono on the Fortnite Battle Pass. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a Fortnite emote. Hmm. Hmm. I love yeah. how they're clearly just like. Uh, different animations from like battles and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's something but similar in the first Mario and Luigi game where mm -hmm. they ask you to take your like passport photo, which shows up on mm -hmm. your save, and you can pose by doing different animations that show up in the game. It's very cute. Am I just supposed to leave? By nope, can't leave. May I talk to her again? Chrono, red rock, look for this rock? Rare red rock, have rock, mean strong person, Isla, Isla most strong Ioka village, so Isla rock. Chrono want, Chrono challenge Isla, win, Isla give. Chrono challenge Isla? You mean in a fight, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Isla go, get more skull smash. Party now, so drink, Chrono and Isla have battle, who drink more? Oh no. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Let's no. fucking go. Oh, I'm gonna have to button mash. Oh, God. She's gonna destroy me. All right. You got this. Get the button mash hand at the ready. You got this. All right. And go. Chuck! Shut that shit, Chrono! Come you on, can't Chrono. drink more than me, mommy. Ah, no more, Chrono. Ah. I alone lose. Give rock. I did it. You Chrono, did. drink good. Drink one more. The strong Chrono. Pour. Maybe too much drink. Oh, God. You Thanks. did it. Dead. You became hungover. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ah, I feel great. How you guys doing? Ugh, my head. I did what last night? Liar. Oh, but why is my head hurt like this? What did they do? What did they do last night? Morning, Chrono. Wasn't last night fun? No. No, last night was... Hey, where did these footprints come from? It's gone. The gate key's gone. Oh. I thought they were going to steal the red rock. That's way worse, actually. Woo! The thief must have left these prints. Without the key, we're stuck here forever. This is bad. We have to go see Isla. She's asleep. Hey, Bath, do you want to provide mm -hmm. some uh, some voice acting for this line of dialogue? <laughs> Thank you. She's sleeping. Snort. Still sleeping. Still, she's still sleeping. Oh, I- okay, she just- alright, I see. <laughs> Discord's like, half eating it, <laughs> So it's just coming through in little spurts, it's very good. Hey, Isla! Wake up! Wake up! Oh! Oh, oh, Chrono early awake, ugh. Ugh, too much skull smash. Sorry to wake you, but someone stole something important from us while we were asleep. What? Stole? Must be Reptite. Burp. Chrono go with Isla. We find bad Reptile. 
Who else come? Oh no. Uh. You know who to bring. Robo. Yeah, you can bring Robo. Who's best suited to fighting a bunch of reptiles? Someone who can do a lot of elemental damage. So probably not Robo, actually. Right in the fridge. Definitely not Marl either. Hmm. You should bring Frog. I would if I could. Hmm. If you brought Robo, you'd have a hangover too, or... <laughs> Robo oh. hangover. Blizzards are weak oh. to ice, by the way. And Marl deals ice. Damn it. Should bring a meteor. We even learned that yet. Don't let Bastlanders wait. Well, that's... I don't... I don't know what Isla can do. I also can just swap it out whenever I want. So. Maybe village person C. We go ask. Chrono, come. Here. She's still drunk. She's not even hungover. She's just actually still drunk. She knows her way around a hangover. Hair the dog. Hair the dog. Just stay drunk and then Hair you can't get hung over. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Meeting grounds. This that's is, where you just were. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. No one here. It is weird that we showed up and they were like, let's have a great feast. Because you killed a couple reptiles. Oh, you come see me. What you have? Fang, petrol, horn, feather. Give me six, three, each, two kind. I give you good, strong thing. What you give me? I, I only have three petals and three horns. Um, give, give you a petal. What else you give me? Uh, horn. Okay, trade for shaman's bow. How does... Sure? Team Shaman's Bow. Still want trade? No. Is that... So this is... This is something where you should probably look up a guide because yeah. some of the items he gives are really good. It's... Oh my god, she and doesn't aren't, have a weapon! Good. She just no. uses her fists! Of course! A fist possessing unstold, untold strength. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Um... Trump's boat. That is a significant step up for her, though. So, hey. That worked but out. But what I'm saying is, um, for this guy, he'll give you some good weapons, but if you don't need one, then you don't want to grind for it. So, um, for this part, if you wanted to get a specific set of weapons from him, I would look up a non-spoiler guide. Yeah, I probably will. Um, I'll, I'll... I did during this part, and it was really helpful. So yeah, that's just, a good idea. It does, it's not really imperative right now, but, you know, later on. Yeah, if you once I to. have more of the stuff he's looking for before I trade with him again. She has a power scarf that gives her plus four strength. Oh, the power scarf's really good, yeah. And she has a Vesta with rubies that halves fire damage, I think? Yeah, so that's so that's one of the the items I believe he gives you is the ruby vest. What um, is I, I think, nice. I believe you get the ruby vest from this time era. So that's what I mean is make sure to look up all of his stuff because it's really good. Lightning stuns dinosaurs, did you know? Go hunt, hunting range, get pedal, fang, horn, mm -hmm. feather. When yep. rain, rare monster come out, rare one, yes. good hunt. Mm -hmm. This trade All house, true. you bring things, trade for new things. Want no item? Petal and fang, trade ruby gun. Oh, so he tells you. Okay. Petal and fang gives you a ruby gun. Petal and horn, shaman's bow. Petal and feather, stone arm, fang and horn, mammoth tusk. I don't know, is that for... Isla? I don't know. Yeah, fang and feather, ruby vest. Ruby vest. So that's what I want a bunch of. Horn and feather, stone helm. Yeah. I tell you a good thing. Ruby vest, strong against fire, not too hot when wear. Trade. Trade your shiny stone? Do you have a concept of fiat currency, caveman? Okay. Give me some mid potions. Good talk. And he's just chewing on the stones. On the, on the money I gave him. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Me see reptites come from meeting grounds. Go south, forest maze. Uh, where Kino? No see all day. Forest maze, scary place. Many monsters, many paths. Chief, be careful. I Isla's fucking walk sprite is her just yeah. running around. Yeah. yeah. And her little scarf looks like a cattail or something. Yeah. Jesus Great. Christ. <laughs> It's amazing. Was Toriyama just drawing? They're like, oh, is that for the game? And he was like, uh, yeah. They, yeah, put that in the game. Sure. He's just drawing his this cat is one waifus. of the few strong women Toriyama made and animated and didn't forget about her. 
<laughs> he didn't have a chance to forget about her. Yeah. He didn't have her long enough. Reptite this is strong. where he put launch. Chief, take this. She was stuck in time. Four potions. Reptite leave footprint when run. Follow print to find later. Drink happy water, feel good. Yeah. Knew that for my hangover. Thank you. Bring back launch. Toriyama literally forgot that launch existed. Reptite scales cold blood, hard to beat. Yeah. I want my wife. Where's my wife? Uh, my wife. Just keep going south. Yeah, well, right I'm, I'm wondering if this is maybe a good place to leave it for now. Because this might be a whole uh, damn thing. Mm -hmm. A whole gosh darn thing. We'll pick it up tomorrow, though. Yeah, you have a bit of stuff in Forest Maze. And if you go north, there's the hunting range. And you can mm. grind a bit for Ruby Vests. Um, but I don't think you need, like, you know... Yeah, I, I would just look it up before you stream and see how many you want of each thing. Yeah. Well, also, I presumably would get some of those drops from running through the maze and stuff. No, I think no. you... Oh, I think some of them you can, but for the most part, you got to go to the hunting grounds. That's fair. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of fun today. And we made some more friends. I was here some of the time. Yeah, shout the bat. <laughs> Thanks, Ring. The, the, the name of this chapter is Footprints Follow. Yeah. It's very good. I remember that. Almost past the prologue. Let's go. In any other oh, RPG, it's... we would probably be like maybe getting our second party member by this point. And this game's like, you're, yep. you're, I don't know how far we are, but. The pacing Ooh. is really good in this game. It's rad. Uh, LR yeah. start select. Yay. Thanks for hanging Whoa. Everyone. Hope you're enjoying Chrono Trigger so far. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough if you've seen the game before. Hope you're enjoying Mommy. Hope you're enjoying my big strong robot. Uh, thanks for me. Uh, me, Bobonga. <laughs> what was the the what was our raid message? Something about the mountains are nice. For no, the, the raid message should be me, Bobonga. Depends on who we raid. Let me get caught up on alerts. It'll, go follow Bath. Bath's great. No, don't do that. Bath streams a lot of randomizers and spruns and stuff like that. Did you know that they have a Chrono Trigger randomizer, but the game still takes nine hours to beat with, with the randomizer? It's a long randomizer. Yeah. I was thinking of checking it out, though. Could be fun. <laughs> turns down a smidge. Uh, Commander Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits. I thought the present time Chancellor was the one in disguise. Nope, turns out he's just a dick. <laughs> yep. Uh, Yeah, because you save him. He's like, ah, into prison with you. Nuclear Sun thanks for 13 months. Robo, more like Robot. Mm -hmm. Got him. Smash links to 10 bits. You bought a, a yeah, pizza yeah, tower mom. plush. Nice. Hope you enjoy it. And thanks for 10 more bits. I should buy the noise plush. Because he's almost here in pizza tower. Hell yeah. Full of here. Thanks for three years. Enjoy your O key. Boy, period. Thanks for 65 months. What about Pingy? Persicom. Thanks for nine months. <laughs> enjoy your ruby key. Yeah, bay, thanks for 100 bits. I remember the first time I got to this part was after a bad day at work. This song started playing. I was instantly chill. I just wanted to spend an hour listening to it. I don't remember what song that was in reference to, but... That could be half of this OST. Uh, Anki, thanks for soup. See, Barry, hard work pays off. It does. Scary, thanks for the raid. Eight towns, thanks for 25 months. Make sure your safety on your chrono is on when you aren't firing. It's important to <laughs> have good chrono trigger discipline. Big T also needs for 64 bits of soup. That'd be a good username, unless it's taken. Chrono trigger discipline. Just Palace, thanks for 37 months. A prime opportunity to play my favorite game, make the streamer feel old. When this game came out, I was negative two years old. Thanks for playing. No. What did I win? I feel old. Vox Vacation, thanks for 64 months. One month for every kilobyte of RAM on the Commodore 64. As it should be. Thanks for the Prime. Winslash, thanks for soup and 69 bits. Shoutouts to Winslash. It's a very good skill in the game. Metastar, thanks for 28 months. Alan Bradis, thanks for six. Time is a concept. Elix, thanks for 50 bits. When this game come out, um, back of the box is 90... copyright 95. Eight? Oh. 98 would have been like N64. That's way too late. It yeah. says copyright 95, copyright 99, copyright 2008. So I think 95 was SNES, 99 was PS1, 2008 was DS. Because he uses elements from the SNES and the PS1 versions. I'm sad I never played it as a kid. Yeah, me too. I, mean, I never I just, saw it at Blockbuster. I just was not into RPGs as a kid because I was like, this is complicated. I have to pay attention. I want to run to the right and jump. 
I was super into this shit. Had I had known, had I had seen the box art and seen Toriyama's art, I would have been like, <laughs> yeah, and I, just taken it home immediately. I mean, obviously, but, it's not as good as on the the SNES box because it's a wider box. But the art for mm -hmm. Chrono Trigger, the box art, is so good. It's super good. It just right? the like stark white background with just the line art yeah. and then popping against this, just like really cool. I mean, it is like a winter scene, but it just like I don't know. It's nice though. It's got a good vibe to it. Yeah. Neat. Anyway, uh, Elix, thanks for 50 bits. Gaming used to be divided pretty equally gender wise until CEOs decided to market games as teenage boy thing, and the sexism is still with us decades later. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it kind of got worse. I feel like it's starting to maybe get better now a little bit, but it was pretty bad for a while there. Uh, Quiggy, thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Um, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out while yeah. you're doing um the stuff. Cause... By all means, go yeah. back to but... fishing in Terraria. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Beth. Bye, chat. I'm Mate. waving bye to chat. Chat, do you see? You can I'm post waving, post I'm your waving... Beth and wave, and then the chat can see it. I'm... Okay, I'm wave, but I'm also waving. If you hold up your hand to the mic as you wave, you can you can hear it. Can you hear it, chat? Can you hear that, chat? Let me let me turn down the game so you can hear the. the... Okay, wave again. Hear that, chat? I'm waving as hard as I can. <laughs> okay, thanks for hanging, Beth. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, Chad. Be good. See you later. Bye. I miss Beth. I can't believe I didn't hear any ducks on the way out. Or any applause. Uh, Smash Plays for 96 bits. If you'd visited the kitchen when you first came to the castle, the chef will be talking about making something called Eyes Cream. Eyes Scream for the queen, who was Marl at the time. So she was like, I want ice cream. And he's like, I don't know what that is. Bummed I missed that. Unclever tile, thanks for soup. Get them some soup. Win slash, thanks for 69 bits. And 69 bits. Win slash, thank you. And another 69. Thank you. Smash Mix for 96. If I die, I want to turn to a ghost, heartless, and a skeleton. Nobody. It's canon. Commando Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits. Trivia, those names Ozzy Flea and Slash are thanks to the OG localization. Vetus Varnus, thanks for the dollar redo. Squeaks, thanks for 20 bits. I'm vindicated the younger people in chat are upset about Kingdom Hearts 3 being five years old. It's real. Oh, thanks for 100 bits. Ancient Egypt had Egyptologists. They sure did. Kyo Star, thanks for the raid. Dr. Psychotic, thank you for the raid. Noir Konya, thanks for 41 months. Can't stay for long, but happy, happy day. This game lives in the back of my brain since my brother emulated it before I was even a two-digit number of age. Enjoy the Chrono Trigger. Thank you. Smash thanks for the 96 bits. Brian Peppers, no! Also, if Luca is not Bulma, Isla is not launch. If you don't remember who launch was, don't feel bad, because Toriyama forgot who she was, too. And thank you for the more bits. In the few cutscenes of the portrait art, the Isla is apparently wearing a pink lipstick. That was a thing in prehistoric times. Yeah, why not? Uh, the box art's cool. The model is using fire magic, which is weird, considering she's water and ice. Yeah, she's just blasting. Or maybe... Yeah. No. She's definitely enchanting that sword with fire magic. And that's not... That, I that mean, it looks cool though. No one, no one told Toriyama, and they're like, it looks. She can't be blasting it with ice magic. That doesn't make any sense. It's fine. She can do soap maybe later. She can enhance your sword. So, Lee, show this for 20 bits. Crown Trigger has some interesting content in New Game Plus. Once you're done, it might be worth a little extra time for some of that. Absolutely. I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see when we get to it, but definitely curious. I just might look it up off stream rather than do it on stream. But, uh, yeah, it's neat. Smash Man, thanks for gifting a sub to Beth for their 71st month. That's a lot of months. Thank you. Still streaming just in time for me to end stream and go raid somebody. Thanks for hanging. Um, I'm going to go, go uh, uh, raid somebody. I'll be back tomorrow with more of this. We're going to delve into 65 million years ago and try to learn a little bit about, a little bit about ourselves. You know, a little about a little bit about l life, and uh, I don't I don't know what this bit is. Let's find someone who's going. A bunch of people going. Yo, let's go raid Calvin Sims. I feel like we raided him not too long ago, but feels like uh, it would be a good time. Calvin's a super talented artist. Does good work. Very good vibes. Recommend throwing him a follow. Um, it looks like, uh, what's her face from Neon Genesis Evangelion? Anyway, um, 
let's go let's go throw over some some uh, some mountains are nice or me babunga which one do you want chat you decide it's up to you Shinji not Shinji the lady with the cigarettes in the lab coat with the wrench in the kitchen mountains are babunga there you go uh but thanks i hope you're enjoying so far uh we'll pick this up back up tomorrow it is in your copy pasta hands shinji 2 that's the one with the ritsuko that's the one yeah it looked like he had a drawing of her going at some point or he's doing it right now i don't know it's neat though uh yeah thanks for hanging uh, uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm excited for my Hope you're too. Hope you have a good weekend if you don't swing by or if you do or whatever, man. I don't know. Live your life. Go, go, go out, get get an ice cream. Go look at a mountain if you can. And be like, mountains are nice. They are. Maybe not as much this time of year, but you know. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get, go on, get. More, more of Babunga Lady tomorrow. Thanks for watching, Bob Watchers. Hope you're enjoying. Chrono Trigger. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hope you have had a good weekend whenever the hell this VOD goes out. Bye! Bang.